Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Okay. We're ready. We're, we're so ready. Da 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 Oh yes, a bit of a Pow! I enjoyed that, Michael. Thank you very much for that. How are you? You doing well? Linda Brumwell, as I live and breathe, welcome to Jewelry Maker. It's wonderful to see you, the Queen of Jewelry Making and the Queen of Jewelry Maker. Well, thank you for that introduction. It's all right. I'll pay you later. Thanks. Check in the post. Linda's with us, looking like a beautiful daffodil today. <laughs> beautiful daffodil. Got Michael on cameras. We've got Kinga on floor. Where are you, Kinga? Kinga. Ho, 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 ho. Please don't, what, sorry? Oh, yes, and we've got Ollie. And we got Tom. There we go. Hi, gang. Hi, 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 hi. Well done. No phones in the gallery. Uh, we've got an amazing show for you today. And when I say amazing, it really is going to be absolutely... <laughs> going to be absolutely superb. Um, before we do anything... Sorry, I've got really runny nose this morning. I'd have to do... Too much information, hey? Do not go anywhere. We're going to go to the Wall of Fame. We're going to see some of your incredible designs. Let's go. Well, welcome to the Wall of Fame. Uh, this is a chance for you to showcase your incredible jewellery making items that you've made. Uh, take a photograph of the pieces that you've made, email it to studio at jewellerymaker.com and every Wednesday we pick a winner and a runner up who will win £100 or £50 credited to the jewellery maker. Oh, sorry, I had porridge for breakfast. It's slightly, I'm not used to having porridge, so it was a bit, a bit of a little, little, little burp there. Anyway, uh, 107, it's Sue Gott. Hello, my lovely. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's for br the bridal section of my Etsy store. Pearls are beautiful and from JM, as always. That is a gorgeous necklace, Sue. Isn't that lovely, Linda? That is absolutely beautiful. I thought, well, I need to make a screenshot in my head of that. It's so, it's just such a statement, Sue. That is Awesome. That's going to go to somebody who's got a very simple dress. That's going to look absolutely brilliant. Vera Barini. Good morning, my darling. You're number 108. Oh, my word. Beautiful photograph there. Lovely bit of wood. Um, hi, all at JM. Here's a large... Oh, here's a large nugget necklace created using chrysocolla and seed beads. I love the blue stones, and this one reminds me of turquoise. Lovely to see uh, all the other entrants. Do you know what? I said that's a lovely piece of wood, and then I suddenly thought, oh, my gosh, I hope it's not an arm. But, um, but it's not. It's not that. It is definitely a piece of wood. <laughs> I modelled it on my ankle. Uh, right, so Sandra. <laughs> Sandra Fortune. Oh, Sandra Fortune. Here we go. You're number 109, darling. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Hi, lovelies. Here's my entry. I've not posted anything for a while. Uh, how bless you had COVID in May and long COVID. Oh, that's horrible. Left me with heart problems. Uh, I can only hope they fix me. Oh, I do hope so, Sandra. Bless you. Thank you for the fabulous shows and keeping my mind busy. Uh, this is a sentimental piece. It's made from 0.8 and 0.4 rose wire, rose gold wire. The flowers are chrysanthemums, orchids, rose and a rosebud. All my family's faves and wedding flowers. My late mum loved chrysanthemums. Mine were orchids. Both my daughters and grandson love roses. I've added leaves with our birthstones, rubies, emeralds, peridot, pearls and tanzanite. A wire wrapped, a choker to put it on. Inspiration from the lovely Rachel Norris. Everything from JM. Lo um, uh, love to all and good luck to all entering. Sandra, I tell you what, you've inspired us today. That is an absolutely stunning piece. And the sentimental value of that is that is priceless. That is beautiful, Sandra. What a gorgeous piece. Well done to you, my love. And I hope you're feeling better soon. Um, the eight o'clock hour today is a bit different. We have basically got a sterling silver hour. OK, so we're going to be bringing you lots and lots of sterling silver items. Nine o'clock, we've got all of the shell with Linda. Um, 
Oh my word. I, now, these are some shells I've never seen. Leaf shaped shell. These are gorgeous, Linda. I love these leaf, uh, kind of these carved leaf shells. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Oh, that's stunning, Linda. Wow, thanks. I love it. I love the colour of them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful selection of jewellery there. 10 o'clock, we've got your deal of the day. Oh my word, just you wait and have a look at this. Deals of the day today, Kunzite and Amethyst. Oh my word. These are such good strands. Uh, you've got your incredible faceted rounds of aquamarine and faceted rounds of your kunzite, all completely natural. Coming, I know, look at this, totally natural faceted um, uh, amethyst rounds. That's all coming up in the uh, 10 o'clock hour as your deal of the day. So excited about that. Um, in a, at 11 o'clock, we're going to be bringing you, oh, I don't know about um, uh, We're going to be bringing you um, the amazing chestnut uh, close collection. Uh, the autumn collection, which we're launching today with Mark, and we've got everything from squirrels to beautiful poppies to beautiful bats. Honestly, they are exceptional pieces. They've all got beautiful gemstones uh, with them as well, so that's going to be really, really exciting. And in the 12 o'clock hour, loads and loads and loads of pearls, shell pearls, and these brand new Diamante strips, adhesive strips, which you can use with your jewellery. So, oh, sorry, which you can make with um, uh, your jewellery with, which is absolutely amazing. All of that. You've had some lovely pieces to work with today, Linda, haven't you? I certainly have, yeah. I um, got back from holiday on um, Saturday. Oh. To be treated by parcels and parcels of pearl shells. Oh, pearls, my gosh. So absolute dream for me. Yeah, it, it, they are beautiful. And the pieces that Linda's made are just stunning. So, right, let's let's get going, shall we? So, we want to bring you as many items as we can in this hour, okay? We want to bring you as many items as we can. A lot of it is low in stock. Um, you've got to be there, basically. You've got to be there just taking these items away. A lot of them are low in stock. We're going to give you as many pieces as we possibly can. Sterling Silver Chain, here we go. Let's start off with the UK's only dedicated jewellery-making channel. Got that right today, rather than dating channel, which is what I said yesterday. <laughs> Woo! Uh, here we go. We're just going to do wild, wild deals. Ah, there we go. 925 sterling silver flat cable chain, 18 inches in length, all sterling silver. Here we go. It's a go, go, go. 6.99. Go, 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 go. Three different ways you can get involved, either by calling us on our free phone number, which is 0800 644 Get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or you can download our app and watch us on the go. Ooh, sterling silver, just what I need. Perfect, says Kayla. Oh, Kayla. Love you, Kayla. It's not your price. Let's get that deal down even lower. $4.99. There you go, everyone. £4.99 pence for your gorgeous sterling silver flat curb chain. Go, 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 go. Well done. Lots and lots of people coming through already this morning. This is great to see. Well done. Oh, fantastic. That's about to sell out. Well done. Uh, we've got more people joining us as well, which is great to see. Well done. Kayla's there. We've got Valentina just coming through as well. Well done. You can um, uh, multi-buy if you want to by speaking to our call centre team or just by adding, the quanti adding to the quantity you check out in your baskets on our website or on our app. Well done, everybody. £4.99. pence. Four opportunities remaining. That is it. Well done. Go oh, no, two chances. Kayla's just taken two. Well done. Go, go, go. Emma, you can take it. Oh, uh, you Francis is lurking. George is lurking as well. Oh, lurking. Lurking in the wings. Gorgeous. I love bees. Oh, we had a Wall of Fame entry yesterday from somebody who'd made some of the bee earrings. And I think it may, you may have made these from these gorgeous little charms here. These are beautiful. All sterling silver. There you go. Absolutely go. Oh, look. Beautiful. Uh, these are stunning, aren't they? And B is a symbol of kind of uh, networking, being resourceful. They are gorgeous, aren't they? 0800. Six triple four six double five twelve ninety nine. Well done. There's one left. One pack left if you want to add them onto your order. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Well done. Okay. 
Let's move on up. A box clasp, a box, a, a box clasp. Here we go, box clasp, sterling. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. There, there you go, that's what it looks like from the side. There you go. Going to give it a squeeze. Pull it out. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There you go. There's your sterling silver. There's your beautiful Labradorite. $17.99. There's your start price. Already amazing. Margaret from the West Midlands. Already interested. That's good to see. These are all really, really, really low quantities. Get involved. Everything is sold out um, uh, so far, my lovelies. $9.99 for you today. Well done. Uh, gorgeous. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Go, 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 go. What a treat. We've got Belinda in Surrey as well. We've got Tracy in Nottinghamshire. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. What a treat for you today for your gorgeous sterling silver. Labradorite box class. Well done. Check out your baskets. Check, check. Lynn and Kent's there as well. Belinda's got two in her basket. Well done. What a beautiful... I love that ghostly glow, don't you, of the beautiful Labrador? Isn't that stunning? Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Only a couple of opportunities remaining now. That is it. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, well done. Christine's there as well. Well done. One chance remaining. That's going to go. Gorgeous. Oh, no, it's sold out. Well done. Beautiful. Okay. What's next, love? Pearl in a cage, here we go. Hang on. Hang on. <sighs> I know, I'm trying to open this. This is nice, isn't it? There, I don't know, they're oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, there's your gorgeous cage. Oh, Linda, you're gonna love this. Here's your beautiful cage with your two kind of halves to it. There's your pearl, pop your pearl in there, and then you literally just close it. Oh, snap it closed, there you go. And there's your beautiful pen. Isn't that gorgeous? I was saying yesterday, I love the way this has got that kind of um, uh, d slightly diagonal um, uh, line going across it, a bit like, you know, with the, you know, the, the orbit of the earth, you know, it's, it, it, it's on a slight axis, isn't it? Um, it's on a slight axis. That is absolutely gorgeous. Have you done that with some of your shell pearls, actually, Linda? With the, um, have you put them yeah. around kind of the middle, haven't you? With the, the diamante, the yeah, yeah, with the adhesive diamante. Yeah, I think it's, it's a lovely. gorgeous look. You know, you can get um, a beautiful pearl on a, on a, like the, the fine chain that we had at the very start of the show. Mm. But that look just makes that little bit of extra detail, doesn't it? it Not does. too much detail. You can still appreciate that pearl. But it sort of highlights it, let's say. And yeah. also, it's obviously, it's interchangeable. So any other gemstone of course. or coloured pearl um, of that diameter can fit in there. So you've got interchange, you've got capsule jewellery, really. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're absolutely right there. It's just got the most beautiful, um, it's got the most beautiful elegance, simple elegance. But yeah, as Linda says, capsule jewellery, most definitely put in your favourite gemstones in there. 1999, Margaret in Wiltshire, well done. Now, uh, we've only literally got a couple of chances left for this one. And in, North, in uh, Northamptonshire, well done to you. Every item is sold out so far, just so you know, we're very, very busy. Whenever we bring you sterling silver, close out hours like this, you know, uh, yeah. you, you know we are always, always, always going to be very, very busy. Uh, gorgeous. Well done. Belinda's there as well. Well done to you. Under £20. Well done. Yeah, and it locks at the bail. So as soon as you put a chain through there, that's not coming undone. Gorgeous. Well done. Jane as well in Lancashire. Very, very busy. Gorgeous. Well done. What an incredible deal for you today. Well done. All 95. Oh, nine chances remaining. That's it. We need, we've got to move on, honeys. A beautiful heart. Oh, I love this. Gorgeous. I love this. Elsa Peretti inspired heart. Very much like that gorgeous bracelet that Claire made yesterday using the star-shaped uh, jump rings. You could make exactly the same kind of bracelet using this beautiful Elsa Peretti inspired heart. So uh, kind of slightly kind of off-center, asymmetric, melted Heart design is so lovely. So much silver in this. Uh, all the way down to 6 dollars That's amazing. 
what is the gram weight in this? I mean, you can tell by looking at it how much gram weight there is. How much gram weight are we looking at here, lovely? Uh, 75, uh, so, uh, po uh, sorry, I do, I do beg your pardon. 0.75 of a gram. There we go. Gillian, well into you, maker in Middlesex as well. 6.99, well done. Go, 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 go. Superb. Amazing. I love the rounded quality of this. It's absolutely beautiful. Jane, well done to you as well. Margaret in the West, in, uh, West Midlands, well done to you as well. In the, I mean, that is a ring. That would work beautifully as a ring, don't you think? <gasps> One chance remaining. Gorgeous. <laughs> well done. $6.99. Well done, everybody. One opportunity remaining. Uno más, por favor. Gorgeous. Well done. I think that's pretty much gone. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, this is beautiful. This uh, was a commemorative piece that we made uh, to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a very emotive piece that we um, uh, kind of brought to air again uh, last week. And it, and, it, and it proved to be very, very uh, popular. This is a really, really beautiful piece um, it's a gorgeous sterling silver crown. It's got a white diamond in it. Let me show you where the white diamond is. In fact, I'm going to pick this up and then I can have a good look around it. There it is. There's the white diamond. Uh, if you want it, there's your little white diamond there. If you wanted to wire something in the middle of it, you absolutely can do. If you want to put it in a pearl, you absolutely can do. Um, $14.99. It's solid sterling silver. What a beautiful commemorative piece to own. Um, really, really sweet. Jane, well done to you as well. Um, and I must just let you know as well, all of the cameos that we bought to air last week, which were the last few Majesty cameos that we had, I think they all went. Um, so, you know... Um, uh, so to be able to bring this to you today, absolutely wonderful. Belinda's taken two. Well done. We're at fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Well done. Gorgeous. Well done. Right. I didn't know about this, and Linda, I think you're going to love this. And. I showed you a picture yesterday. It was a price comparison of a beautiful Monica Veneda pearl bracelet. Do you remember the one, Neri? With the gorgeous pearls and then with the beautiful, um, well, had beautiful pearls like this in. This, you're going to be getting an entire strand. Aren't they absolutely incredible? Yeah. All gorgeous, genuine freshwater culture pearls. Beautiful, beautiful quality. There we go. And then look at this, Linda. You're going to love this. Oh, that is seriously high end. I love this. I want this. I had no idea. Oh my gosh. So 170 quid for that bracelet. Obviously, you don't get the clasp with this, but um, we were saying you could get one of your um, kind of oval or round toggle clasp and you could kind of give it a bit of a hammer and you could, uh, and you could, and you could change, the, uh, uh, change the shape of it. I, I have to say, I am amazed that we've got this. I had no idea we had anything like this. These are the most beautiful, genuine, French, uh, uh, genuine freshwater culture pearls. And then you're going to be getting um, the most beautiful gold-plated Keshi style spaces. Linda, what do you think to that? They're gorgeous. I absolutely applaud the design of those spaces. Yes. I love that liquid fluid effect yes. that's being given. Um, and it's such a popular look at the moment. That It, um, it, it totally is. Particularly, uh, I mean, obviously with bracelets like the Monica Veneda bracelet. Yeah. But I can honestly see that looking superb at the uh, asymmetrically on the pearl. Absolutely. Necklace. I have, I mean, anything which is kind of electro plate at the minute has gone absolutely nuts. But this is, this is crazy. I had no idea that we had this. Well done, Lincolnshire. Karen's got two. Belinda, Jane. Angela's got two. Cheryl, Maker in London. Dawn in Warwick. We've got one chance remaining. Um, I tell you, if there's any of those left, I'm having that because I would love a necklace made in that. And I don't want to spend 170 quid. I want to spend 19.99. Amazing. I love those spaces. Ooh. The lightning reactions of a cat king has got there. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? 
A hexagonal connector. We can do that, yeah, with a pearl in the middle. Sterling silver. Sterling silver with your beautiful pearl there, with your hexagonal shape, and there's your toggle. Uh, not your toggle, your little lever. Give it a squeeze, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, you've got your two little, um, you've got your two connectors there, your two connectors there. So you can make, you know, that double, that quadruple um, shaped, uh, so, sorry, uh, star necklace or bracelet there. Really quite um, uh, kind of restoration, isn't it? It's quite, it's got, it's got a good, it's got a lovely kind of vintage quality to it, hasn't it? Well, not even vintage, it looks, it looks like a period piece. Uh, what? That's the pearls for free, says Jack. I know. Nine ninety nine. Well done. I made them. Rabbit bales. Three of your rabbit bales. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Rabbit bales. So these are your kind of um, classic rabbit ear bales. Uh, they're wonderful if you want to make more of a feature of the uh, bale. Great if you've got a slightly larger gem underneath because, of course, it just looks a little bit more balanced. Um, I reckon, though, there are loads of different ways in which you can use these. They look almost like endings, don't they? Kind of brackets almost. Um, uh, if you put them kind of here, if I, did, if I did that and then I did that, could that be, could those be kind of almost brackets uh, around something? Uh, yeah, they're absolutely fantastic, aren't they? I love that shape. They are beautiful, almost like a compact when it opens, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Uh, beautiful. You're going to be getting three of them. You're getting sterling silver with cubiciconia. They are really, really lovely. Do you know, I love that, um, Linda, when, when, our, when our viewers, when our jewellery makers, when our designers look at items like this and go, do you know, I'm not going to use it as a bell. I'm going to use it as a, I don't know. As a something else. It's I great, isn't it? I think there's so much that you can do with yeah. it. Yeah. You know, there's so much inspiration, and that's what we need is inspiration. Absolutely. When you, when you create a piece of jewellery, and these are so inspiring. I mean, I can see the, the two points together with some um, 0.25 sterling silver wire yeah. and into that bow shape, and perhaps then just do a little... Ooh. Wrap loop and drop from it. That's a nice idea. Um, I can also see them sort of um, dangling on the end of a fine um, chain on earrings. Nice. In there. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Why are, why are two packs together into that gorgeous flower? Oh, into a gorgeous, like, yeah, into a circle. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, Margaret, Helen's got two. Elaine, Jan's got two. Susan's got two. Uh, Patricia Margaret Maker in the West Midlands. Graham, well done to you, Maker in Middlesex. Christine Maker. Can you believe these are only seven ninety nine? They're sterling silver. Sterling silver. Everyone is multi buying these today. Well done. I think you've got to get two packs of these to do that lovely shape. To do that, to get that really, really lovely shape. That's absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Caroline in Northamptonshire, well done to you, my lovelies. More people checking out. Patricia, well done to you. Oh, this is just great. Yeah, you've got. I mean, you've got to consider um, kind of, uh, you know, not these, not just as bales, but, you know, just open, open your, uh, you know, widen your gaze a little bit, open your mind. Uh, and, and, you know, to be able to, to be able to kind of use these, uh, to be able to use these in ways that they're not necessarily uh, designed for. It's great. June, well done to you. Dawn's got two in a basket. Caroline's multi-buying as well. Well done to you. Patricia's multi-buying. Middlesex is multi-buying as well. Well done. June in Surrey. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Well done. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Well done. They're about to go. Well done. We've got a lot of, lot of chain. Oh, we got a lot of, lot of chain. Here we go. Three chains here. Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Here we go. So you've got your three sterling silver chains here. You've got a curb. Beautiful. Gorgeous box chain. That's nice, isn't it? Lovely luster on that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you've got a beautiful rope chain as well. Gorgeous ropey, ropey chain as well. So lots of lovely texture. Lots and lots of sterling silver. The curb chain is diamond cut. So you get that really lovely luster. It's a very fluid, very kind of silky chain that you're looking at. Oh, sorry. 
sorry, with your, uh, w w with your curb chain. With your box chain, it's got much more of a, it's, 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 it's got a much more substantial presence, hasn't it? And it's got more of a consistent luster to it. Whereas your, oh, I love a Prince of Wales rope chain. I love this type of chain. It's the kind of chain that never really knots. And it just, it's got a bigger gram weight. There's a lot more going on there. Annie, maker of the West Midlands. Belinda's taken two packs. Well done to you. Guess what we can do with these? Price point wise, these are all, by the way, 20 inches in length, which is nice. Yours today, 19 99 amazing there you go everyone well done lots and lots of people coming through that's gorgeous well done go 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 superb for 19.99 well done hampshire gloria well done to you as well and i think if you're going to be selling your jewelry as well or even gifting it to be able to gift a pendant with a chain is just great isn't it gifting a pendant on its own is you know is great but you know if you've got a chain to go with it as well particularly one that you've selected. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. Well done, everyone. Patricia in Yorkshire, makers coming through. Well done to you. Absolutely loads of you. This is absolutely brilliant. Well done. Superb deals. Well done at 19.99. What a phenomenal opportunity. Go, 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 go. Rosmond, well done to you. Maker in Dumfries as well. There you go. Well done, everyone. But a but a but a but a but a charm, but a charm, but a charm. Diggy dig 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 dig. So these are your beautiful kind of. I'm going to call them Zen charms. Sterling silver charm with a beautiful lotus flower on. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful little charm there with a lotus flower. The other side is left kind of unpolished. It's a, sorry, not unpolished. Un un um. And engraved, really, really lovely and highly polished with your 925 stamp on there. There you go. That's your beautiful uh, Buddha. Um, sorry, no, not your Buddha, your lotus flower. Here's the Buddha. Here we go. There's your Buddha sitting in that beautiful lotus position. Gorgeous. This is your serene Buddha with the kind of lovely braided uh, hair. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Again, a nice kind of highly polished back. And then you've got um, the Om symbol, which is a symbol, kind of the sound and the symbol of the universe, uh, which is just gorgeous. You'll see this quite often. You know, people quite often have this tattooed on them or it's quite often included in fabrics as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful symbol uh, of balance and the sound and the, the noise of the universe. Um, $15.99 and they're all 925 sterling silver. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Really, really beautiful quality. I like the fact these aren't too over the top. I quite like the fact that the engraving on them is very simple. Um, they're nice and shiny as well. Sometimes we do the really oxidized ones, which I've actually got some oxidized pieces coming up, but it's nice to see sometimes that high shine quality really showing off the fact that they're sterling silver. Eleven ninety nine for you today for all three of these. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, well done. So yeah, it's four pounds each. Beautiful texture. Yeah, beautiful bit of kind of almost frosting on the on the uh, kind of the um, uh, the relief. Uh, no, not the relief. Uh, kind of the inside, if you like, the lowest part of the um, of the engraved part there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Well done, everybody. These are great deals today, aren't they? Lots and lots of sterling silver deals coming up in this hour. We want to be able to bring you as many as we possibly can. Um, but you need to be there. You need to be checking out your baskets as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. Let's move on. We've got still got loads more to bring you um oh pearl oh go on yeah right star by coming up now this is not sterling silver but this is absolutely gorgeous Here we go. So the most amazing strand of pearls here. So we bought you gorgeous clasps. We bought you the most beautiful sterling silver pieces. We bought you the most beautiful sterling silver clasps. We bought you over the years, I think some of the best precious metal items. 
the quality you've got here. The colour is absolutely gorgeous. This is that papaya, orange, pink, apricot, soft. I'll tell you what this is the colour of. Um, I, I, got, I, got, I, I got a tester once from a really, really lovely, um, well, from a department store, and it was from a particular company. And, uh, well, it's creme de la mer, I may as well just say. And it was just a tester, a little tester of, um, <laughs> of, um, of their moisturiser. And I kid you not, you open that moisturiser, you squeeze it onto the back of your hand. It's that colour. It's the colour of youth and the colour of hydration and the colour of expensive creams and the colour of, you know, uh, dewy, a uh, dewy glowing complexion. It's that, that's the colour. Would you agree with that, Linda? Absolutely. And I couldn't add to it. I was trying to think what more can I add But to it that? is so. Nailed that. But it okay. is. It's the colour of expensive things. Yes, you're right. Absolutely right. Like if you, if you, if you went to, um, I don't know, if you bought like a highlighter for your skin or, or you know, whatever, or a, or, a, or a lovely kind of foundation, it's going to have this kind of sheen to it, this flawlessness, isn't it? Now, the pearls you're getting here are sized beautifully. Seven to nine mil. I'm going to pop this up to my neck if that's okay. Seven to nine mil. Who doesn't want... Oh my gosh. Now, even against... My old decolletage, even against my old decolletage, that, that, is, that is a lovely, <laughs> that is a lovely looking strand. That is a, that's a gorgeous strand of pearls, isn't it? Look at that. The glow, they look great, you know, they look decent on the skin. It, it, they sit beautifully. Belinda, Gloria, Maker in Northamptonshire, Theresa's got two, Paula in Greater London. There's loads of people coming through. Um, I think these are, perfection with regards to how a pearl should look, how flawless a pearl should look, how perfect a pearl should look. Price point wise, I mean, what these would retail for, be valued at, and what we're gonna be bringing them to you for today are, is, are all very different things. I can imagine though, if these were maybe, um, if these were valued, I, I wouldn't be surprised if these were being valued at kind of four figures or high triple figures. Um, on the strand, let me just count you very, um, uh, let me just count very quickly. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 48 pearls that you're going to be getting on this strand okay 48 pearls is that 48 pendants for you is it 24 pairs of earrings you know what what's it going to be for you um now ollie bought a natural peach pearl pendant 24.99 amazing you, you got the bail you got the chain you got the pearl 24.99 absolutely amazing that's that's i mean that's a brilliant deal isn't it but if, if, you, if, you, if you times that, not even by 24 pounds, but if you times that by 20 pounds, yeah, 48 times 20, 960 odd pounds. That is, ab I mean, that's, that's, that potentially, because of the quality of what you're looking at here, another one's gone to June in Surrey, well done. Potentially, um, that is the kind of money you could easily, easily achieve. Have a look at this. Have a look at this for your first price. 299 pounds, 99 pence. I think that with something like this, particularly pearls like this, let's say if they were Keshis, there would be people sitting home going, yeah, but they're Keshis, they're not flawless. They don't have that perfect shape. I happen to love Keshis. But these, these have got that flawlessness. These have got little differences. These have got that beautiful, perfect shape to them. We are nowhere near done. Have a look at our launch price. $149.99. There is no way I would ever expect 
a strand of pearls of this quality in jewellery to sell for anywhere near this price. I mean, you could almost move that decimal point one place. You really honestly could do. They've got such incredible quality. They're naturally coloured, by the way. They're not dyed. A lot of kind of apricot coloured pearls are dyed. These are completely natural. Has someone been raiding the vault with all these good sterling silver deals? Loving it, says Jane. I know, Jane, isn't it amazing? I'm just going to pop this up to the neckline one more time. Pearls have really kind of come to the forefront of jewellery and are kind of, um, uh, you know, uh, really over the last kind of couple of decades, really. But they are modern. They can be modern. They are beautiful. Obviously, uh, right now, with, with, with the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, they're, you know, even more popular. Um, Annette, well done to you, my lovely, in the West Midlands. 149.99. Does that look like 149.99? No way. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not going to be that price point today. We're taking the price down again. Here we go. This is wild. This is your price. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Get these. Add them to your order because today they're $99.99. Oh, my word. Go, go, go. Well done. They are gorgeous. Naturally colored, beautiful papaya orange um, uh, apricot peach pearls, natural in colour. Maker in the West Midlands, well done to you, my lovely, as well. We're under £100. And then, of course, yeah, you've got that beautiful shape. You've got that lovely, um, you've got that lovely um, uh, rice shape as well. I don't know about you, Linda. I'm a I mean, I like round pearls. I like my acoys, et cetera, et cetera. I like my shell pearls. But oval rice pearls, they, they're so elegant aren't well, they well that's the thing yeah i mean um the more that you work with um pearls or gemstones mm. the more you see the value in shape yes absolutely and the inspiration in the shape but for a pearl like this i mean again um the idea of just a fine chain and one of those on is stunning for earrings or a pendant yeah but just just keep that strand and use it uh, for each bracelet that you make um, as a as a gift uh, yeah. or to sell, and just pop one of those just near the clasp I as love a that. signature, um, just perfection. But when you put them around your neckline and that somehow you lit up. Yes. Um, I mean, talking about cosmetics and things like that as well. I mean, pearl powder is is used in in skin um preparation absolutely to create that flawless look on yeah. your on your skin um, absolutely so consequently when you wear a pearl you get that similar oh, effect you really do you really do not only do you come alive but also the pearls become accentuated they really do they glow yes they glow and it's interesting isn't it um uh, what linda's suggesting is kind of using these pearls one at a time as little beautiful charms on a bracelet another one's gone maker in the west midlands well done to you three opportunities remaining i've got Merthyr tidville northamptonshire devon greater london a load more of you with these in baskets check out when you can uh right um the most yeah <laughs> okay early bird special coming up right now this is going to absolutely fly e everything else has been flying in this hour but this is going to go nuts So during our birthday celebrations, all those months ago, I know, right? Uh, we bought to air three Lotus Speed charms and we loved them. Uh, we were kind of saying, oh gosh, I haven't seen anything oxidized for such a long time. So nice to see that lovely shape. So obviously, so obviously a beautiful, uh, you know, Lotus flower looks great. People absolutely love them. How would you feel if today I said... We've got five flower sterling silver spaces, new today. And you have got here the most beautiful oxidized look again. I love these. And they are so versatile. And by that, I mean, you know, it's not necessarily, you know, a lotus flower bead is going to be for somebody who maybe is into kind of meditation, somebody who's into kind of Zen jewellery 
What you are getting here is for anybody who loves flowers, anybody who's ever been given flowers, anybody who, uh, who, who loves to be in touch with nature. Now, we've got to give you a clock to graphic today. And the reason being is because I've got a big quantity. Oh my word, these are going to go completely and utterly nuts. How am I going to use these? Why not use them with the beautiful papaya pearls that we just bought you? Why don't you use them with the incredible kunzite that we've got coming up as your deal of the day to get that beautiful cherry blossom look yeah isn't that kunzite amazing isn't it beautiful yeah why don't you use it with beautiful look in-house designers have made uh, beautiful earrings and a bracelet with shell pearl and these they look so modern so beautiful i love it with that silvery shell pearl don't you it's gorgeous and just a little bit more generic accessible then maybe using just a lotus flower. Now, okay, Karen's already bought two packs. Uh, we've got Paula, Jane, Maker, Gloria, Christine, Shelley. As you would expect, okay, because there are five in the pack, not three, so we bought you three uh, lotus flower beads when we bought you um, them back in, our birth um, um, in May for our birthday celebrations. Because you're going to be getting five here, these are obviously going to be a more considered purchase, okay? But you are getting five. They are sterling silver. The quality you're getting is absolutely beautiful. I think that this um, oxidization works beautifully. I think it works so beautifully because it really brings out that detail, the crispness, brings out the center of the petals, doesn't it? It brings out that detail that would otherwise would be very easy to lose um, would be very easy to lose um, um, if you uh, if you if you if it didn't have the oxidized quality. To have that slight oxidization is perfect. I'll show you very quickly where the drill hole is as well. There we go. So the drill hole is just here. I've just got a very fine piece of wire. You don't need this finer wire. It's just the only piece that I've got. I mean, this will go so easily on all your head pins, your thicker gauge wires, your cords. Absolutely amazing. So your drill hole is going to be there. Really easy. You can put all sorts of materials through there. So if you want to put it maybe in your um, macrame uh, bracelets, then you absolutely can do. So, I mean, you've got the opportunity uh, to make, you know, a bunch of flowers here. You've got five of them. Use it in your hair vines, Linda. Absolutely. And also, it's, it's a very generic um flower shape as you yes say. so i can interpret that for my christmas jewelry because it's very much like a hellebore the christmas rose oh, oh the poncettas yes yeah, do you know what you're so right but if you want to interpret it as a daisy or a pansy or a forget-me-not or a little violet then you absolutely can do that's a really good point actually isn't it um, now because of course you're going to be i don't know why i'm putting them all on this piece of wire i don't know i've, just, I've, I've committed to it and now i have to do it so if we follow the birthday price for all of this silver, yeah, a whole stretchy at the price point we're going to be doing. I know, wouldn't that just be amazing? Look at this. Should be $21.99 if we, you know, we've got five of them. I'd love these on elastic. I'd love to see these in a stretchy. They would work so well. Also, the holes in these, the, the drill hole is big enough to be able to um, hide a knot inside the drill hole as well, and which also, is absolutely And also, if you macrame them, you know, friendship bracelets seem <gasps> more popular than ever. Absolutely. An ankle brace, an ankle. Yeah, uh, yeah, bracelet. you're right. And also, with the beautiful alphabet uh, beads that we've been doing as well, if you wanted to put one either side or use them as like a little spacer in between words, then you absolutely can do. Sew them onto, um, onto greetings cards if you want to. You know, a with sympathy thing, you know, to, you know, for somebody to wear a with sympathy bracelet or, you know, to keep their loved ones with them. Um, so we should be, there's five flowers here. Can I just remind you very quickly, the three lotus flowers we bought you back in uh, May for three of these were £12.99. 200 went. So, that, you know, it's obviously the right price. Obviously, the, you know, an, an amazing deal. Now, you're getting five. You're getting five. So really, the price point should be $21.99. Let's see how close we can get to $12.99. $11.99. And you get five. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. Sandra, Karen's got two, Paula, Jan, June, Josephine, Maker, Fiona, Gillian, Angela, Maker, Northamptonshire, Patricia, Oxfordshire, well done to you, Gloria, Christine, Shelley, Rosmond, Vanessa, Susan, June, Josephine, absolutely amazing. Now you can have that stretchy bracelet. I would say probably get three packs of this. Even if you got kind of three, four packs of these, um, you know, that is an amazing deal for a solid sterling silver stretchy floral bracelet. Put your birthstones in here. Um, put your birthstones in there. Much like our Wall of Fame entrant today who uh, made that beautiful piece uh, where she put birthstones in the, um, in the jewellery as well. Uh, it's kind of for each member of her family. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it with the aquamarine. Look at it with the beautiful um, um, uh, kunzite as well. It's just gorgeous. The only other gemstone I might add to this is probably a uh, peridot. What do you reckon, Linda? Oh, a peridot would be absolutely stunning. What in it? That bright lime green. Also, do you, I mean, they look a bit like forget-me-nots, don't they? Or forget-me-or-nots, as my kids call them. Well, I think that's that right. I think blue. you interpret them. Uh, that's what I like about things that aren't specific. Absolutely. It leaves it to your imagination. Absolutely. I think you're, I think you're dead right there, uh, Linda. You know, use these in whichever way you like. You know, why don't you make a, you know, a, a, you know as you would make a beautiful tree of life pendant, you can make a beautiful bunch of flowers, a lovely kind of corsage. A little brooch, yes. A brooch. That's a lovely idea. That's amazing. Sandra's got two. Rosman's got two. Shirley's got two. Mettler's got two. Well done. We've got a huge quantity. <clears throat> 60 second clock. Eleven ninety-nine. Not your price. Oh yeah, we're doing something bonkers today. Everyone has got these in baskets. There's so many of you uh, with these in baskets. This is going to go nuts. Let me just remind you very quickly, we bought you back in May three lotus flower beads in sterling silver. Can we see them? Can we see them again? Three sterling silver lotus flower beads, oxidized, absolutely beautiful. Here they are, okay? And your price point was 12 pounds and 99 pence. 4.33 a bead, okay? We are currently at 11.99. So we're already beating that price. We're already, we're already beating the deal that we did in May. And I guess what? And I guess a what? Nine ninety nine. That is a jewelry maker price. That is absolutely crazy. Do you know what? The, look, looking like this, actually, I'd quite like these. Maybe just kind of wire wrapped onto a little onto a little hair grip or something like that. Wouldn't that look gorgeous? Beautiful. A bunch of flowers brooch. I love Linda's idea about making these into a brooch. I think that's so sweet. $9.99, you've gone completely nuts. And as Linda says again, you know, they're generic enough for them to be whatever flower you want them to be. And also you can extend them if you want to. Yours today, well done. Good morning, everybody. Patricia's got three loads. Maureen in the Ronda. Well done to you, my lovely. Shirley's got four loads. June's got two loads. Marva's got two loads. Angela's got two loads. Sandra's multi-buying. So's Patricia, so's Karen, so's Angela. So's another Patricia, so's Jane. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. And everybody's saying, everybody is saying that Thursday is the new Friday. It is. It jolly well is. Can I just call out some baskets, please? Maker in Greater Manchester. Lynette, Lynette in Worcestershire. Megan in Kent. Eileen in Nottingham. Uh, Janet in, in Essex. Maker, Elizabetta. Christine in Devon. Maker in the West Midlands. Diane in Greater Manchester. Look at all these multi bidders in baskets. Heather in Lancashire. You've got three in your basket. Maker in Surrey. Uh, Maker in Greater London, uh, Diane in Manchester, Fiona in Hampshire and a load more of you. Please, please, please check out as quickly as you can because we will not have many of these left at all. I just think they are brilliant. Um, whether you use them all together in one piece of jewellery or whether you do what lovely Anne and Sue have done and just literally pepper them throughout your jewellery. Also, you know the gorgeous... Um, that beautiful pearl station necklace that you've made there, Linda, where you've dangled the shell pearl from it. 
on the end there with the gold chain. I'm sure there is a way, if you wanted to kind of get a piece of wire, do a loop on either end, but kind of in the middle of the wire. Oh, yeah, these just make beads. it part of a chain. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Make Definitely. it into a link. Definitely. How beautiful Definitely. would that be? You yeah. think about how many top, top, top designers... Um, What's that designer's name? That was Mark Jacobs, isn't he? Who's got, who's got an entire perfume range called Daisy, you know, all based around flowers and floral things. Um, uh, you know, you've got, you've, got, you've got big designers who are so invested in floral things. Flowers are, mean nature. Flowers are, are beautiful. They can be whimsical. They can be full of memories. And I think what you've got here, you've got a beautiful connection between that kind of daisy chain quality, but then something a little bit more grown up and sophisticated as well. So you really can make this into whatever you want, depending on the jewellery, depending on how you use them. But much like Linda was saying as well, with the beautiful papaya pearls, using one of them on a bracelet as a little charm, as your little signature, why not use one of these as your signature? You know, if you've got a, a, a collection named after a flower or, 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 or if your name is a floral name, if you're called Poppy or Iris or Daisy or, you know, there are so many different ways in which these will be um, uh, ideal in your jewellery. And Anne and Sue has, um, have used three in this bracelet. I really like that. I think that's really pretty. I don't think you need to do that, though. You don't need to go to that extent. Just one, and it will look absolutely beautiful. One in a ring. Just imagine one in a ring. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, popped into a bridal tiara would look beautiful, wouldn't it? Sort of wire wrapped in. Would yeah. Look, as you said earlier, a flower, you know, a vine. Yes. Moving through the hair. Gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. See? So simple. Now, <clears throat> yeah, just one on a piece of flex, right? That looks awesome, doesn't it? Um, now, what are we going to do now? Well, I think well, I don't think that's a bad idea. What, what you were just mentioning? Yeah. I think. Do you know what? I, now, pff. you know what we did back in May. You might be going, oh, I didn't get a chance to get those lotus flower beads. So we're going to bring them to you now. Now, it's still an unbelievable deal. We can't move on the price, okay? Don't, don't expect these are not going to go down to nine nine. We just simply can't do that, okay? But we just thought for the last few chances available, these are epic. Um, so we've only got just over 20 chances available. So you may as well get them. You want them? Take them. Love these. Love the detail. There's the top of them as well. They're absolutely beautiful. And this is great if you do want to make that, you know, that, that Zen style jewelry. There's your drill hole as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we go. Beautiful quality. There you go. We, when, we bought, when we played these, actually, we said that they, yeah, you, you can easily tell it's a lotus flower, uh, which is a symbol of kind of rising from the depths and enlightenment and striving and growth. But we were also saying, don't you think it looks a little bit like a Tudor rose as well? There's something very Tudor rose-like about it. Liz, Jane, Caroline, uh, Janet, Valentina, Christine, well done to you, Shirley. You're also there for $12.99. Brilliant. Well done. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Just check your baskets out as soon as you can. They are great, aren't they? For the last 23 chances we had, we're now below 20 ch um, uh, chances available. Well done. Shirley's taken two. Gloria, well done to you as well. Uh, literally just over a dozen chances left. Well done. Go, 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 go. Patricia's got these. Well done to you. The detail, the oxidisation, it just brings these beads to life. Without that... It would look lovely, very shiny. And I would miss that detail there in the centre. I'd miss the kind of the depth going around that main central bulb. I'd miss all of that. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. And of course, if you want to put them together, you absolutely can do. It's entirely up to you. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. 12.99. Five opportunities remaining. Well done. Okay. If you sell your jewellery, like um, you've got a sterling silver part of your jewellery selection when you sell... Um, and then you've got like a perhaps within that you've got bridal anniversary christening. I think these would make a superb little christening charm. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Mm. I like that. Either on a chain or on a bangle or on a little start off that charm bracelet. Start off the charm bracelet. Yes. Yeah. What a lovely idea. Um, what do we do? Sorry, we do start another star by brave troops.
Love it. Love it. This is our Brave Troops carving, which features the Pixu. Look at him. Pixu. The kind of the clouds and the mist surrounding the Pixu. There could be fire, I suppose. Pixu is a, is a mythical, I must repeat, mythical creature, because when you do start reading about the Pixu, it, it starts to go into detail about, oh, the, no, no, a Pixu's main diet consists of blah, 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 blah. Um, and you should always stroke your Pixu, but never touch its, but never touch its head, never touch its eyes, never touch its feet. It's like, we're talking about a mythical creature here. Anyway, um, you've got your Pixu in the centre, Surrounding the Pixu, so a Pixu is a symbol of wealth. It's a symbol of, uh, it, it keeps gold, it keeps coins, it keeps uh, wealth in your family, in the house. Surrounding the Pixu, you've got loads of coins. These are all beautiful coins. Uh, they're all um, um, uh, coins which are going around here. You've also got these beautiful gold ingots we were talking about yesterday as well. Do you remember in that PowerPoint, we were showing you the gold ingots um, uh, which are much like when you imagine kind of bars of gold that you would get in a safety deposit box, you know, in a bank. Um, so rather than them being a bar shape, it's like the shape of a bowl, but with a round ball inside it. And, and that's a symbol of wealth of money as well. Um, so you've got the coins, you've got the ingots, you've got the Pixu. This is all to do with attracting wealth, keeping that uh, good fortune, good luck. Um, it's absolutely, um, it's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Not to mention, which it's a beautiful quality, beautiful quality um, uh, piece of jade that you're going to be getting here as well, which is just so exciting. Taipei Burmese jade that you've got here. Absolutely beautiful quality. Um, I do love a Pixu. He's beautiful, isn't he? He's kind of got like a, a lion-y kind of dragon-y head, but he looks a bit like a dog and he looks a bit like, a, I don't know, there's all sorts of different, all sorts of different animals going on here. But one of those kind of hybrid animals. Okay. So price point wise for this today, he's lovely, isn't he? There he is. And do you know what? That's great quality. You've got those beautiful darker elements going through the uh, go, going through certain parts of the um, uh, carving as well, which I think is very, you know, a lot of people really, really love that quality. Here we go. £199. Individual split payments of £49.74. Sorry, 75 pence. Well done. Go, 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 go. Absolutely superb. 0800 644 655. Well done. We are under £200. Nacho Deo. Here we go. One minute clock. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. Beautiful quality, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Love the depth of the carving there. Love the symbolism behind it. Love the uh, quality of the jade as well and what you're getting here, that beautiful, um, uh, delicate color, but then you're gonna be getting the darker notes in there as well. There's your kind of hidden drill hole as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, about 30 seconds and then we're gonna be dropping the price point on this. Well done to everyone who's already coming through for this. Well done. Um, I can see those names coming through. Um, loads in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous deals for you today. Well done. Um, so. We bought you so many sterling silver deals already in this hour. We're finishing off with a beautiful jade carving. Next hour, we've got the most beautiful shells coming your way. Can't wait to bring you those gorgeous kits. Here we go. Price point coming in. Enjoy. Gorgeous. Here we go. You've got your coins. You've got your ingots. You've got your Pixu. And you've got your price as well. Here we go. Enjoy. It's yours today. For 99.99. Oh my word. Go, 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 go. Well done. Yours for under 100 pounds. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing. Um, well done to everybody there. Gorgeous. Let's see those names, Neary Nunu. Gorgeous. You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee, plus you're only paying um, uh, 3 dollars P&P per order. Well done to you. Individual split payments of $24.99. Zoe in Lincoln, she's literally just joined us um, on the phone lines there. Well done to you, my lovely. More makers. That's great in Greater London. Well done to you. $99.99. Well done to you, maker in Norfolk. Sue, well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. We're under £100 for your gorgeous, brave troops 
carving. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Well done, everybody. Absolutely amazing. More makers coming through. Uh, Dumfries, uh, well done to you. Brilliant. Well done. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Well done. Now, quickly, before we go to... Oh, RuPaul, well done to you, my lovely. Oh, RuPaul! RuPaul, you're watching in Middlesex. RuPaul, I've got some great news for you, RuPaul. You have won... RuPaul, you have won the Claire's competition the other day. Anyone who bought the kit with the gallery wire and the, and, and the carving in will be entered into a prize draw. Pick a winner at random, and whoever we pick up random wins that gorgeous necklace. Uh, RuPaul, you won. So we're going to send that to you, my lovely. Well done. Congratulations to you, my love. I'm so glad we've seen you, uh, RuPaul. That's great. Well done. So you can expect that uh, over the next few days. Well done to you, my lovely. Well done. There's more people checking their baskets out. Great to see. Well done. Go, go, go. 99.99. Now, before we go to the break, we're going to do very quickly. Oh, after yesterday's success... He has bought, oh, Wayno has given us, after yesterday's success, Wayno has given us a stunning strand of Canadian jade. If there was ever a gem which has got that incredible um, imperial green colour, that is going to be it, isn't it? It looks ancient, it looks, it looks antique, it looks opulent, it looks expensive, it looks valuable. And it looks like your imperial jade. This is an amazing gemstone. First identified in Canada by Chinese settlers in 1886 um, in, in British Columbia. Where this is mined looks like the gemstone, which I think is always a good thing. Um, at this time, jade was considered worthless uh, as they were searching for gold. Uh, jade wasn't commercialized in Canada until the 1970s. Uh, you've got here an amazing quality. Now, before, well, before the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, all of the jade that was, all of the jade and nephrite that was mined in British Columbia was sent directly over to the Far East, okay? And we didn't get a chance to have a look in. It wasn't even taken, to my knowledge, to any of the big gem fairs either. It was something which was just literally from Canada to the Far East done. But of course, a lot of those people in the Far East weren't, weren't buying gemstones during the pandemic. We still were. We were in the very fortunate position to still be able to buy gemstones and sell gemstones and kind of business was ticking over. So because of that, we've been able to we have been able to secure over the last few years some really sensational deals on gemstones, which otherwise we wouldn't have or we wouldn't have access to. Hopefully moving forward, we'll be able to carry on having access to them. But I'm not counting my chickens. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not counting on on being able to do that. Um, You've got here an amazing gemstone, which is very, very challenging to mine. It's mined at altitude. It can only be mined for about 60 days of the year. Outside of that window, you are looking at long, long winters. You are looking at backbreaking work, getting the physical boulders, the cut pieces down the mountainside. You know, it sounds like lapis lazuli. It sounds like mining for Russian diopside almost. And you've got here the most amazing stone, which has the look of imperial jade. But it's not going to be the price of imperial jade. The price point you are going to be looking at today, the price point we are going to be bringing this to you for today is utterly, utterly brilliant. Now, I don't know about you, Linda, but for me, I don't think we've... We, we can't bring a jade out to air that looks like this. It would be, it would be too... Well, be, we, it would be too much. We wouldn't be able to afford it. Exactly. It would definitely be unaffordable. What I love about this, I love that deep emerald green. Yes. As well. Um, and I mean, I know that you love emeralds. Um, I just think that, you know, the colour on it's got such... If, you, if you're not really a green person yeah. as such, I still think you will love this particular green. Because yes. Because it's vivacity. Yes, yes. Um, and as it's Canadian, I would most definitely... As soon as I saw the strand, I thought Labradorite was that. Oh, my gosh, that's a great idea. Beautiful. That is a brilliant, Jim, I hadn't even thought about that. that is a brilliant idea. That with Labradorite. 
And, and as Linda says, it's like an emerald green, but it's better than almost any emerald I've ever seen. And bigger. Carrot weight size, it's bigger. And even the emerald that we can bring you, which is in the host rock, you know, the natural emerald, it's got nothing on this, clarity-wise, colour-wise, kind of energy-wise. Do you want to know what your price is today? This is crazy, okay? This is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers what we're about to do. I really hope that you are enjoying the deals we've, we've been bringing you over the last hour. I'm really hoping that you're enjoying every single piece. I, I, I absolutely am. But I have to say, these deals are utterly, utterly, utterly brilliant. All the way down, 0800 There we go. I mean, it's very much a Christmas type gemstone. Oh, it's rich and fern like, um, isn't it? That with any velvet top, with Ooh. any velvet dress. Gosh, that sounds you lovely. Know, that, that is a gemstone that will be stunning oh. with with any colour velvet. Sumptuous. I love the idea velvet. with vel that black velvet. Amazing. With this, it's going to look so gorgeous. Price point wise, Christine, Janet, Susan, Julia, another Christine in Essex. Well done to you, Paula. Here we go. Here comes your price point today. Enjoy. It's a, it's a go, go, go. He says he can't believe he's about to press this. Really? What are you, why, what are you doing? It doesn't feel right. Jane in, in uh, Lancashire. Well done to you, my lovely. Wow. 50 quid. That is outrageous. Oh my gosh. How many do we have, Neary? Ah, uh, wow. Uh, Maker in Oxfordshire, Gabrielle, Denise, Janet, Linda, uh, Susan, Julia, Christine, Paula, Belinda, Paula, uh, Jane. Oh, my word. We literally had, what, 20 odd chances. There are so many People coming through. That is amazing. I can't believe it. 49.99. How many on the strands? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. 24 on the strands. And we're not being funny. They are 24 big statement pieces. They're rings. They're pendants. They are standalone pieces. They're guru beads. They are magnificent. Oh, my word. Denise has taken two. Shirley, Norman, Marie, Elizabeth, well done to you. This is amazing. And, I, you know, I can, I, we, we saw some beautiful gallery wire yesterday. Can you imagine this with beautiful gallery wire just being beautifully, delicately framed with gallery wire? The fact that these are faceted as well just makes them even more uh, opulent. It gives it even more providence, doesn't it? Susan, well done to you. Another maker. I don't think anyone could believe this. It's absolutely superb, isn't it? Yours today for forty nine ninety nine. I love this colour. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And it's very much that kind of like. It's the colour that it's the colour of that precious imperial jade, isn't it? It's the colour of joy, isn't it? Yes. It's really joyful. It's just a pleasure to look at it. It really is, isn't it? It, it, it's immersive and it's that it's that color that you want to get for your imperial jade or any jade but it's unaffordable you know in imperial jade you know this would be thousands of pounds thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds what you've got here today is amazing for 49.99 maker in airshire well done susan in argyle maker maker well done to you norman well done to you as well Oh, my word. Absolutely amazing. Do you know what? I want to get more of this. I want to get more of this. Loads in baskets. Maker, maker, Susan, Elizabeth, Marie, Susan, Julia, Christine and Paula. You've all got this in your baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. Oh, no, more makers. Gee whiz. Seven really opportunities sorry, remaining. I, I can really, really, because of the shape of that, Jane. Yeah. And the flat, the flat sort of shape, mm. and the faceted, and the sparkling is absolutely good. A stretchy would look amazing. Oh, well, someone said a centerpiece to a pearl necklace. I think that's a lovely idea. Or a station necklace, you know, like a tin cup. Necklace. Yes. Um, perhaps if it was a stretchy or on a bracelet, perhaps pop one of those little sterling silver Buddha charms we had. A yeah, that's a lovely idea too. Rupal, well done to you. Lynette, well done to you as well. 
OMG, thank you so much, Carol. Loved AM. I learned so much. Ow, Rupert. Oh, that's so great. I'm so glad. Congratulations. You've won that beautiful pendant as well, uh, Rupert. That's just awesome. Well done to you, my lovely. Lynette's there as well. Well done. These are about to sell out. We've got five opportunities remaining. That is it. Well done, everybody. Incredible. There's more people. Make her in time and wear now. Wouldn't it be amazing if we had some more um, Canadian jade coming up next week? We've not had it prior to today, have we? Not I've really, not no. Seeing it. no. Not really. No. I've got two strands. Is that right? Okay. Okay, right. Black jade. Which strand are we going to be starting with? The shorter strand or the longer strand? Longer strand of black jade. This is amazing. This is the outside of the boulder. This is the rarest um, kind of tones that you can get in your jade. It feels amazing. It feels ice cold. It feels beautifully smooth. It feels um, heavy, 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 heavy. And it makes this beautiful chinking noise. It, it's just, you can just tell what it is straight away. 220 carats of your type A black jadeite eight millimeter rounds. Gosh, they look bigger than eight mil rounds, but anyway, uh, these are beautifully shiny. Very few of the gemstones out there which give you this level of tone. Um, and what you've got here is actually a very, 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 very dark, almost completely black uh, jade. Uh, the closer you can get to that black tone, the better. It's deemed uh, by, by, by many experts out there. Um, but it's just got that really lovely, solid tone to it, which I love. Um, 220 carats of your type A black jadeite, eight millimeter rounds. They are absolutely beautiful quality that you're going to be getting here. Wonderful to use with all of your other colors of jade. Use it with your nephrite. Use it with, uh, you know, the Kotan mutton fat nephrite we bought yesterday. Use it with, oh, see, look at that. I think with that gorgeous Pixu uh, pendant. Yes, I there we that's go. The, that's the neckline strand, isn't it? I think you're right, actually. In fact, it was our in-house designers yesterday who made some lovely jewellery with a carving and uh, had yeah had the black jade going around the neckline. Nothing to say that you can't do that at all. So those colours look so good together, don't they? They really are amazing. We've already got Christine and Essex uh, interested. That's really good to see. Well done. Um, as ever, we, we've only literally got a few strands of this available. That is it. Uh, gorgeous. Here we go. Let's get that price point all the way down for you. Here we go, my lovelies, all the way down, £199. Now, you know, really, you know, that's a great deal, but that's where we should be stopping. I'll give you a very quick count, actually, how many you're going to be getting on the strand. Um, two, four, six. Oh, hang on. I've lost count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Gosh, that took some concentration. 48 of these um, on the strand. They are absolutely gorgeous. It is a jet black, isn't it, Linda? And it, there are very mm. few other gems which are this black, are there? And yet, you know, you can also see under... Um, incandescent light, particularly incandescent light with black jade, you can see those tones of deep green yeah. flashing, which I think is gorgeous. Because you don't really associate green and black in one stone, mm. do we? Um, I mean, you get, you know, pleochroic gemstones and, and um, you know, all sorts of gemstones that will give you different colours flashing, but for a black gemstone to give you flashes of that gorgeous nephrite green, I think it's stunning. And I think as well, the luster as well with mm. black jade is something very unusual. They're actually polished using a bamboo stick and they give you, and they give you a really beautiful, um, patent, uh, kind of patent leather quality. They're absolutely gorgeous. We are not done at 199 pounds. We are gonna be giving you um, all of the deals today. Uh, we've got kits coming up. There's a load of things coming up in just a few moments, uh, but we just wanted to bring this to you today. We wanted to bring this to you ahead of that. 
Um, you've got Tonely Black Jade, which, of course, is very, very dark um, uh, green. Can be up to 90%, but the closer you get to that jet midnight dead 100% black tone, the better. And basically what this is, is this is basically your imperial jade, which has gone over. So your imperial jade, which has become so dark and saturated that it's turned into this incredible jet black tone. I mean, all gemstones are rare, but there are rarities of some gemstones that are yeah. more rare than others. And that's, that's exactly rare. it. Yeah. 199 amazing. Are you thinking 100 pounds? Are you thinking 99.99? If you're thinking, I tell you what, if you're thinking 99.99, just put it in your basket. Go for it. We've got Maker, we've got Maker of Middlesex, we've got Christine and Essex. Well done to you. If you're thinking this is going to be 100 pounds, if you would like this to be 100 pounds, put it in your basket. Check out. If you'd like it to be 100 for 220 carats of genuine natural black jadeite, put it in your basket now. Show me that you're interested. If you're happy at 99.99, yeah? Zoe, Rupal, well done to you. Tonally black jade is very dark, 90% plus green. It is fair to say the higher the tonal value, the closer the hue gets to 100% tone, i.e. pure black, the better. Who wrote that? Richard Wise, who wrote Secrets of the Gem Trade, one of the most... Um, uh, respected, prolific gemologists of the 20th and 21st century, along with George Frederick Kunz. We'll talk about him later when we come to the deal of the day. I know, exciting stuff. I can't wait. Uh, Paula, why well don't you, Lynette? Loads of people there. Whoever did this price point needs their bottom smacked. Mm. Oh, Tom's up for a bit of that. 69.99. Oh, my word. Go, go, go. And this is the jade, which can't be stockpiled. This is the jade, which we've got gem experts out there saying, you know, this is, this is the stuff that everybody wants to get a hold of, but very few people can just purely because it's such, it's such an elusive stone. This is the outside of the boulder. This is like the skin. You imagine, uh, uh, you imagine, uh, um, uh, you know, peeling your potato. How much of the potato do you keep? You keep the bulk of the potato. How much do you throw away? You throw away the skin of the potato when you're peeling potatoes for like roast potatoes, don't you? And it's such a tiny amount of that potato that you're actually throwing away. That's the black. That's the rest. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Angela, oh, you think of that the next time you're cutting up those potatoes, Neri. You think of that, Angela, Hazel, Paula, well done to you, Patricia, well done to you. Do you know what? I have to say, I do love potato skins. For me, the skin is quite often the best bit. Lovely. Whether it's fried, whether you get it filled, filled skins, very nice, lovely. Gorgeous, well done, absolutely flying out the door, well done. 69.99, go, 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 well done. So, we've got next... Oh, Lynette, you've got too many basket, darling. You're going to need to check out ever so quickly. Here we go. Oh, this is how, what? Another star buy. Star buy coming up now. Time for a double-sided carving. Have you ever collected any of those beautiful willow pattern plates, Linda? Yes. Have you ever had any? Have you ever seen them in shops or have yeah, you? Yeah, but I'm absolutely fascinated by Chinese porcelain. Fascinated. Ooh. I'm fascinated by Chinese watercolours and Chinese um, porcelain. So consequently, this type of thing really rings the bells. It's just exquisite. I just love the feeling of emotion that comes over you. When you look at something like that, it's just so... It's a bit of a double whammy. There's loads of attention to detail, but it's yep. not overly stated. So it leaves 
a lot to the imagination and what's actually going on in that little scene. It's whether you buy into the, the story of the star-crossed lovers, which is what the willow pattern plates are all about. Um, there was a name for it, and I can't remember what it was, but there was a name for it kind of during the 1920s moving forward, a love of everything Chinese and Far Eastern. As people were able to travel more, as you had people going, you know, on, 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 on steamers over to the Far East, and bringing back these silks, bringing back these highly exotic porcelains. Um, there was a real, a real flair for it, a love for anything Chinese, anything kind of... Um, um, chinoiserie. Chinoiserie, that's it. Thank you. Um, and it was a love of anything exotic. And the willow pattern plates <coughs> were right at the heart of that... You know, but anything, you know, kimono painted silks from Japan or whether it was the beautiful bamboo kind of paintings, you know, everything to, uh, down to even the techniques of painting yeah, these it's incredible all, silks it's all and really parchments. really on trend again, particularly in home decor, in wallpapers. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, home decor, yeah, wallpapers that you get from the likes of, um, oh, gosh, I mean, Vivian Westwood, a lot of the wallpapers that she does, Cole and Son, that's who I'm trying to think of, who do who are kind of uh, by royal appointment of the Queen. Um, you know, they do the most beautiful wallpapers, which are incredibly expensive, but to do your feature walls, and they've got the bamboos, they've got the beautiful um, uh, bonsais on them, they've got cherry blossoms, they've got pagodas, they've got mountain ranges. And then, of course, you can go all out and you can do an entire room like a willow pattern, you know, a willow pattern uh, kind of thing. So whether you buy into that, uh, whether you love, love this because of that, or you love it because of the incredible skill set needed to carve this. I, I, it fills my heart full of joy to think that potentially the gem carvers who carved these incredible pieces of, of, of jade. Let's remember, let's remind ourselves, jade is harder than steel. So we're not talking about carving into icing. I saw a lovely birthday cake somebody made yesterday, a lovely kind of Bollywood dancer um, uh, um, uh, cake. And I thought, well, that's absolutely amazing. The skill to do that, to carve that into fondant, amazing. This isn't fondant or wood or even sandstone or soapstone or even limestone. This is jade and that skill set. Potentially the ancestors of the people who carved this incredible stone may have been the same people who carved things, carved pieces of jade for the Qing dynasty, for the Ming dynasty, you know, hundreds of years ago and passed that incredible, valuable skill set down to the gem carvers that we know now. And this isn't a new technique. This has been done for thousands of years. In fact, I mean, I'm going to be referring to this in uh, kind of in the next hour. I've got the Curious Law of Precious um, Stones written by George Frederick Kunz. This isn't an original edition. This isn't a first edition. This is going to be kind of a, you know, a second, maybe third edition. But in this book, there's an entire chapter dedicated to gem carving. And he talks about coral, he talks about jade, and we'll, and we'll talk about it later. But, but he talks about jade and carving jade and the skill set to carve this is, is just incredible. So there's two different kind of ways. Or you can just love it because it's an amazing deal and it's double-sided. And my goodness gracious me, it's absolutely superb. You've got the jade industry in Burma which is responsible for nearly half of the country's GDP. So that's half of the money that the country kind of um, uh, creates. Almost half of it is down to Jay. That's how prolific this gemstone is. Apparently as well, the, the actual people that carve this sort of... Um piece they cherry pick the jade absolutely 
We can't... Um, uh, there is a total ban on, 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 on gemstones being exported from Burma at the minute, particularly jade. And when you consider one of the biggest markets in neighbouring China, where it's known as the stone of heaven, you know, this is, this, is where it's, this is where it traditionally has been exported to. It's the source, where this is from is the source for almost all of the world's finest jadeites. And with your green jades, it's exceptionally rare. But with anything which is black or what this is, I wouldn't describe this as jet black. Obviously, it's not. But I would describe this as a beautiful dove gray. That's what I would like a salt and pepper smoked, misty, foggy jade almost. It's almost like... Those images you see of those beautiful valleys in, in kind of the furthest reaches of places like Bhutan, where the, where the temple of the crouching tiger is, where trees grow out of the rock and they're clinging onto the side. That's, that's this. And you see the fog and the mist. That's what this particular quality of jade reminds me of. And the symbology... Well, it's incredible. We spoke about it yesterday. Pagodas, that reaching towards heaven. The curved roofs to catch that water. The water can, um, signifies wealth. The mountains which symbolize the gods. That's Mount Fuji in the background you've got there. Incredible in Japan. Price point coming in. It's double-sided. You've got stories, symbology, millions of years. Well, sorry, I, I do beg your pardon. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of years worth of skill set. And it's under 200 pounds. 199 pounds and 99 pence. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely superb. For something of such historical significance. The drill hole, by the way, if you want to know where it is, it goes from top to bottom there. It is a lovely big drill hole, so you can get like literally all the cord or the wire through there. It's, it's stunning, nice isn't it? It's a coffee table piece as well, really, isn't it? Just Most definitely. Pop by a nice coffee, uh, well, particularly the, the, uh, the book that's coming up in, in a little yeah. while. It would be nice to place it by that because it's so tactile, that. Absolutely. Put it in one of those beautiful box frames as well or in a frame where you can see the front and the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well done, 199.99. Do not move a muscle. When we come back, we've got gorgeous, gorgeous kits with Linda coming up. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. As you can see, autumn is well and truly on its way. And to celebrate this, on Thursday the 29th of September at 11am, I'm going to be launching the next instalment of my Chestnut Close range, Autumn. Featuring six brand new pieces, including a squirrel, a bat, a frog, and flowers, including the poppy, the dahlia and the anemone. It's a beautiful collection. I'm absolutely thrilled with it and I hope you will be too. So that's this Thursday, the 29th of September at 11 a.m. Join myself and presenter Carol for the launch of Autumn at Chestnut Close. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. 
and as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Right, there we go. Hello, welcome back. Oh, my word. Linda, you've got all the jewellery. Mm, went a long way, didn't it? It really did. You're not kidding. Um, this shell, I, 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 I just, I adore this. It's, it's mother of pearl, really, isn't it? It's so tactile. It's so tactile, mm -hmm. exceptional quality. Shell pearls, we've got all of it coming up in this hour. Look, um, they are beautiful pieces and it, it's gone such a long way, as you say. It's just exceptional. Um, <laughs> these kits are very, 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 very big, okay? You get a lot in them. They are huge. Um, there are so many ways in which you can use these, whether it's going to be in jewellery, whether it's in interior design things, whether it's to use them as photographic tools, what, you know, whatever it's going to be, they are absolutely, they are brilliant. So first kit that you're going to get, you've got shell pearl. You've got shell pearl in beautiful white, slightly smaller in beautiful purple, longer strands of purple, then this gorgeous pinky colour. You get all of this. All of that. So you get smaller and larger strands in each colour. Yeah? Amazing. All shell pearl. Beautiful. I really hope you're paying attention because you get so much. Okay, you then get all of these beautiful lilac uh, shells here, which are absolutely beautiful. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous, Linda? Oh, I love shells. I didn't get this kit. It's a shame because I've just, you know, things are hitting me straight between the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. The colour of these is so beautiful. You do find shells like this on the beach, don't you? Which are just mm -hmm. the most beautiful kind of um, soft, gentle purple colour. It's kind of streaks going through them. You then got these gorgeous corally coloured pearls. Look at this. Almost like a leopard print, isn't it? Just gorgeous. That beautiful coral tone going through there. That is not it. You get so much more. Oh, my word. Uh, let's put all these shells. Let's put them all here. Okay, you then start to get different shapes uh, shells as well. So you get these uh, beautiful, uh, what look like kind of, yeah, that. so have I. There's a name for that particular shell. I can oh, this snail it. shell, I can't remember. Get these beautiful, what almost look like horns. You get them loads of them. 
Gorgeous kind of almost unicorn antlers kind of styles. There. Mermaid crowns. Mermaid crowns. Oh, my word. Just imagine using that with resin and kind of pouring um, oh, yeah. resin in there and putting the gemstones and rhinestones in there, having it literally spilling out. They are gorgeous. You then get all of these shells here. Oh, wow. See, these are lovely mix in with your shell pearls. Yes. Really. Quite a statement necklace. Yeah. But the statement oh. being created just by threading. Bright white, beautiful qualities here. You get um, a lot of these are going to be, not all of them, but some of them are going to be drilled as well, which is great. If you want to drill your shells, mm. um, a tip is not using an electric drill for this particular tip, mm -hmm. using a little battery drill or just a hand drill, is to drill them underwater. Um, oh! It literally, um, it avoids the shell breaking then. Wow! The, uh, the water, the density of the water in the shell, it just balances it somehow. That's incredible. Mm. That's amazing. What a great idea, I suppose, back in this little habitat. Mm. All of these shells, I love this green. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And then loads of chain, meters of chain. Uh, in fact, you've got two meters of silver plated base metal chain. You then get cup chain. I know, it's crazy. You get cup chain in beautiful purple. You get it in gorgeous yeah. crystal. See the cup chain glued into the ridges <gasps> of those. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, you see, I love that idea. Oh, that's a gorgeous idea, Linda. This is beautiful. And this is presumably looking at these and thinking, right, I'm going to make this into a little uh, dish to put my rings in, to put my earrings in. A little salt and pepper salt dish. Salt and they're, pepper they're dish. Gorgeous yeah, absolutely beautiful. Oh, sorry. What, uh, two last things. Loads of rhinestones and star-shaped charms. You can see them there. So rhinestones, beautiful uh, little rhinestones there. You can see them there in the gorgeous silver. And then they, they can be glued into the crevices of the Yes, shell. into the eyes maybe of yeah. the shell. And you've got the same um, in hearts, uh, sorry, not hearts, moons as well, but with a lovely kind of um, um, AB quality on them as well, slightly larger, a lovely AB quality there with your beautiful moons as well. The, yeah, you can see these kits are absolutely gigantic. It's huge. It's like, it's like, it's like seven kits in one. It's huge. Price point on these kits are, are uh, they are ludicrously low. You're going to absolutely love them. Here we go, everybody. Um, yeah, these should be kind of, yeah. What, for each one of these, what, for this double kit? Yeah, each, so you can see that you've got two different themes. Each one of these should be about £25 per theme, yeah? So we're looking at, what, £50? £50. No. The whole lot today, oh, I love this, love this, love this. The whole lot is yours today. Enjoy, just get it, add it to your order. Well done, make a Gloria, make up well done to you, my lovelies, all the way down. 39.99 for the whole lot. That is absolutely amazing. There is so many components here. There are so many items here. There's so many different directions that you can take these in. It really is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Well done, Mary and Jerry. Well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic. Check out your baskets, everybody. They're so interchangeable as well. Next kit. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just looking at all these different shells. Eileen, well done to you as well, my lovely. Uh, let me move this, actually. Are you going to use anything from this one? Oh, no, no you've got no, another no. kit there, haven't no. you? There we go, lovely. Right, this kit. It's just so well executed, so well put together, isn't it? It's beautiful. This is gonna fly. One meter of shell pearl, multicolored. A meter. Another meter of, and this is, like the best shell pearl ever. You've, you've, you've been with jewelry makers since the beginning, obviously, Linda, and you know how uh, the journey our shell pearl has been on. It hasn't always looked like this. No, it hasn't it always hasn't. looked it this definitely good. definitely hasn't. I mean, this really, to all intents and purposes, if you don't, you know, you're not really, haven't handled a lot of pearls or a lot of shell oh. pearls, you would definitely take these as, as real deal pearls. Yeah, most without, definitely. Without a doubt. It's the softness and the flawlessness of them. Yes, and also the beautiful way in which the cut, they've, because this mm. is basically reformed shell. 
The coating on these uh, beautiful uh, rounds is so flawless. They are epic. You then get this gorgeous strand here. This strand always reminds me of a feather boa. I love it. You get hundreds and hundreds of shell uh, pieces on this strand. They are all jam-packed on this strand. You get far, far, far more than it looks like you're getting on this one strand, just to make you aware. But it's that different texture. Again, you know, this is something which we talk about a lot, you know, different, you know, making a beautiful pearl necklace using lots of different shapes and sizes of pearls. You know, all pearls, but all different shapes and sizes always look so phenomenal. See, look at that. I love that. They're like a group of feathers all dangling down together. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? You then get your copper wire, which is silver plated round copper wire, 10 meters of 0.4 millimeter gauge. By the way, this kit's really, really, really popular. Last but not least, it's the absolute main attraction for me. The most exquisitely, um, the most exquisitely carved mother of pearl leaves. Mm, feathers, they look like ostrich stunning. feathers. Don't, they are absolutely, they are some of the finest carved pieces I have ever seen. Love the shape, love the movement, love the colours, love the, oh wow, look at the edging on that, on that shell there. Isn't that just sublime? These would be perfect as little dishes, wouldn't they? Look at the inside of that. Oh, my gosh, it's so lovely. So, I mean, that, that to me, as a, as a pendant, a standalone pendant, you know, if it flips over, it's as beautiful on Absolutely. Side. I'll pop it up to my neckline, actually. Can you imagine that just as one on its own? That is so beautiful on its own. So beautiful. Make a Lynn, make a, make a Loretta, make a Mary, uh, Christina, make a Barbara, Leslie, well done to you. You're going to be getting a total of, of five of these on this one here. It's just gorgeous. All of this is made from this kit, but there's even more. Look, there's loads. So your price is going to come in. It's honestly just stupidly low. Love the rosary linking, Linda. Love what I'll see. Look at this. That is so... The movement, the noise, the tactility of that, it's all absolutely beautiful, isn't it? The thing about this kit with the, with the mother of pearl, right, it's um, oh, look at whatever, whatever you make with it, whatever oh. techniques you use or whatever design you use will work because yeah. it's such a nature type kit. So you don't have to overthink it. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Linda. You don't need to overthink it. It's organic. See, look at this. This is one of my favourite pieces. I love that wire work. It's so organic. It's so beautiful. And I love the way that 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 chain swags down. Yeah, thirty-four wow. ninety-nine. See that on the epaulette of a of, of a blazer. Exactly. Wouldn't that look yeah. gorgeous? Yeah, I mean it's brilliant. Oh, Just, I love it. Give it. Get it home handle it look at it and i can i promise you the oh, inspiration will pour in you imagine this I, I have to say linda i mean i love all these pieces but this as a, this as, with as the on, chain. A, on a lapel on, a, a lapel yeah. sorry on, on a lapel of a blazer yeah or right. you know a pashmina yes absolutely as a scarf you know make that into a Make that into a brooch that is absolutely that is going to look seriously high so designer and also the noise, the sound of this jewellery, its movement. And, and if you're looking, you know, you've bought your, you bought your, you know, your, your genuine freshwater culture pearls. Wonderful. That's great. If you're looking to make the most modern designer, see, look at that, designer inspired jewellery, but you want modern jewellery. This is the kit to get. Shirley Gabrielle, make it Elizabeth. I mean, this is kind of hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of jewellery right here. I mean, uh, Chanel used shell pearl. You know, you're yeah. a Chanel piece and you automatically think, yeah, this is freshwater culture pearl. No, yeah. most of the time it's shell pearl. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Because making those ropes and ropes and ropes of pearls using genuine freshwater culture pearls, it's, it, it's a great idea, but my word, uh, you know, it, it's going to cost you an absolute fortune yeah. to make, let alone what it's going to be valued for or sold for, you know, retailed for. Uh, but yeah, to doing it with shell pearl also takes off the takes away the kind of the pressure of oh gosh, it's genuine pearls. I can't, you know, I can't, you know, it needs to be the last thing on, first thing off. I really need to look after it. I need to make sure I don't do this with them. I need to, you know, you need to be quite precious with them. With these, because it's shell 
well, Pearl, you're getting here, you can be much more... You can be much more kind of um, uh, kind of relaxed with it, can't you? Definitely. And because it's, um, you know, you've got shell pearls, that you've mm. got your round shell pearls, mixed with the mother of pearl pendants. Yeah. And then with the strand of um, busy, busy, busy um, pearl. Yeah, uh, these ones shells, there. Then, you know, you've got something here that you can create either something simple or say you're a little bit more experienced, perhaps. Um, it's a kit for all bases, really. You're absolutely right. I love it. And I love this bracelet. It looks like gorgeous cuffs of, um, of feathers, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do, um, Linda's going to do a demo for us. And whilst we're doing the demo, we're going to bring you the other kits as well. We'll just bring you the graphics for them. If you want to come through and get them, uh, well, absolutely, um, you, you know, please, please do. But, Linda, what do you... Um, oh, I'm going to quickly go through a couple of things. Mm. Um, the necklace there, that one there, where I've sort of popped that large uh, pendant side, but I've used very it within clever. the neckline. Yeah, very um, The um, Mother of Pearl is top drilled yeah. from side to side. So it is drilled, as you can see, the wire's gone through yeah. there. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so um, I've popped my wire through and then you, then there isn't any, you think, well, where am I going to anchor it for it to um, hook on to the, the other part of the neckline? Well, if you just do, if you've got about, about three inches mm. extending uh, on the one side and then just about halfway down, do about halfway down the wire and halfway down your round nose pliers, do a wrap loop. So push forward, Lovely. flick around, bring it back, take the plier out, pop it back in again where it fits and then tightly around the base of that prong on the plier, wrap around and just Lovely. wrap it around uh, the stem until you've got a tiny little piece left over and then just snip that off and then pull that back to where it meets the shell okay and then just bend that wire slightly and then the wire here the residue of the wire here bring it back and then take the end through that loop that should then help you center, make sure it doesn't twist, that will then help you center the wire so it's coming out the top of the shell rather than either side of the drilled hole. And then again, you go back to a, another loop. So right on top of where the wire has passed through that previous loop, do another wrap loop. Make them quite sizable so that you can put float your chain through it or you can put um, a couple of jump rings in to annex the the chain and then again wind down now you can wind the residue down the length of um, the sort of bail part that you've made there and then just take the wire down into that concave part of the shell and really give it a good stretch until it meets the point on the other end of the shell. And then if you take your round nose pliers and while the, the wire is nestled within the shell, pop your pliers onto the end as it meets the tip of that shell. Yeah. And then again, the good old wrapped loop. Turn it around a couple of times and then um, trim off. Now, what I did then was I put a small amount of glue in the dip of the shell there, popped the wire through to it, and then pushed the wire down into the glue. And then at home, I took a little bit of tape and just anchored the wire so that it's, it's set in the glue. And then when you remove that, once the glue is cured, you've got your anchor excuse me, you've got your anchor point at both ends. Now, if you're not happy with um, the sort of rustic look of those anchor points, then you have got enough room um, at the side of the wrap loop here to pop jump rings in mm. and then pop in a little cluster of your smaller shell pearl. Um, sky's the limit, really, but that's just a way of anchoring from both ends of the shell. 
Just um, and then it's entirely up to you how you design it into your neckline piece. Now, the earrings, uh, they're quite yeah. statement earrings. Yeah. Um, there is simply using two of the eight mils mm. and then five. I've got five which I've prepared of the six mils. Now, with the six mils, I use a head pin. On screen at the minute is the end of the C kit, uh, which is this kit here with the um, with the waxed knotted cord, which is wonderful, lovely gold colour. The shells I love in here are these ones. Gorgeous, ah, they? they are absolutely beautiful. The whole kit, by the way, nine ninety nine. That that is a lovely kind of feature to go in a bathroom or to hot glue gun onto a picture frame, isn't exactly, it? Exactly. Yes, as, and as your idea earlier for um, a hair, you've got some grips. Yeah, you've what got I call the old-fashioned grips. Yeah, lovely. You can put a um, stitch onto that, a little piece of felt or something, and then um, yeah. glue your shells onto it. Absolutely, it's nine ninety nine. Just do, do you see what we mean about kind of interior design? things just very quickly just just what we'll do is um, just on the um just we're going to bring to air next just very very quick this gorgeous gold leaf you get a whole stack of this i've seen you do amazing things with this um linda just very briefly you put this on the back of the shell or inside yeah the well shell? what you can do you can either or whichever surface you think um is is going to work for it you need, and on a, on a shell like this one mm. it's either side yeah uh, all you do is you put a little bit if you've got some um of what i call the white school glue yes you know like the PBA ordinary glue. everyday pva yeah. glue and um, pop some of that into a little dish and mm. then add, say, a teaspoon of water to that just to dilute it slightly. And then using a soft brush, just put a fine coating onto the inside. Yeah. Give it about five minutes to get a little bit tacky. Mm. And then simply using the gold leaf in its um, tissue. Mm. Don't take the gold leaf off first because it'll stick to your fingers. In its tissue, just place it and then just push down. And then when you pull back, you will find that that gold leaf oh my has gosh. adhered to, to some places, to these higher ridges, that will adhere more than into Gorgeous. sort of concave ridges, yeah. which gives it such a beautiful look. And obviously vice versa on the other side as well. And another little tip then afterwards. Yeah, please. If you've got any, and I think you'll find some on our website, any gold uh, metallic, uh, markers marker pens right. yes just touch the edges with the oh. metallic markers and it looks absolutely superb it, uh, we're going to do it for two we're going to do it for 2.99 for as a photography tool it makes your shells look amazing obviously also if you wanted to use um if you wanted to do that on the inside of a shell and then you could put your jewelry inside um mm -hmm. sorry inside there it's going to look absolutely beautiful also, with kind of salt and pepper and things like that, it's just going to look amazing with that beautiful gold inner surface. It just looks so exotic, so expensive. You will find them, actually, that idea. You'll find that on a, on a site called, um, a very sort of upwardly mobile site called Anthropology. Oh, I love Anthropology. Yeah, you find all that sort of thing on yes. that at, at a price. Yeah. Oh, how gorgeous. So two ninety nine, and you get loads of this. This will go such a long way. It's such a long way. You get 50 pieces of the gold leaf there. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, there we go. Neri wants to gold leaf the computer. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. It's absolutely beautiful stuff. And um, yeah, it's really going to make a huge, huge, huge difference. But there's, you will literally be walking around the house looking for things to gold leaf. It really is amazing. So two ninety nine. Just check out your baskets. Sorry. So we were at the um, point where you've got the five of the yeah. six mils. Yes. Yeah. So I've got five six mils and they've all got a wrap loop on the top. So just in case you haven't seen me do wrap loops, which I will find absolutely astonishing because it's one of... It's just one of those techniques I use in a lot of jewellery. It's a significant technique and it's one that once you've cracked it, you will use it and use it and use it in s just through design. It's amazing. So this particular wrap loop, I've just popped a six mil because I want to use this like a charm. Popped it onto Jeez. the head pin and yeah. then I about... About two or three mil from the tip, because I don't, because you can see these are sort of graduated. So obviously the further you go down, the larger that wrap loop will be. Um, so you're gonna just push away and then flick your wrist forward, really getting some purchase on that 
bring it back through 180 degrees and really push down. Yeah. Take the plier out and then pop the base plier underneath in the same position. Turn it to one side and then just push down towards the pearl mm -hmm. and then take the end, the very end, and just wrap around that. That is lovely. It is incredibly simple mm -hmm. to keep wrapping until if you want to use the whole of the head pin, I'm not sure whether these will do it, so these are my narrow pair of uh, flat noses, you can ease that in, but I just haven't got enough gap. These are my uh, narrower ones. So what I'm going to do, if I can't do that, then we just snip off that little bit of residue right as close to the neck of that wrap loop as you can get and pop that down to one side. Lovely. So to make the ears, I've got here a uh, eye pin, mm. which is a piece of wire with just a simple loop on the end, which basically is just a bend back. Um, you can make them if you haven't got them. Mm -hmm. pop, pop on one of the eight mil. Now I've got, I've picked out two white ones here. I could pick out two purple. I could pick yeah, out of course. Odd, um, or the two peach. And then with the five, six mil pearls i'm just threading them on to the head pin like so all right give them a little shake and you see how they just sort of sit in that that sort of little flower shape yeah. and then if you pop another one on the top then it stabilizes it mm. if you think you need more of uh, the, uh, the six mil around, then obviously just, just make more charms. Um, so cute. And then I am going to make yet again another wrap. Now, wrap loop you can't open. The simple loop which yeah, we'll course. come to in a minute, you can. So I'm going to wrap that around nice and tightly just to keep um, a, a real sort of um, tightness between these, the top pearl and the bottom pearl to keep those in place. And then again, we'll just snip off that little bit of residue. Keep these little bits of residue, particularly if you do polymer clay or uh, resin, yeah. they're always so useful. I was doing some polymer clay last night, actually, with my uh, seven-year-old. Really? I was making a polymer clay pyramid for an Egyptian project. Oh, great. Gorgeous. I'm just going to open a jump ring now. Go so I've it. got a, uh, probably this is probably a four, mill in a diameter yeah. jumping. So I've just taken my flat nose pliers and then I'm just going to pull towards me. Sorry, this isn't obvious where the opening is. There it right. is. So I'm just going to open it like opening a door. I'll always open a jump ring towards you or away from you. Never from sort of east to west ever because you'll just compromise the metal. Pop that through and then I'm just going to lay that down one second while I just cut off. Uh, hang on, I've got to tie a smaller piece of chain mm -hmm. here, which we've got chain in one of the kits, haven't we? I'm just going to cut off one, two, okay. three. I always work in odd numbers. For some reason, it just works. It looks in, better. In all sorts of arrangements from mm. um, an odd number will always give you a centre. Mm -hmm. So I've cut off five links of the chain. Yeah. And then I'm going to pick up my open jump ring at this point and pop it into the loop of the chain and then close in exactly the opposite direction and just go slightly past that join and then pop your flat nose pliers on the join which is joyfully slipped around and then just give that a good press and that will realign it and also strengthen the wire in the jump ring in the hope that that will not come out. So now we've got our chain. Oh, that's really, chain. really cute. And then all you need to do is take your earring finding of choice okay. and this is a shepherd's hook earring finding which opens mm. as it's a simple loop and then just pop on to the top link of that chain and then again just slightly past that join, back again, and pop your flat nose pliers on top of the join and give them a pinch. And if you want to, you can make um, 
some of these little charms and then pop them all down the length of Lovely. that chain which will make it a different earring altogether. That's what I like about jewellery making. That's a pendant. Is I'd wear that as a pendant. And a pendant. Or yeah, a charm, oh, yeah a definitely. Pe but, um, and also, that just that alone, if you made several of those, would make a nice necklace or bracelet. Oh, nice, um, yes. Just like that. So it's always best to really... I mean, I know I've been making jewellery for yonks and that, so I... I still tell myself to watch each stage of my jewellery making yeah. in order to find something within that piece that I can use in another piece. And that's, that's I do that all the time. So I can look at a piece of jewellery I've made and think, I could use that part of that design in a, in a, in a neck piece or in a... Absolutely. Um, or a Transferable skills. And just keep, keep looking the whole time. You're amazing. But you will get a huge amount of inspiration i think that's the thing about nature's product and the kits will go on forever absolutely forever they're so big they're beautiful um very 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 excited about our deal of the day coming up next we have got the finest strands of kunzite we've ever had and i think i can safely say some of the finest aquamarine we have ever had on jewelry maker coming up next it's going to be incredible. See you in a sec. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. As you can see, autumn is well and truly on its way. And to celebrate this, on Thursday the 29th of September at 11am, I'm going to be launching the next instalment of my Chestnut Close range, Autumn. Featuring six brand new pieces, including a squirrel, a bat, a frog, and flowers, including the poppy, the dahlia and the anemone. It's a beautiful collection. I'm absolutely thrilled with it and I hope you will be too. So that's this Thursday, the 29th of September at 11 a.m. Join myself and presenter Carol for the launch of Autumn at Chestnut Close. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. 
Our partnership family includes jewellery maker, gem collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewellery Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. This deal of the day today is what I have been waiting for, for what feels like, how long has been Joymaker been going? It's, uh, Joymaker's been uh, going now for... 12 and a half. 12 and a bit years, is that yeah. right, Linda? That's right. Every step of the way. That's right, Linda and I were just... Babies. 17 years old when Joymaker started. <laughs> um, no, seriously, this is this is what I've been waiting for for all of those years because the quality of what we have today is oh my gosh, these recordings are are literally heart-stoppingly good. The quality of the gemstones we have today are as good as they've got the other side of that wall on Gems TV. And I am so excited about bringing you quality gemstones where there's no excuse, there's no kind of, uh, yeah, this isn't quite the same caliber. This isn't quite, this is, this is it. And it makes me so proud of where we've come as a channel, where our sales manager and gemstone buyer, uh, Wayne, um, Wayne Del Paso, his his skill set of for buying gemstones and getting that quality and demand much like the beautiful uh, ulite we bought you yesterday, we could have bought and invested in the ulite from um, from Michigan. We could have done that, but the but the stone when it's not under UV light, it just looks a bit nah. Whereas what we wanted was the really beautiful kind of Botswana, Laguna Lace Agate kind of appearance. And then it gives you that incredible quality when you put the UV light in it. And being able to bring you stones like this, and it's one of my, it's one of my all time favorite um, uh, stones, Kunzite. Um, uh, and the quality of aquamarine we have here today is second to none. And it's natural, it's natural. There's no, there's no, kind of, I'm not feel like I've, I, I don't feel like I'm having to make excuses for any of these strands. These are all astonishing. I'm gonna get the micro faceted strands at first and put them on the back of my hand because I just want you to experience what we are looking at here today. I had in my mind what I thought these were gonna be because I know what prices were going to. I had in my mind what I thought these prices were going to be. Um, and I had in my mind what I thought we were going to have because of the price point that these are going to. What we are actually getting is the best we've ever had. It, it really is incredible. We're starting off with one of my all time favorite gemstones known as the Midnight Gem. This is Kunzite. And this incredible um, gemstone was first discovered by Tiffany's leading gemologist of the time, Sir George Frederick Kunz. I've got a photograph of him. He looks very serious, actually, in this photograph. Um, I haven't seen any happy photos of him, but, you know, it's a serious business, gemstones. So George Frederick Kunz. As a foremost, this is from the GIA website. As a foremost gemologist and mineralogi mineralogist who lived from 1856 to 1932, he was amazingly prolific um, in, in writing books and articles on a diverse variety of titles. Some of the intriguing topics are gems and precious stones of North America, mineral industry reports, missions of California and bridges of New York. He was Tiffany and Co's vice president of gemology from 1879 until 1932. 
That is quite a career. They're vice president of gemology for, what, 50 years. His most famous book, and the next slide kind of talks to you a little bit about this, uh, because he, 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 he discovered so many gemstones and wrote about so many gemstones, and he really was the Richard Wise of, of, kind of, 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 of his day. Whilst many gems, and this is referring to Kunzite, whilst many gems have their legends that date back a millennia, you know, thinking of garnet being in one of the, um, uh, being one of the gemstones in the 12 breast uh, plates of, um, um, of, 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 of Aaron, um, pale pink Kunzite has a surprisingly um, young story. The first commercially significant deposits of Kunzite was found in 1902 in the parlor region of California, although trace amounts were discovered prior to this in Connecticut. So we're talking about Ameri an American gemstone, really. The gemstone's name is a tribute to George Frederick Kunz, the legendary gemologist and gem buyer for Tiffany & Co. Uh, Kunz was the author of The Curious Law of Precious Stones. He travelled the globe collecting international gemstones, legends, and searching for undiscovered gemstone deposits. Now, I, 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 you can buy this book else, uh, elsewhere. We don't have it for sale. I'd love to be able to bring this book to you. I think it's, it is an amazing book. I've been doing lots of reading in this book today about lots of different gemstones. Um, it, is a, it, is a, it is still very relevant now, he talks very, very widely about kunzite in this book. He also talks about an amazing property this incredible gemstone has called phosphorescence because this gem is known as the midnight gem, a gemstone that can retain small amounts of daylight for reasonably long periods of time. So if you wear a really beautiful quality kunzite um, uh, uh, and then you bring the piece of jewellery inside into a dimly lit room or into a dark room, it's not going to glow in the dark like, you know, a glow in the dark sticker, but it will, it will still have that sparkle even in a dark, dark, slightly darker room. Later on in the show, if we have time, I'm going to be bringing you some Olmec Jade. And I just wanted to give you, this is how ahead of his time he was. Um, he talks, um, oh, this is amazing. He talks um, in the book about this incredible variety of jade. And he talks, about, um, he talks about jade carvings, okay? And it's a very kind of beautiful kind of gargoyle-like quality uh, that, that, that's been attributed here. These pieces here, I believe, were discovered in Mexico. Now, know what you know about, about the Guatemalan jade. I know I'm going slightly off topic here, but, but it will come back to it, I promise. Um, he talks about uh, he talks about jade. He talks about carving of jade. He talks about finding jade finding jade carvings in places like Europe, in places like Mexico, in places like America, and in places like South America. The 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 conclusion that he's drawn from finding these carvings is that. Europe and America must have had ancient trading um, uh, trading um, uh, relationships with Asia because up until that point, and when he was writing this book, they didn't know about Guatemalan jade. They didn't know it even existed. So what you're what, what you're reading in this book, written by this absolutely amazing mineralogy, this incredible geological um, uh, kind of giant is that he was writing about gemstones like kunzite. He was writing about gemstones like jade, but before they were even discovered in places like Guatemala. I found that very exciting this morning reading that, and I'm going to be taking this book home. I've got it out, the, out of our uh, library. But speaking and thinking about kunzite, this gemstone is attributed uh, to some of the highest end, some of the most expensive pieces of jewellery that I've ever sold on Gems TV, you know, four or five figure pieces, um, uh, which have been absolutely beautiful. But probably the most famous person in the world ever to have owned Kunzite is very famously Jackie Kennedy. Um, what an amazing uh, woman she was, incredibly powerful, incredibly intelligent, and, and just knew what she wanted. 
Now, this is an incredibly sad story, but it's but it's but it's but it's definitely worth uh, telling you in relation to this incredible, incredible Kunzite ring. After the loss of their son, Patrick, JFK bought Jackie a Christmas present of a golden ring with Kunzite from Van Cleef and Arpel. I only found out yesterday it was from Van Cleef. Actually, I didn't know that until yesterday. The oval Kunzite gemstone was surrounded by 20 white diamonds. JFK wrote his beloved wife a note to go with the ring. But just, th just three weeks later, um, JFK unfortunately was assassinated. Um, the ring was given to her after his, after his death. Um, he was going to be giving it to her as a Christmas present. It's believed, it's believed that um, because this incredible gemstone is meant to be a gemstone of kind of everlasting light, everlasting kind of love linked with romance. There's a lot of people hinting that possibly um, you know, it was, you know, even though we've lost our child, you know, I can see our future. It's bright. It's, um, you know, it's a, a bright, colourful future that I'm going to be having with you. Now, that ring has subsequently sold at auction, auction by Sotheby's, $400,000. Yes, I know it's part of Jackie's estate. I, I realise it's been sold by Sotheby's. But you've got here one of the most valuable pieces of jewellery ever sold at auction, and it features a kunzite. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, most of the kunzite that we've bought you over the years has been from places like Afghanistan or even Pakistan. And what we've got for you today is African kunzite. The quality, the colour, it is as good as you are ever going to get on jewellery. This is it. This isn't grey. This isn't kind of murky. What you are getting here is absolutely... I feel like I want to put this on a board, actually. This is just so... This is just so... Look, look. Because the sparkle, the quality, in fact... Yeah, look. Look at this. Just... Now, Linda, have you ever seen Kunzite on Jewellery Maker that looks no. like that it's absolutely mesmeric isn't it it's better than even some of the maui kunzites i've sold before in rings for thousands of pounds the quality you have got here is other world i can't i can't it, it, it is so what we've wanted it's so what kunzite should be but unfortunately we have never had kunzite of this quality. It is my absolute pleasure to bring you this today. It is my absolute privilege to bring you this today. We've got to bring you a clock to graphics because if you've waited for as near to gem, as near, I mean, this is gem quality kunzite and then some. If you have if you have been waiting for this for the last 12 years, like I have, yeah, I've bought you Kunzite before. I've bought you Kunzite strands before, but most of the Kunzite I bought you with the best one in the world is white. It's white with maybe a touch of pink in it. Now, interestingly enough, have a look at this. Um, here we go. So you've got, I love this, Pantone Colour of the Year 2023, Digital Lavender. Oh, now that's interesting. Significance and key points. There are a few points to pick up from Digital Lavender. It's a neutral tone that will be readily accepted by all generations and celebrated by Generation Z. The additional Pantone colours include, include spring, autumn colour combinations. So with your oranges, with your greens, it's all going to go together. Graphics are live. 12, over 12 years of waiting for this quality, <laughs> this colour, this grade this quality of material that we have never had on jewellery maker is it a close contender to your lavender jade is it a close contender to some of the most some, this is totally natural by the way 100 percent natural 100 percent real now i've got three strands of kunzite to bring you Size wise, just to let you know, they are four. Sorry, I, be, I do beg but I'm holding the wrong strand. They are four mil, three and a half mil, and two and a half mil. This is your four mil strand. 
Now, what is that size? I mean, Linda, for me, this size is perfect for kind of cherry blossom designs. It's perfect for everything from earrings to necklaces to beady beads. Look, at here's some beautiful beady beads our in-house designers have made. I love this. I love this size, don't you, Linda? It's perfect. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's just divine um, because you can keep it really um, tiny if that's your, yeah. your thing, you know, but because it is that size you can you can make such delicate jewelry from it but you can then as with this you can big it up yes so you've got you know both sides of the coin really but the thing about Kanzaki is I think it's it's got a big um emotional draw to it you know mm. it's like a surge you feel sort of a surge of emotion when you see it. you don't Most quite know definitely. what the emotion is but you feel a surge of whoa that there's is... romance uh, if you think of one of the world's most famous pink diamonds actually the sweet josephine diamond is a beautiful diamond it's one of the largest natural pink diamonds in the world for me this color is that it's a bluey purpley pink it's a specific pink it's a kunzai pink there's no other pink like it no oh god no seriously i don't know how to brace you for this. One of the most expensive pieces of jewellery I've ever sold was over £10,000. It was a Kunzeit ring. Look at your start price of £49.99. All I'm going to say to you is get on the phone lines, put it in your basket, check out as many as you can. Micro faceted four mil rounds of the world's finest Kunzite. This is the best Kunzite we've ever had. This is the only time I can hand on heart say it's got that incredible inner glow. It's got that incredible Kunzite color. It's got that incredible carrot weight. It's got that incredible romance. That feeling, as Linda says, that you feel when you look at this incredible stone. I think it's you'll not find your price. In, in, in George Frederick Kempsey's book, yeah. I think you'll find that a probably trying to explain how I felt when I saw that strand, when you put it around your wrist like that. The surge of emotion is because it's a very, it encourages communication. Absolutely, Linda, absolutely. That, that and this gemstone, it. so beautiful, so wonderful, so incredible, it had such an effect on George Frederick Kunz, he named it after himself. Morning, Carol and JM family. It's my 60th birthday today and I had to get all three on pre-order. Absolutely stunning gems. Thank you, Liz. Thank you so much. And I have to say, for, you know, somebody, I, I, I love my gemstones. I've worked with them now for, what, 14, 15 years. Happy birthday, sweetheart. And um, having never had on Jewelry Maker, Kunzite that looks even remotely like this. This is yours today. There are so many people there. What price would you like to see today? Maybe five pounds off. Do you know what? Even better, maybe £10 off. Just you wait. This is going to cause pandemonium on the phone lines. There's already so many people there. Look at this incredible deal. Enjoy this moment. It's yours for £29.99. Well done, everybody. Absolutely incredible. Under £30 for the most amazing gemstone, a gemstone which had such an effect on George Frederick Kunz when he found it in California in 1902 that he named it after himself. That is praise indeed, isn't it? That is, that is, that is incredible. This is my gemstone and I'm naming it after myself. You've got a photograph here. There he is looking ever so happy again. George Frederick Kunz, his namesake of Kunzite. He's seen here with a large Kunzite crystal that was mined from the parlor chief around 1903 or 1904. <laughs> and the table in front of him is, is a cut Kunzite. The crystal is now in a collection of uh, Bill Larson, a photographer, unknown. So you've got here a gemstone which is so documented, an incredible gemstone which has only been found in a few remote uh, regions around the world. And do you know what the best thing is? Wow. We can go lower. There, yeah, Carol, I've just been seriously thinking. We can go lower. Sorry. I've been thinking through a list of gemstones, thinking of its best sort of 
companion. And I can't think of anything it won't work with. Anything at all. Wow. This is a photograph of Bill Larson and his private collection and a photograph of that crystal. And he's holding the crystal. And there's a photograph of George Frederick Kunz with the crystal. Gee whiz, you don't need any. You don't need any more proof than the effect this gemstone has had and will continue to have. Um, and it's because of its rarity, its natural tone, its incredible colour. It's all of it put together. This is for today and for today only. This is literally one of the biggest PR offers I think we have ever brought to air. This is only happening because it's the first time it's been to air. Your deal to this is going to, ah, oh, there's so many people there. This is brilliant. I love it. Natural, it's new, it's yours today. The best consite we've ever had, the finest material, the finest, highest grade, and it's yours for 20 quid. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so low. That's so low. Goodness knows what it's gonna mean for this strand and this strand, oh my word! I know, I know, I know. If you've never owned kunzite before, uh, if you've never had this in your collection before, now is the moment, because you're not gonna find better. I've waited tw over 12 years to find kunzite of this quality on Jewelry Maker. Never seen kunzite like this before. And believe you and I, this is at the top of my list whenever we're asked by our buying team or our gemstone buyers, what gems would you like to see on Jewelry Maker? Kunzite, 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 kunzite. Always, but it's got to be decent. It's got to be brilliant. It's got to be this quality. It's got to have this color. Don't give me that white kunzite. Don't give that to me. I'm not interested in that. I don't want that. I want kunzite. The reason why kunzite is famous is because of its incredible color. And this color is what kunzite should be. This is absolutely a kunzite pink. It's a purpley pink lavender, very difficult to describe. There's no other gem like this. You know, sometimes when you get mixed between, mixed up between rose quartz, morganite and kunzite, that's when it's not, you know, it's not proper kunzite. That, that, that's, not, that's not what I want. I want it so I go, that's kunzite. That, there it is. Uh, Carol, does that mean I can be really indulgent and buy two strands of each? Happy birthday to me. Liz, yes, it jolly well does, my love. Well done, gorgeous. Next strand. Well, I think we can all safely say that we all love Kunzite. Right. I love it. Love it. Do you remember that collection? I don't know whether we still got it next door, actually. The, the Larique collection. Do you remember that? Larique collection. I do. I remember Steve Bennett going to air with a Kunzite ring once. He, he had a, uh, a white diamond solitaire mm. before the Kunzite. Yeah. And when the Kunzite came on, um, <laughs> probably an hour after the white diamond, it was, it just, the phone lines went into absolute uproar. Meltdown. And then I saw the gem afterwards and it just, it just takes your breath away. It really does. There, to me, there is nothing else like this. And, and as Alison Terry has quite often said, actually, this is the pink for people who don't wear pink. Yeah, uh, this is true. the shade of yeah. pink. This is the feminine tone that you wear if you don't necessarily wear pink. You know, you can actually say, you know, guys as well, you know, this is a, this is a totally, I mean, you know, guys can wear whatever, whatever colours they want, but if you want a classic kind of unisex colour, this I would absolutely say is it. Absolutely amazing. Amazingly micro-faceted bridal jewellery, I would say for bride. oh my gosh, look at that recording. I would say for bridal jewellery, this is it. Is there a better gem for bridal jewellery? Is there a better gem, a more, a more in keeping gem? Is, it's, it's a peony pink. It's a lavender pink. It's ethereal. It's like a pink jade or a purple jade. It's like a lavender jade, isn't it? Just incredible. Yeah, and as far as colour therapy goes, I'm putting this in the same kind of bracket as green angelite, as gorgeous green jade, as, um, you know, moss in, uh, not necessarily moss in summer, but a lovely lighter pink, uh, 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 green jade that we do. Um, <clears throat> it's relaxing. It's soothing. It's a breath of fresh air. It's calming. Okay, $29.99 is obviously not your price point. Um, I'm going to show it to you alongside the bigger strands. We're about to do something absolutely bonkers for everyone coming through. Just enjoy. Let's break a barrier, shall we? Let's break a barrier. Let's break a barrier. Do you know what? For everyone who's come through to get one of these, SJ, 
Maker Jean, Maker in Cardiff, Maker in uh, in Greater London, Yi Mei, Suzanne, Lynn, Christine, Maker in West Midlands has got two. Lynn, you're not going to want to get one. You're going to want to get about three or four of these. The best quality we've ever had. You've got it in graduated sizes, as in we've got the, we've just on the four. This is the three and a half and we've got the two and a half coming up. You know, amazing. Such a wonderful size, such an unusual size. This next price point, as uh, Neri says, is utterly, utterly stupid. And it's yours today. Enjoy. We're going to break a barrier. Here we go. Fourteen ninety nine. Can you well, actually believe it? As well, hasn't it? And I mean, you know, it doesn't, with gemstones, particularly faceted gemstones, it doesn't, under normal circumstances, mean that, as you go down the sizes, it should become cheaper because it should become more expensive. Because you're absolutely of the right. The amount of work involved. Do you know what, um, Linda? You're absolutely right. There are certain gemstones where sometimes the smaller the size, the more difficult it is for them to retain the colour. It wouldn't surprise me if Kunzite is one of those, actually, where actually the smaller gemstones should be more expensive because they're more difficult to find with this level of colouring. But what you're actually going to be getting, and let me just show this to you, by the way, with the, um, oh my gosh, with the aquamarine. This is just insane. Look at that. Look at her! Amazing! Absolutely amazing. Yeah, with the aquamarine, absolutely beautiful. You know, great for twins, maybe? Mm. Is it a girly pink? Well, it could be, I suppose, but it could also be, you know, a unisex pink as well. Absolutely. Beautiful quality. Well done. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of people coming through for that. Well done. Purely because of time. This is purely because of time. We're going to be moving on. We've got our final strand of Kunzite. This has been an absolutely... This has been a dream come true for me. Half an hour, yes, half an hour until the launch of uh, Chestnut Close, the autumn collection. I know, we are so excited. All my little friends sitting with me on the desk right here. <laughs> Gorgeous. So we've got three different sizes. We bought you the four, we bought you the three and a half. Now it's time for the two and a half to shine. This is a, a, an absolute, oh, wowzers. Now that really should be the most expensive strand out of all three in my book. When we first um, launched Jewelry Maker, I've told this story before, wow. but there was a wall in the old building that was full of two mil gemstones. Oh. And um, I do remember saying to Sarah Bennett, can we have these as soon as possible? She said, we can't afford them in any volume. Oh. Because they're too expensive. So really from those statistics, that statistic, this should be the most expensive. When we first launched microfaceted gemstones in these kind of sizes, not just microfaceted in a larger size, but this size, um, every single strand of microfaceted gemstones had a minimum price point. And the minimum price it was was about £20. Reason being is that when we started microfaceting gemstones, we had to invest in a lot of new equipment. So that was new uh, magnifiers, new cutting wheels, new uh, dapping sticks, new wheels, new everything, because you have to have a very specific set of tools if you're going to achieve this kind of look on your smaller two to two and a half mil gemstones, okay? So we had to factor all of that in. Now we've done that and we don't have to outsource anything and we've got our lapidrists who are very, very, very um, adept at cutting gemstones in these kind of sizes. We are able to bring you them for lower prices. 19.99 is brilliant. It's not your price. We are going low. We are going really low. In fact, hang on, what are you trying to say, Neri? You're going to do what? You've got about 152 stones on this strand. Some of the best, well, no, I think the best kunzite we've ever had on Jewelry Maker. Colour-wise, it absolutely hits the mark. Clarity-wise, it hits the mark. Uh, Faceting-wise, it hits the mark. And it does so consistently. This isn't the odd one or nine out of ten. All of them. I have a feeling Neri's about to go lower than I thought he was going to go. Are you really? Ah! Wow. 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 Um, 9 .99. Imagine the waterfall earrings in those, because of literally putting them so close oh. together, you get that 
pop of that beautiful lavender colour and that pop of sparkle. And it's just a pop of preciousness. I don't know. I can't actually make sense of what we've just, well, what Neary's just done there. The lowest price point it was meant to be is, is $12.99, okay? As in the lowest, the price point we were thinking we were going to go down to. And then I heard Ollie say to Neary, what, you're going to cut it in half? $9.99 is the whole shade of pink um, uh, that will go with any other colour. Thinking of putting it with Labrador. Yeah, oh, yeah, Liz, Liz do that. It lovely idea. fantastic that will. Do you know what? That really will look gorgeous. It and I will. know that um, I guess the designer Mark actually uh, loves putting Kunzite with, uh, with a chromed upside, with bright green. Oh, yeah, and uh, looks... Ethiopian opal. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So that's it. You can either put it with something really sumptuous and rich and bright and vivid or with something delicate and light and tonal. You can even go with an organic, you know, obviously pearls comes to mind, but something like amber. Oh gosh, the orange with. would look yeah. amazing with that. Yeah, that would be stunning. Joni, well done to you. Absolutely. This is literally flying out the door. Well done. So from one amazing gemstone to another. Now, here's the thing. I'll be honest with you. I prepared a PowerPoint last night having not looked at any of these strands. And I feel a bit stupid, but, but to be honest, actually, it's gonna pay, it's gonna pay us a big favor. Aquamarine, have a look at this first slide. I, do, I couldn't resist. Um, aquamarine is made with two Latin words, aqua meaning water, marine meaning, um, uh, uh, meaning of the sea. It was once believed that this gemstone would protect sailors and guarantee a safe voyage. Legend has it, aquamarine serene blue would invoke calming properties of the sea, helping to cool tempers and allow the wearer to remain calm and level-headed. Let's see if it works, shall we? Uh, right, so, <laughs> so you've got your aquamarine here, okay? Next slide. This was the next slide I prepared. And this is all about, so show my next slide, please, Chris Whitty. This is all about aquamarine and its inclusions. And it's about aquamarine and accepting its inclusions and actually being quite excited about its inclusions. Small or needle-like crystals, snowflakes, negative crystals, or tubes, tubes containing liquid, sometimes with bubbles of gas. The picture on the right-hand side is an aquamarine with a double terminated tourmaline growing inside it. Amazing. The top uh, image is actually from the GIA's Facebook page. You can go and have a look at it if you want. Um, and, it's a, um, and it's an aquamarine with a snowflake-like inclusion in there. Uh, and, and the one at the bottom are uh, beautiful needle-like uh, inclusions called rain inclusions. And uh, they're just tubular inclusions which have got gases in them, sometimes liquid, which are called rain inclusions. You can also get something called um, chrysanthemum inclusions, which look like a chrysanthemum. The reason why I prepared that slide was I thought, right, aquamarine, what's the price point it's going to go to? Right, OK, that's the price point. OK, so this aquamarine, it, it's, it's, it's going to have, it's going to have, it's going to have inclusions. Let's focus on that. Let's not shy away from the fact it's got inclusions, but it's going to have lots of inclusions, yeah? But let's get excited about that, yeah? Let's get excited, guys. And then I thought, right, the value of this incredible stone. This gemstone is, is, is the original gemstone that has been used in engagement rings, and it's been used for hundreds of years, really kind of most prolific during the Victorian era. I've got a beautiful um, um, aquamarine engagement ring to show you, actually, and you can really sense the value of this incredible stone. Have a look at this next slide. Um, so I really wanted to go in on kind of this incredible gem and uh, being a symbol of, you know, a wonderful symbol of marriage. Aquamarine's ring uh, reflects union, trust, tranquility, fidelity and harmony. The name of this gemstone comes from the Latin meaning sea, water. We've spoken about that. It's meant to be, uh, it's meant to be a good ring to reflect that its wearer has been uh, like a peaceful calm in the midst of a stormy sea. Um, and, it's, and it's incredible. And it's talking about, you know, the value of this stone. Let's just, for one second, Neri, can we go back to that previous slide? All excited about these inclusions. Yeah, because it's got the, the prices we're going to, by the way, are so scandalously low that I thought, right, let's put, let, let's put some slides together and let's talk about the inclusions you can get in aquamarine. Oh, well, when I saw these this morning, I felt like a right wally. I have never in my life seen natural, I'll repeat it again, natural, 100% natural aquamarine with this level of clarity. 
I mean, so many designers are working with this now, aren't they? Because it's so, you know, um, some of the time you want a pale gemstone, yeah. don't you? But this is significantly one that would come within that sector, pale gemstone. But it's got that pinch. It's got the power. It? You're yeah. so right, Linda. It's got that pa that pastel tone, that pastel base, but it packs a punch. Mm -hmm. It really does. I've got two strands like this to bring you. The first one I'm going to bring you is the four mil. Then we've got a three mil strand. So just to, the two together are epic. And the reason why I wanted to show you them together, you can tell they're from the same, they're from the same uh seam the same consignment if you like of aquamarine they're not they're not completely wildly different you haven't got one from pakistan and one from brazil they're both the same but i'll get that one out of the way right you want to see what we can do with aquamarine clarity wise i can honestly say i, I other than other than santa maria other than santa maria aquamarine which we've sold, I mean, I've sold this with Mark Smith, Santa Maria Aquamarine for what, like uh, th 300 quid a strand that was. Hang on, we're at 50 quid. Can you understand why I looked at this last night? Well, I didn't look at it, that's the whole thing. Then I looked at the star buy sheet last night and I thought, right, okay, this is going to be under 50 pounds. I'm going to prepare something. I, I thought, yeah, maybe something with lots of inclusions in, maybe something which is going to be a little bit less on the clear side. This is going to sell out. And it's not going to sell out today at $49.99. This price is obscene. I don't know whether we can get hold of this actually, Neri, and probably not at this late stage. But this is completely natural. Neri and I this morning spent about 15 minutes looking at every single lab report we could find for these strands to just verify that this was 100% natural aquamarine and it is i wouldn't expect it to be filled because the clarity is too good and if you get filled aquamarine sometimes you lose a bit of the clarity but it really get it gives you amazing color but what you are getting here i would say could have been you know to look at it i if, if somebody told me that i've been heated i would have believed them and to heat aquamarine all that happens is as you're knocking out the greens and you're intensifying the blues what you're doing is you're altering the ferric and ferrous ions inside the gemstone to give you more of a blue stone. This has not been heated. This is how it came out the ground. This is what it looks like in situ. Well, no, it doesn't look like this coming out the ground, obviously. It looks, it looks, it looks beautiful. It's not faceted like this. But you know what I mean. The quality has not been altered whatsoever. $49.99. Would you believe me if I said to you, we could go significantly lower? This is, this is insane. This is unthinkable. 19.99. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 19 pounds and 99 pence for the absolute king of aquamarine i have never seen anything like this in my life linda that is there are so many people literally flying through on the phone lines to get this if you thought this was going to be an 80 90 pound strand that's better than any sky blue app uh, any sky blue um topaz i've ever seen that's better than any ratnakiri zircon i've ever seen that is one of the finest strands of blue gemstones I've ever seen in my life. And I'd say, you know, yes, the colour is slightly lighter than your Santa Maria Aquamarine. But then again, it's not 350 quid. It's 20 quid. So, you know, it's, it's just amazing. It's literally incredible. Got March's birthstone here as well. Uh, so if you are in the habit of making your beautiful um, uh, uh, birthstone jewellery, then this is gorgeous. It, absolutely perfect. Goes beautifully with the stunning, uh, with the stunning Kunzite, uh, doesn't it, as well? It looks, the two colours look absolutely beautiful together, don't they? Um, yeah, baby blue, baby pink, so there you go. It's absolutely amazing. The sparkle, the uh, micro-faceted quality, it's just gorgeous. Strand, by the way, I will measure it for you, so let me move my banana out the way. Uh, the strand is centimetre wide, 40 centimetres. There you go, 40 centimetres. Okay. 20 chances. Look at it there, it's literally on a ruler. Do you want to see it on the back of a piece of paper? 
Now, on the back of the piece of back of a piece of paper. Look at that. That's incredible. Literally sitting still on the back of a piece of paper, and it's just going. I don't know what that was. Can you tell we're excited? This is Neri's favourite strand. I'm I'm having this. See, King is lurking. She definitely wants this as well. Look at her. Look at her. Who doesn't want a sparkly blue stone? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Literally almost fell off my chair then. Oh, I've got to, I've got to stroke that. I've got to stroke that recording. That is, that deserves. That is, I've got to, that is, Linda, look at that. It's incredible, isn't it? Just incredible. You just can't, you don't want to take your eyes off of it, do you? I can't, that looks, it doesn't look real. It looks like Swarovski, it looks like crystal, it looks like glass. It's just... That is the most incredible strand. You imagine, right, deal of the day, a thousand available, 30 quid. You're going to sell all of those, aren't you? Today, part of a showcase, part of a showcase on Jewelry Maker. Let's clock it. That is exceptional. I feel like we should be giving this recording away free with every order. It's just so good. So good. It has to be your something blue for the bride. No, it, it, yeah, it's the law. It it's be. the law. It's we need law. to pass a law. Yeah. It needs to be your something blue if you're getting married. Even if you're not getting married, you have to wear this. You have to wear this. It's the law. It should be mandatory. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it's just the abs. It's the best. And you could use it. I mean, I know I can almost hear People shouting at the television saying, you know, what they would do that. I can imagine Rosie relinking with this. I can imagine Alison Terry using it all, uh, uh, with her loom. I can imagine kind of using it almost as a seed bead bezeling around a cavachon. Goodness gracious me, look at that. I can imagine it as a beautiful stacker. That is, and it's natural. It's totally natural. Some, the, uh, sorry, Carol. No, not at all, darling. You know the, um, the beautiful Mother of Pearl leaves in mm. the kit earlier. If you pop that onto that a would be amazing. backing foundation and then oh, bead it around with those aquamarines, that would be incredible. Absolutely. Now, that would look so... That would look like an estate piece of jewellery, it would. wouldn't it? It would, yeah. It sort of sits with cameo-type jewellery. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I've just been told as well on Tuesday, um, uh, guest designer Mark's going to be doing back to basics um, uh, uh, kiss cross design. Can you imagine that in a kiss cross design? Oh, my gosh, there's a price. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence on that recording. The OK, so what you're seeing there is you're seeing the consistency of colour, the consistency of gemstone, the consistency of quality. OK, what you're. Oh, yes, Ollie, thank you so much. Um, what you're also looking at is a dichroic nature. What that means is the light is the white light, which is all around, is entering the gemstone and it splits into its component colours. You only get that with gemstones with superior clarity, with superior transparency, like your Rose de France amethyst, and of course, in this case, your incredible uh, amethyst. But let's talk about the four C's. When we talk about um, and, uh, uh, diamonds, when you value diamonds, you grade diamonds and value diamonds using something called the four C's. Those four C's are cut color, clarity, and carrot weight. And you can apply them to certain colored gemstones. Um, I wouldn't apply it to uh, uh, rhodochrosite because it's got no clarity. I wouldn't apply it to, oh, I don't know. I wouldn't apply it to, oh, I don't know. There, there are gemstones I wouldn't apply it to. The only gemstones I can think which I'd actually apply it to would be gemstones like your incredible blue topazes, which are beautiful, but they're irradiated. But as long as you're okay with that, that's fine. Or natural aquamarines surely this is like the dictionary definition of if you applied the four c's the cut microfaceted, the color the brightest best blue the clarity crystal clear and the carrot weight 15 carats surely this is the dictionary definition of how these should look amazing gorgeous I've got a very, very different strand coming up now. This is aquamarine. These are bigger and these are smooth rounds.
Right. So if I'm being honest, <laughs> okay. This is Aquamarine. This is from, uh, did you say Nigeria? Mozambique, sorry, I beg your pardon. Um, some of uh, the finest gemstones on planet Earth in the last couple of decades have been sourced in Africa. Reason being, and, uh, Africa has only really recently, in the last kind of half a century, opened up to gemstone mining. Um, and it is, and it has been, uh, you know, realized finally, I mean, it, it's just been staring us all in the face, that Africa and South America were once one great big landmass. You've heard of, um, uh, you've heard of um, Pangea, you've heard of these incredible continents, um, uh, which used to, uh, where I think countries like um, Canada were connected to, where was Canada connected to? I found it out the other China, day. China, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was connected to China or somewhere like, it's absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. And now, of course, they've all drifted apart. But it's why you find gemstones in South America that you will find in Africa and vice versa. This is obviously a very, very different strand of aquamarine. These are much larger. You're getting a more translucent quality to them, a more waxy kind of quality to them, and a far higher strength and concentration of color. This is a, a little bit like what Linda was talking about earlier on, a pastel tone, a pastel base, but it really hits you between the eyes. It's like a sherbety blue. It's just, it's there. This is what... This is what I was expecting to see today for the prices that we've done. This is what I was expecting. Bright tone, not much clarity. Because let's face it, aquamarine, other members of the Beryl family like your emerald, like your morganite, like your, um, not necessarily gossonite, but morganite and definitely your emeralds, they can be gemstones of compromise. You can get great colour, but zero clarity sometimes. Or you get great clarity and zero colour, you know, vice versa. It, it, works, it works both ways. I wouldn't say you're getting zero clarity here. This is not solid. This is definitely translucent. It's a definite glow that you're going to be getting here. It's just a different... It's a different jewelry. feel. It's a different, completely different strand to a faceted, so, isn't it? So I would describe how are these... Two, compare and contrast. Do you remember when you were at school and you did source work? Compare and contrast. I would say they're both aquamarine. They're both absolutely beautiful. They're both applied to the same chakras. They're both a stunning, stunning example of aquamarine. I would personally say, I would personally say that this for me is fine jewellery, a little bit more feminine. This is more unisex and more, I would say, for if I was going to make a stretchy bracelet, I'd probably use this strand here. Ollie's just saying, director Ollie's saying, actually, he probably wouldn't wear the microfaceted strand, but he would definitely wear these rounds here. So if you are going to be making jewellery, um, you know, birthstone uh, jewellery for somebody born in March and it's a guy, they might not want to wear a highly faceted, delicate, bright, brilliant gemstone. They might want to wear, you know, just merely the colour. You've got a totally trans-seasonal gemstone here because um, hopefully uh, there is, there is you know, times in summer, spring, autumn and winter where the skies are blue. But yesterday afternoon was glorious. Neary was spitting feathers, worried that he was going to have to go home and walk the dog in the rain and it was gorgeous afternoon. Wasn't it, eh? Yeah, yeah, he loved, he loved it all. Um, so yeah, even, even, you know, even, you know, whatever time of the year you've got, you've always got the chance of getting that beautiful blue sky. As we'll, as we'll see in our autumn chestnut clothes collection in the next hour with Mark. Can't wait for that. So we're at forty-four pounds ninety-nine pence. This is stupid. This is stupid. This is, this is far too low. Enjoy, get it. Nineteen ninety-nine for 55 carats of your aquamarine. Denise Maker in Lincolnshire, Maker in Cardiff. Well done to you, amazing deal. 20 centimeter strand, 55 carats. Nicolette, well done to you. No way near done. Now, Neary, where are you thinking of going? Where are you thinking of going, Neary, no? Ah! We are going to go as low as we possibly can here. Oh, yes, with the Kunzite necklace. This is going to look lovely. 
Oh my word, look at that, a half mala bracelet. Now the colors look amazing together, don't they? That is color therapy, isn't it? It's telling me that I feel safe with that gorgeous lavender color. I don't know why, but it's telling me I feel refreshed and cleansed with the blue. It's kind of like, it's the very epitome of that blue sky thinking, isn't it? It's a very, it's a very epitome of, you know, the power of being able to go outside and look up. If you're constantly looking at the floor, how can you possibly expect to feel happy? Look up, look up, always look up. Apart from if you're going to be walking towards a lamppost or something like that, in which case, look dead ahead. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but anyway, 1999, not your deal today. Vivian, Kim, Denise, well done to you. Valerie, Eileen, well done to you. We're so excited to have all this quality on today's show. Well done, Denise. Well done, Valerie. Fiona's there. Well done. 9.99. Enjoy. Take it. Go, go, go. I think this for me, um, Linda, you know, we've had over the last couple of years so much lovely chakra jewelry that's been made. And yeah. it's all about, you know, connecting with the gemstones. For me, this is a perfect yeah. chakra yeah, um, example of aquamarine. An absolute perfect chakra. You're, you're not confused or <coughs> you're not confused no. or, 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 or slightly kind of you distracted, know, I should say, by all the clarity and the faceting. You're just concentrating on the stone and the colour, exactly. aren't you? Exactly. And sort of concentrating on the stone. Um, going back, if we're rewinding back to earlier this morning where we had that beautiful pearl in the cage and I said you can mix and match one of those inside that silver cage would yes. be amazing. See, I love that idea, just taking one and, and making a real feature of it. That would be beautiful. This could be, I, I, this for me, um, you know, if you wanted to make something, your something blue, maybe for the groom at a wedding, uh, this would absolutely be perfect. I love the idea of wearing little stretchies with this. It's such a superb gemstone. The minute you start to do reading about this gemstone, about the kind of supposed myth and legend surrounding this gemstone, li li there are books written about this. It is absolutely fascinating and you will learn very quickly um, just how much love, how much, how much uh, faith that there is poured into this incredible gemstone. Helen, Joanne, Josephine, Jane's got three, Vivian's got two, Denise has got three, well done, Dorothy, well done, Pat, Northamptonshire, Blessing, Lynn in Cleveland, well done to you, my love, Denise in Merseyside, Helen in Midlothian, I just love it. You've got that really beautiful chakra version of aquamarine. And although I think, you know, any aquamarine's you know, gonna be a chakra stone, here, I'm, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm almost distracted a little bit by the clarity, by the sparkle. Um, whereas with that gorgeous round stone, you can see they're highly polished, plain round. You are concentrating on that color. You're concentrating on that stone, the feel, the touch, the sensation of the stone. Well done. Blessings got two. Denise has got two. Maker in Greater London. Gwenifer, well done to you. Susan in Staffordshire, well done to you. Jane in Suffolk's got uh, three. Well done to you. Fantastic. Well done. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we have got the most amazing hour coming up next. We are joined by Mark Smith for the launch of the Autumn Chestnut Clothes Collection, the best season. Absolutely delighted that I'm with you today to do this. And we're going to be joined by Mark after the break. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. As you can see, autumn is well and truly on its way. And to celebrate this, on Thursday, the 29th of September at 11 a.m., I'm going to be launching the next instalment of my Chestnut Close range, Autumn, featuring six brand new pieces, including a squirrel, a bat, a frog, and flowers, including the poppy, the dahlia, and the anemone. It's a beautiful collection. I'm absolutely thrilled with it, and I hope you will be too. So that's this Thursday, the 29th of September at 11 a.m. Join myself and presenter Carol for the launch of Autumn at Chestnut Close.
Working with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. <laughs> Welcome back to Hello. Autumn at Chestnut Close. <gasps> it only seems like yesterday I launched spring. <laughs> I tell you, I tell, this is amazing. This is by far, I don't know about you, Mark, it's by far and away my absolute favourite season in the entire year. This is when... Mine as well. The colours. I can't wait to see yeah. all these colours. It's just the drive home, isn't it? You're yes. just mesmerised with all the, all the verges and the trees. And I know it's, 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 it's a beautiful time of year, apart from all the spiders. Oh, they are, you, they you, just need to go away, don't nine they? Nine times out of ten, because Andrew works from home quite often, I'm the first to walk out the front door, and you, you walk out the door, and there's cobwebs web. stringing everywhere. Yes, it's absolutely, it's a big web over your no, face. I think um, this, I, I think, I think as well, because we've had such a beautiful hot summer, I think mm. we're promised a really bright um, autumn, which is yep. going to be incredible. Um, and it's a time of year for kind of harvesting and kind of and and reaping the benefits of mm -hmm. all the work you've put into the garden over the Absolutely. over the year yeah. it's, it's, it's quite a sad time as well because because the garden has been absolutely full this year because of the hot weather it's just yes. just been beautiful a lot of watering as you can imagine yes and our neck of was we had the hose pipe ban three or four weeks ago did you so, so oh, we can't use gosh. the hose pipe now so that's that's a bit of a trial um but you just know that Summer's over and autumn's coming in yep. and, and the nights are drawing in. Yep. And, but then but then we've already started planning our winter season and our winter baskets and oh. bulbs and, and I love bulbs. It's, I love bulb planting and, and so it's it's just when you when you're a gardener it never ends. It's just one season after the other. After so the other. you are you um uh you and your husband are are phenomenal gardeners. You've you've got a real this is your this is one of your this loves. Was taken yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> are those lights? Are those festoon yeah. lights? Kind of. Look, in the summer, it looks like a Greek taverna outside. It's oh, I bet it does. Wait, wait. Gee whiz, pass me, a, pass me a glass of rosé, Mark. Oh, we have so many lights out there at Christmas. I think you can see our garden from space. It's, 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 ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is 
The, the colours, and this was yesterday. This was yesterday, yeah. So dahlias really come into their own September, October. Don't they just? And, uh, we've actually got a dahlia in the collection <gasps> purely because. What is this? Looks... What are these bright oranges? They're cannas. They're cannas, and we've got dahlias, and there's asters, and all sorts in there. It's just. We call it the jewel garden. You know, I've never really, seen it. Really comes Linda, does stone. your garden look like this? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. It's so beautiful. I mean, it's so much work. It's so much work. And the box hedging has really come into its own now. So yeah, we've, we've got 1,250 plants to make that hedging. And every morning we go out there and we pray that well, there's this dreadful disease called box blight. A lot of the gardeners watching will know. And it's rife in Oxfordshire at the moment and, and once once you get it the whole the whole hedging will be over in a couple of matter of weeks. Oh no. So we were treating it and, and fungiciding it and all sorts. And you see the other oh, corners, you've got those little pyramids. Oh that's, yes. That's Andrew's latest little thing. He's 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 pyramiding everything. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> And I yeah, thought I was clever. Yeah, yeah. I made a polymer clay pyramid yesterday <laughs> for my seven-year-old daughter for her Egyptian <laughs> project. I mean, he's literally carved it out. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, yeah, that's lovely. That's this lovely. is uh, quite exciting. Mm. Autumn uh, is, is, is not just a wonderful time for plants, but for little visitors as well. well the whole part, the whole reason, because Caroline, um, who, who's helped me in all these ranges, mm. um, has been badgering me to do a range for about three years mm. now. And um, I've never had the, the confidence to do it or an idea of how the range should, 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 should be, yes. you see. And as you can see with the pictures, we've got the garden now just to the point where we want it. It's taken about 12 years. Yes, I can scratch. imagine. It's taken yes. a long time. And now we've got something in flower every month. Yes. And we have a visitor, whether it's an animal, a bird, an insect in the garden every oh, month wonderful. as well. So Caroline suggested, well, why don't you do four seasons in your garden yes. and bring to the forefront all the flora and fauna that are in that garden at the same time. Oh, how gorgeous. And it's worked. Yes. It's absolutely worked. So if you've, um, if you've, if you've not come across this collection before, this is, this is such a collectible range that Mark has put together with our team here at Jewelry Maker. Mm. It is very, very exciting. I love this. With, you get a signed <laughs> photo of Mark. I knew nothing about this. <laughs> Michael's been working very hard writing Mark's name on all of them. No, sorry, I'm joking. No, no, no. Mark has signed all of these. Um, but, that, but that's a, what a lovely little touch. Yes, Thank you very no, much for that. No, um, all of the pieces that you're going to be getting here today will come to you in these beautiful little, almost like little seed sacks. Yeah, and it's, again, it's all inscribed with the, with the logo. and Look at the, that. And then the little cards have got the, the photograph of the garden in all of yes. them. Yes. And then on the back, you've got... The relevant the little sentiments and a little a little slogan so we yeah, have so as, as, as i said we've launched spring we've launched summer this is autumn and we've just put in for winter Ooh. so winter will be launched beginning of december so do you want to give us a very quick rundown of what we're going to be bringing to air and then we'll and then we'll start off with um with some of the beautiful okay flowers. so we so the three months in uh, firstly i need to apologize to the viewers um, it's the last day of September tomorrow, yes. and we're bringing September, October. But everything that's been going on with my mum, everything's been yes. pushed back ever so slightly. I think we so can apologies for that. For that Mark. But it's here. But it is here. It is here. Don't, um, no need to apologise. Yeah. So for September, so each month in the calendar, we bring to you a flower and an insect, a bird, a creature. So for September, we've got the Japanese anemone, which again is in full flower at the moment. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. And for the creature, oh, we've got a frog. Which is the cutest frog I think I've ever seen, embedded with spinel and he, peridot. He is seriously cute. We're going to see whether we can get a little recording for the. Uh, oh, so look at him! You can just see the peridots dotted on his back. It's absolutely beautiful. He's like a little. Um, it's, it's kind of slightly toadish as well. He's got yes. beautiful kind of. He's got beautiful texture on his skin. No, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, um, so, so that's September. That's September. October. October is the, the flower we've got probably one of my favourites, we've got the dahlia. Yes. And it it's contains beautiful. amethyst, the most beautiful marquise amethyst I have ever seen. And it's my birthstone as well. Yes. So it's, so it's, God, it's just beautiful. This is stunning. And I think of all the range that we've brought to air so far, this is the heaviest with the gemstones. I think this has got more gemstones. We had a butterfly in I'd spring. I'd go in that, yes, yes. Um, but I think, I think this has cut up the most gemstones. Gorgeous. And, and for the, the animal, animal, 
Now, we've only started having bats for Quint the Garden the past couple of years. I so we had them. to have a bat. And being October for Halloween, it was absolutely perfect. This is such time. a lovely bat. Look He's at him. Cute. Look at his little furry body. I showed I... him Andrew yesterday, and he said it looks like a hedgehog with wings. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a bat. He's gorgeous. He's and cute. I and I have to say as well, we've had mm. bats in our garden ever since mm. we moved in. Uh, they're not nesting anywhere in our house, mm. but, but they kind of fly. They kind yeah. of fly at you. And you can you can see them. They are just there. They're such Incredible. lovely, lovely Amazing creatures. Amazing acrobats, aren't they? Um, um, and uh, November, we've got, yes. um, and again, um, poppies, somewhere in the world they're in flower, yes. but, but not in the English gardens this time of year, but we had to have a poppy of for course. November for, for remembrance, for Armistice. Yes. And this is one of the, the two in this range, we've actually coated with enamel, which I've not done in my yes, range before. I, I, it's, so it we have the anemone, up. and then we've got the poppy here, which has got those most beautiful black spinel in the Stunning. center. And for the animal, Caroline has said that as a pendant goes, this is probably the heaviest gram weight of a single sterling silver piece that we bought to air yep. ever. This is hallmarked. It's hallmarked. <laughs> because there's so much silver in it. It's amazing. And this is the squirrel. I love And again, it's two-tone, so he's got smoky quartz in his eyes. Yeah. And he's carrying a, a gold-plated sterling silver acorn, acorn. with mandarin garnets. <laughs> As a little feature, and I think the two tone. We did a two. We did a two tone in the summer collection. We had a fuchsia, which was gold and rose gold, and this is the only other two tone we've done. But he's beautiful. These are all going to be so popular, and it's going to be. Uh, um, uh, it, it, you, you've literally just got to be there from the very, very start today. These pieces yes. are gorgeous. I know how yes. hard you've worked. And a lot of the viewers teams. have actually been buying every piece. Of course. To, to fill up the collection. So of course. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. Absolutely thrilled with this. Shall we start? Shall we start? I'm 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 so excited. Uh, we've had a lot of um, a lot of people who have watched this over the last um, over the last few months. It's been it's been wonderful. Um, we've got a lovely ooh, oh lovely here image here. Yes, here we go. This stunning flower grows beautifully in our wild area of the garden. That's from Margot and Fife. <laughs> I use the term garden loosely. Yeah. Congratulations. So this is the Japanese anemone. Oh, and this is really beautiful because the flowers come open at night. The flowers normally last a week to ten days, okay. but at night, but at night they close up. And, and it, it protects the inside of the flower from dew, and they, they, the flowers close up and they droop. So all the dew or rain drips off, and then in the morning they open up again. How <laughs> amazing! I did They're not stunning. know that. And you see lots of them this time of year in September, October, and you get them in the white or you get them in the pink. I've seen yeah. them in white. Yes, yeah, I've definitely seen them in white. Yeah. Um, we've got a 60 second clock to graphics. Uh, let's read out some messages. Oh. I love this time of year, and I'm looking at the beautiful. Um, Oh, lucid. lucid. What a lovely word. I don't know what that means. Blue sky right now. Mark, your garden is Thanks, so beautiful. Liz. I know. Isn't it gorgeous? Thank you, Liz. Mark, uh, is that a sneaky little... It is. <laughs> a, uh, a what? A verbenia? A verbena benariensis. Yeah, it's the tall, tall, thin flower with the purple ah. flowers on the top. Yeah. OK. <laughs> it's not a, any kind of irritation. There we go. Uh, Mark, your garden is absolutely stunning. Looking forward uh, to your latest collection. I think we all are. This Thank is, you. This is uh, just gorgeous. More messages coming through. Mark, congratulations on your newest collection. They are beautiful. They really are, aren't they? Very, very, very beautiful pieces. Now, of course, these are not what I would describe as mass manufactured. Um, uh, these are very, very, very limited edition collections that you are getting today. And we're not, we're not remaking them. This is it. This is what this they've is gone. It. They've gone. Yeah. So they are... It's a limited edition. There are lots of people... Oh, yeah. graphics are yeah. live. Best of yeah. luck. There are lots and lots of people who've been getting... Uh, one of each or building a collection for somebody else as well and maybe getting two of each. There's lots of people, especially with the flowers, I think, as well, mm. Mark, people getting these thinking, ah, oh, my, 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 my grandma used to grow these in her Absolutely. garden or maybe yes. it's a name yeah. or maybe, uh, I mean, here for me, it, it, this almost looks like a Tudor rose as well. We've had, a, we've had a, a viewer called Tulip who came in and bought something in spring. Oh. Uh, and obviously we've, we've had a rose and we've had a lily, so... Absolutely, it's, it's names, it's sentiments, it's it's birth flowers. It, yes. so it covers all, how, all aspects. How interesting! So you've got your um, you've got your packaging here. Loads of people on the phone lines. You've got your um, uh, packaging here, which is this really, really lovely little bag, little Hessian bag, almost like a flower or a, a seed bag. Inside, you've got your card. Should we read the sentiment mm. uh, on the on the reverse of the card? It says, uh, let me just see whether I can hold it there. Oh, I can't read that from there. Can you read it, Mark? So, known as windflowers yeah. and related to the buttercup, the anemone reaches, teaches us 
to look forward to the future oh. where better things are waiting for us. With open petals during the day, mm. uh, it closes them at night, bowing its head to protect itself from dew. Oh, <laughs> how gorgeous, how beautiful. And that little sentiment will come in the little bag mm. for you as well. This is such a wonderful collection. These have all been made. I'm going to turn this around as well because I want you to see just the quality weight, that yeah. this is that this has been made with. I'll also take this off the bust as well so we can have a really good look round. You can see here the most beautiful um, anemone uh, um, uh, flower head that you've got here with the most beautiful enamel. Now, mm. enameling jewellery is something which is done all over the world by some of the biggest designers um, by some of the biggest designers in the business, be it Cartier, be, uh, be it uh, Boucheron, um, be it Van Cleef, who use a lot of enamel as well. Right around the mid... Oh, look at that. It, it's a beautiful white enamel that we've gone for here, yeah, isn't no, it? It's beautiful, gorgeous. Beautiful. The gemstones, we've got peridot and citrine. So uh, you've actually got August and you've got November's birthstones in here, whether or not that means um, kind of anything to you, you know, whether it's um, uh, particularly relevant for you. Um, but yeah, positive, beautiful, natural, uh, genuine gemstones that you've got here. The colour matching is beautiful. And I just love the, sh I love the shiny uh, back that you've got on this as well. This is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, almost like a, yeah. almost like a, uh, yeah, a sun, isn't it? That's lovely. I mean, you could do, you could do something, you could do something with it if you wanted to. I, I just, I just love this quality. It's beautiful. Big enough to be a pendant, great for earrings, wonderful if you want to make it into a little charm as well. Price point wise, okay. You are going to love this. <laughs> this is the kind of thing where, you know, to be able to find, first of all, to be able to find a Japanese and enemy charm or pendant anywhere else is nigh on impossible. You know, some of the animal ones you can find and the poppy ones, of course, you can, you know, you can get those kind of price comparisons if you like, but almost impossible to find this kind of style anywhere else, okay? You've got over two grams of 925 sterling silver in it. Have a look at your first price today. Any questions you have at all, do let us know. Any questions that you've got about maybe your garden, maybe about these pieces, maybe about um, Mark's kind of um, inspiration behind it. We can all tell what the inspiration is. It's this gorgeous garden. Oh. Engrave the back of the petals with family names and have them with you always, says Ms. Janet. What a, a beautiful idea. idea. Yeah, maybe just someone's initial mm. rather than the full name. What a lovely, lovely idea. Or maybe uh, Roman numerals, maybe for a date, uh, a date of birth maybe, or a significant date for you. $49.99, a lot of silver, a lot of work, limited edition, but it's not your price. So this is the first piece that we've had enameled as yeah. well, so I, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. The process of enameling, whenever you start to add on these kind of processes to uh, your pieces, it massively increases the production cost of them, which in turn really should increase the amount of money that, you, uh, that we bring them to air for. This is absolutely unbelievable what we're going to be doing today. Hand set gemstones. The minute you set gemstones into any piece, you've got that big increase in how much it's going to cost to produce these items as well. Of course, these have all been designed by Mark and the team. These have all been put into uh, production absolutely beautifully. Um, and it's a limited edition collection. You are one of just a few people in the world who will ever own this incredible collection. And once they're gone, they're gone. We're not going to be remaking these or kind of, um, or kind of, yeah, put, yeah, re remaking them. Packaged absolutely beautifully for anybody who is into gardening, anybody who loves this time of year, anybody, you know, it's their favourite flower. You've got this today. Enjoy. Here's your deal. Absolutely amazing. What an opportunity. Lots of people there from Manchester to Nottinghamshire, East Sussex, Lanarkshire, Dorset, Oxfordshire, East Sussex, Cheshire, Ayrshire, Cambridgeshire, Merseyside, Denbighshire, Greater London, 29 99 You know how much work has been put into Massive. these, Mark, and how much well, this, time this it's is, taken is, to make these. 
I think when uh, we, Carol and I both came up with the idea back in January. Yes. And then obviously we, we had the idea, the initial idea, and how we put it together. And then we had to decide on the months, the animals. So, so it's, it's going to be a whole year process. It really is, isn't doubt, it? It, doubt. it really is going to yeah. be incredible. I can't wait for winter as well, because I think I might know what one of the animals. Uh, but yes, amazing. Uh, but yeah, just just the most wonderful collection uh, for what is the, I think, un, 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 undoubtedly the best time of the year. Loads and loads and loads of these sitting in baskets. Check out when you can. A lot of people, I know this, how it uh, quite often goes. You want to see the whole collection and then make a decision, you know, which ones you want to check out. That's absolutely fine. But please do bear in mind, these are all really, really, really limited in stock. They are all very limited edition. Well done, everybody. Absolutely gorgeous. So are we going to be moving on to another flower or should we do we're going to be an animal? We're going to be sticking with September. Sticking so, we're going, September. so we're going to be looking at the frog next. Right. <laughs> this froggy, he is, oh, where do you even start with him? He's so beautiful, isn't he? We were thinking, how, how do you make a frog look romantic and worthy of a piece of jewellery and and we've I think we've done it absolutely beautifully yeah we've seen I mean I, I, I was looking at some of them today to try and get some kind of you know inspiration mm. kind of design comparisons and there are some really I tell you what there's some really <laughs> ugly frogs there's oh, ones there. which are very cartoony in fact right. you know what I'm not going to put it on the bus I'm going to get it straight off and put it on the back of my hand um they, he is absolutely beautiful um can I just say this is one of the first times as well where the frog, where, where the beautiful, look, where this incredible um, um, uh, detail isn't just on the front, look, all the way on the back, yeah. even his tummy stippled, and underneath, yeah. it's that beautiful stippled finish. It's absolutely gorgeous, I think gorgeous, throughout the, the entire range, the attention to detail has just been incredible. It really has. Absolutely. We had a hedgehog in the summer I know collection, you remember? Did. And he yes. Was, he was absolutely breathtaking. Every little hair was, was engraved. It was beautiful. So with the froggy, you've got here black onyx for the eyes. Mm -hmm. You've got peridot in its back. So you've got, with the peridot, you've got your August birthstone again. It's solid sterling silver. I'm not being funny, Mark, but this, this really, you can really yeah. feel that yeah. weight, can't absolutely. you? And obviously they all come complete with the bail. So we've just popped it on the chain just to show you all yes. around. But you get, so it's quite a substantial bail as well. So any of your chains that has really large um, jump rings or um, lots of the claws or yes. anything like that, you'll easily be able to pop them on. Absolutely. Also, I would say as well, this reminds me very much of kind of the Alex Munro collections, mm, which yeah. are all, you know, all about kind of animals and bees and butterflies, things like that, with really quite big carrot weights and sort of gram weights. Um, this is, you can really sense the gram weight here. He's lovely. Um, I, there's a real, um, oh, who did I meet the other day? It was somebody uh, um, um, who was on a walk with his, um, oh, that was it, he was on a walk with his um, son. He was fascinated about um, frogs. Frogs really? are wonderful. And they, you do see them in the garden. They're yeah, we so well them. camouflaged, aren't we they? The, the cats used to bother them, but they've given up now because they, they have you heard a, when a cat approaches a frog, not only do they exude this horrible, foul-tasting slime, but they screech Ooh. a high-pitched scream. Oh, no. And, no, uh, thank you. It's not, it's not the nicest, so the cats leave them alone. And we've got two living in the garden. They've set up home together, which is cute. Oh, how gorgeous. <laughs> These beautiful, yeah. isn't it? The attention to detail yeah. you've got here is absolutely superb. Look at that. Look at that, just shy of four mm, grams yeah. of silver in this. I love his little feet. He's absolutely gorgeous. Also, anybody who's um, into kind of Beatrix Potter as well, this is very oh, Jeremy, Jeremy Fisher, Fisher, isn't yeah. it? He's absolutely, or even um, uh, Toad of Toad Hall. You've got here, you've got here Toadie, haven't you? They're such wonderful characters, aren't they? They're just gorgeous. Um, and so, I know, I know it sounds like a funny thing to say, so frog-like. You know, it's like, it's a proper, a proper Absolutely. frog. It's not well, like, that, oh, an imitation yeah. of. So with the whole range, we wanted to keep as close to nature as yes. possible. Because there are no characterizations, no animated characters. We wanted them all to look as realistic as we possibly could. And this is just perfection. It really it? is. <laughs> very, very popular. Very, very popular already. Uh, we're at 49.99. It's not your price point. Let's do... Oh, yes, let's bring your clock on screen. Already, we've got a frog going to Hertfordshire, Essex, Buckinghamshire, Dorset, Cheshire, Norfolk, Highlands, Devon, Nottinghamshire, uh, Lancashire, Cambridgeshire, Merseyside. Um, what's a group of frogs called? Anybody know? What's the collective noun for frogs? Oh. An army of frogs. Is it really? Oh. An army of frogs. 
Wow. Oh, I like that. Nice. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Just beautiful, aren't they? $49.99. So many people on the phone line. So many people already checking out. This is so, so, so good to see. Well done, everybody. Your price point coming in in about 20 seconds. Go, go, go. This is so, so beautifully detailed. And actually, when you get this home, I mean, the recordings are wonderful, but when you get this home, you will be amazed at just how much detail there is there. He's lovely and so limited edition. Yeah, let me just pop this up to the neckline as well so you get an idea of what kind of size we're looking at here as well. This is great. I think if you're going to be starting off a charm bracelet, I mean, Linda earlier was talking about starting mm, off charm yeah. bracelets for, for loved ones, you know, as, as you know, christenings uh, presents. I love the idea. I love the idea of, um, of, uh, of, of starting off a little charm bracelet uh, with something like this, a little froggy. Gorgeous. Your frog um, sentiment says, symbolizing growth, good fortune and prosperity. The frog has taken up residency in many of our gardens, having been on the planet for 350 million years. And with 6,000 species, the frog entices us to search our inner feelings and to jump over all obstacles in yeah. our way. I love it. $29.99, very, very popular. Wow. He, even honest, can you place him on the top of your hand side so you can see him? Yeah, I mean, come he, on. He, just, he even sits like a frog. He's just. He really he's, does. He's got that space under the chin. Can you see it? The detail is just amazing. The, um, the, now, yeah. now, there is a frog, which is kind of this size, isn't it? Is it the Amazonian dart frog oh, yes, or something? Yeah, the bright colours. Incredibly. Yeah. Poison arrow frog. In, yeah, yeah, the poison yeah. arrow. But basically, yeah. if you see one, run, because yeah. they're incredibly yeah. uh, uh, poisonous. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> The lesser spotted, <laughs> great crested. Uh, uh, there we go. You haven't featured newts in any of your collections. We haven't yet. got a newt. We haven't oh. got a newt. So it's all it's all animals. Obviously, the chestnut close collection. So everything has to live somewhere <laughs> in the garden. At chestnut close. Yeah. Are there any uh, are there any peacocks or zebras? No or? elephants. Oh, no man. antelopes. <laughs> no killer whales. No sharks. No, unfortunately. No. But there is a unicorn. <laughs> Twenty nine ninety nine. Well done. Absolutely flying out the door. Well done. He's a beautiful froggy. And I have to say, uh, yeah, he's gorgeous. Hazel, Patricia. Yeah, we've still got a four-person queue on the phone. If you can join us on our website, jewellerymaker.com, uh, please, please do. Or if you can, uh, go to our app, uh, please do. Eleanor in Worcestershire, I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's a lovely presenter, Elle. It, it definitely could be. Um, or, right, the next two, the next two are going to, well, the, the, yeah. the next four, no, all of these are going to mm. fly. This is They are going to sell out. This is exquisite. Mark, what are we moving on to? So we're moving on to October. And now dahlias are one of our favorite flowers. And because you, when, as soon as the first frost hits and the flowers die back, you lift them you keep them over winter and then you replant them in, really? in, in late spring. So you're always nurturing and looking after dahlias. And I think we're up to probably about 70 altogether now. And you can, you can split me. the tubers and all that sort of thing. Can you? And, um, and this time of year, September, October, dahlias. Dahlias and chrysanthemums are the two main flowers this time of year. Oh. And, um, our dahlias this year are look exceptional. So we're just, really just going to leave them in the garden and then as soon as the first frost, They'll all flop, and then that's the time that you lift them and you start the next. And then we, so the hole that's left, we pop in some manure, and then we, we pop in daffodils and tulips and the, all sorts of things. The, the, yeah. the detail on this piece, yeah. Mark, is yeah. next level. When I first saw this, because of the kind of the, the piping, the bezeling, the edging mm. in between the gemstones, I, it reminds me very much of. Um, Macintosh, oh, yeah. Clarence Cliff yeah. kind of works with the piping, with the black, with the strong lines. Yeah. Every single one of these petals, it, 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 it's thought out. Yeah. So you've got the Marquise amethyst. You've then got the round amethyst in the Marquise shape, and then that, and then that c continues throughout the, the outer petals. The next set of petals in, you've got the same. You've got Marquise again. And then you've got the round in the marquee shape. We've, all, we've ombre the amethyst as well. Yeah, well, you can yeah. absolutely yeah. see yeah. that, Mark, because in the centre, you've got these beautiful round, what almost, what almost look like Rose de France mm. amethysts, which are, it just gives you the most... i tell you what this is. This is one of those classic situations where you can tell this has been designed by, A, somebody who knows jewellery, 
B, somebody who knows gemstones, and C, somebody who definitely knows their flowers as well. It's got, it's a winning combination, I think. I think that's it? what's been the most exciting part about this range is you, you, we put pen to paper and we come up with these designs and then we send them off to the, to the offices and they send us a prototype and you just, you just think, putting it actually into a physical piece of jewellery like that, you just never expect it to look as good as it does. And when it arrives and you open it for the first time from the bag, we were all, all struck upstairs in the office. Now, I, you can do whatever you want with this. As a pendant, it's beautiful. I just want to show you something, and maybe Mark can answer this for me. Maybe this is, maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. I don't know. Here's the start price. We've literally only got 30 chances left. Oh, no. It's, I so, want it's, to, so, it's so I big want that we've had to put a support bar on the back. So <laughs> it's got a support on the back. Yeah. I have noticed, though, that mm. there appears to be a little gap underneath it. Mm -hmm. What's to stop you from making it into a brooch? Easily. I mean, yeah. Linda and I were talking yeah. about brooches earlier on and saying, you know, yeah. actually the beautiful um, little uh, floral beads that we had earlier on would make wonderful yeah. brooches. Mm -hmm. You've got your brooch. You've got your brooch yeah. there. You could also do a, a peyote wrist watch strap. And you could feed that underneath. And you could wear it on the wrist as well if you wanted to. Oh, uh, what, like a corsage almost yeah. with a beautiful yes. flower. Yeah. Yeah. Um, beautiful designs. My granddad used to grow, um, uh, do you say dahlias or dahlias? Dahlias. 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 Yeah. Uh, just lovely. Do you know yeah. what? They are beautiful flowers, aren't they? And everybody's got that kind of feel. Uh, I, I, I connect peonies to my mum. My mum, very proud of her peonies. Um, and woe betide anybody who walks within six foot of, of them. Talk about limited edition. We've got 18 chances left. Wow. Um, and what's the silver weight in this one? I know this is huge, isn't it? Uh, let's try and find that out yeah, for you. Yeah. Um, less than 40 were, were, were ever made. Oh, was it four grams? No. Four, wow. Over four grams of sterling silver in this. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely incredible. You have got here the most beautiful gemstone, the most ombre quality. It, mm. is, it, is, it is a piece, it, 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 it's beautiful. It's really tricky with dailies because you can get singles, doubles, you can get what's called puff balls, which are like golf ball size. You can get dinner plates, you can get all sorts. And my favourite is the double, which, so we've gone for the double of which this is. It's but there's so many varieties. 69.99. Oh my God, I love it, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Yours today, well done. We've got literally 16 chances remaining. Uh, we've got them um, uh, in baskets. They are absolutely stacked at the minute. What is this going to be for you? Um, oh yes, the card. Do you want to read this one, Mark? I didn't bring my specs with me, so you might uh, have to do that. It's all right, love <laughs> Great. Um, uh, known as the king yeah. of the garden, yeah. the uh, the dal uh, uh, sorry the dahlia comes in a myriad of colours, sizes, shapes, mm. and heights, symbolising elegance, strength, eternal love, and dignity. And a traditional flower of the marriage proposal. It is. I yeah. did not know that. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. did not yeah. know that. They, the, the original dahlias, it's a, it's a native to South America and Chile and Peru. And, and they, they, what happens is they wait for it to flower. They cut the flowers down and then they lift the tubers and eat them like, like, like you would potatoes. Oh, wow. So it's a food crop. Originally. How amazing. Oh, I'd love to and see three that. three colours. Back in the dahlias. beginning of the Victorian era, three flowers were brought over. And every single flower you see in the gardens and garden centres now originated from three flowers, cross-pollinated oh. and cross-pollinated and cross-pollinated. All these designs wow. come from three plants. Mark, that's a <laughs> great fact. We're taking the price down again. We've got 11 chances left. Here's your deal. Four 49.99 absolutely really? ridiculous wild <laughs> wild wild for these today well done everybody it's so over allocated we've got like 30 in baskets for the last 11 well done everybody oh, that is, is incredible go go and go. If, you've, if you've got somebody that in your family that you want to buy as a gift for as a february baby of course that, that, that's why it, a it's one of my favorite flowers and that's why we went with amethyst because it's oh, my first nice one yeah. but presumably yeah. they come in lots of different colors as well as massive. you were saying yep yeah, absolutely massive the only color they don't come in is black but every other colour, even green. green. How interesting. Yeah. No, they're beautiful. Are Lovely. they easy to Lovely. grow? Really easy. Are they? Really easy. Do you grow them from a bulb, from a, presumably? From a tuber. From a yeah. tuber, yes. Yeah, yeah. How wonderful. Yeah. How wonderful. Loads in baskets. Very, very uh, quickly, we'll show those baskets. Wow. Uh, Carol, Caroline, Maker, Maker in Gloucestershire, Kath, Wisconsin, uh, Karen, Carol, Joyce, Maker, Diana, Lorraine, Morgan, Paulette, Pauline, Gillian. Fantastic. Well done. Absolutely. Brill, brill, brill. So excited for all of you. Um, 
amazing. <laughs> you love this little chap. I love him. I absolutely <laughs> love him. And again, so we, we, we put what we wanted on paper and then we did a bit of research online. And yes. um, there are some quite, if you, if you put in bat, you get some quite frightening pictures of, of, course of you do. vampire bats and all sorts of things. Oh, blimey, of things. But yes, we, of but course. But we've, we've definitely pitched it just right here. So anat anatomically correct, but he's not, <laughs> he's very, he's cute. He's a he's, cute bat. Yes, he's <laughs> not a, because bats' faces aren't, the nicest. They can be quite <laughs> scary. They can look like little flying pigs, I think. But they, but they've got. I mean, yeah. Look at this one here. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. A stunning silver vampire bat necklace. He looks pretty scary to me. Mm. And it's the little finger things. And I, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I just no. I'm not a fan of that. Nah. I don't. I, I don't know. I love you. He's very cute. I absolute at him. Isn't he gorgeous? I love his little, his little tippy tail. I like it too. Yes, isn't it lovely? <laughs> his little feet. But the yeah. detail, even, even the, the serrations in his ears, I mean, the attention to detail is just... Can oh, you see yes. The, can you see the ribs in the ears? It's yes. Just, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the back as well. We've, we've continued oh, yeah. that detailing right the oh, way yeah. through to the back. And you can see where the gemstones have been set as well. We've got little uh, kind of... Uh, apertures for the gemstones to kind of get light through as well. This has got black spinel going through, which of course it is could your, only be, couldn't it? Uh, really? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's just lovely. Um, bats are um, wonderful creatures. They're so clever, and um, I don't know if you've ever been either in the countryside or if you've been out in the summer. Actually, just as it gets mm. dark, those aren't birds flying around you. They are little tiny bats, and they're silent and they're kind of. They blow, they're kind of right in your face, but they are absolutely, I love them. I, I think they're wonderful little animals. Also, you've got, um, if you've got bats, if you've got bats in your, in your roof cavity, you kind of, you can't sell your house, no, you, you can't, can't do, do any work. No, you absolutely. Can't, they are very much protected. They're beautiful animals. Um, and um, you can get bats which are all sorts of different sizes. I've seen big fruit bats, which are huge, but then you can get little ones which are... Little pipistrelle, which is the, the native one here, which is a little tiny... Oh, is that little what it's called? Pipistrelle, yeah. Beautiful. Look at that little... Isn't he beautiful? You can see all the hair on his... Mm. He's just... He's gorgeous. Love one, it. One adult bat can consume between five and 10,000 insects on one flight out in the evening. <laughs> between how many? Between five and 10,000 insects. In the height of summer, on an evening, yeah. My gosh! Every time they, every time they change direction, they've, they've caught a, an insect. No, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Known as the guard, oh, the guardian yeah. of the night. <laughs> the bat is a common sight in the skies of dusk. Uh, living up to 30 years and yeah. living in social groups, yeah. the bat is a sensitive and nurturing mammal. Very much misunderstood. I would absolutely say definitely yes. yeah. a misunderstood animal. They are gorgeous. Mm. Um, it isn't he love he's just so beautiful i think if it's you know it's connection with um you know dracula and things like that you kind of automatically think oh it's going to be a blood sucking this and oh, it's going to be a beautiful. negative but he's absolutely gorgeous i love where you've i love where the gemstones have been placed mm. as well it's really nice yeah. we thought about going around the outside edges and just on the tips but i think we've got it we've got it just right there mm, I, I like his little belly his little round belly. yes go on it's got one or two Collective now. I'm Go on. The colony, but the one I love the best is a cauldron. Oh, oh really? <laughs> really? Yeah, a that. cauldron of bats. Sounds amazing. Oh, I like that. Twenty nine ninety nine. Really? What a great deal! I know. There's a lot of there's a lot of silver in this. Look, two hundred people for. Oh wow! Anyone a fan of Batman? <gasps> oh. Are you a vigilante? Uh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. Um, I'm sure that's wrong. Got bats in our roof. Live in Scotland and we don't get midges. Love bats. No, exactly. Says Christine. Yes, yeah. Christine. Yeah. You don't think it's a cauldron? Hmm? You don't think it's a cauldron? No, it is. It is a cauldron. No, no, the, 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 that price, that's really wrong. Oh, well, the 29 dollars <laughs> he said, oh, I don't think that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, it's completely wrong. Actually, hang on, I'll... Oh, yeah, that's a oh, bit low. That's a bit low. Lovely Monica. Uh, oh, lovely guest designer Monica. Here we go. Got my bat. Love bats and oh. Halloween. And, of course, Mark too. Perfect combination. Thanks, Mark, for all the work you've put into these. Bless you. Thank How you. lovely. 
I, I, I have to say, I do love, I, this is the one I was kind of most excited about. Well, I don't know, oh gosh, because the, the remaining, the, re, mm, the, yeah. the remaining <laughs> ones we've got are absolutely <sighs> unbelievable. They genuinely are. Um, Mark, I'm so excited. I've bought everything, says Alison. There you go. Such a co lovely collection, bless, isn't it? Bless. Gorgeous. Well done. Yeah. My mum everybody. absolutely loved spring and summer, but she didn't get to see autumn. I, mean, I was oh, so I was so lover. upset that she didn't quite get to see it. Do you know what? It's yeah. it's 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 um it's it's yeah. an incredible time of year. As you say, mm. it's when the world starts to draw yeah. back in. Yeah. But that's okay because you know that mm. You know, right. you'll, you'll get spring next year, which is wonderful. Yeah. Um, ah, that's what. The only flying mammal. Yeah, the true, the only true flying mammal. Yeah. You get I flying, can't think of anything else. Flying oh, flying you get flying foxes, but they've just got, they've got a membrane and they just glide. Have you ever seen a sugar, a sugar glider? A, 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 they are the most, they are the most beautiful little things. A sugar a, a, glider? Is, is that like a flying squirrel? I don't know. But it's beautiful. And yeah, they've got like a little membrane yeah. thing. Glass, it's like it's in a duvet yeah. cover. <laughs> <laughs> they are ad adorable. Um, got, oh, I'm right. trying to put loads Gosh. of messages on. We've got bats and robins. Right. Are we talking, are we talking winter? If there's not a robin, there I will be, there thank is. you. There right, is. I was going to say, I will yes. be, there, there needs is. to be a reindeer. Oh, not sure Mark gets those in his no. garden. <laughs> I was going to tell you what we've got in winter then, but I'm not, I'm not going well, to. We've got two yet. more. We have. Two more. Right. These next two are going to be the most popular, hands down. They're going to sell out in seconds. Yeah. Um, well. Baskets. We've got 20 left. And, um, and it's... Which one do you want to do? Yeah, that one. Um, OK. Uh, Jane, Maker, Kath, Lorraine, Susan, Hazel, Maker in Leicestershire. Oh, Anne's bought one. Gabrielle, yeah. Oh, bless you, Anne. Jacqueline. Tennessee, Valerie, Corinne, Des, Maker in Suffolk, Margaret in Shropshire, loads in baskets. Please, 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 please check out as soon as you can. We've got less than 20 chances left. Right. Oh, thank you. We are on now to uh, the two right. most popular pieces, as if the others haven't been popular. This is exceptional. And I have to say, when... I knew that I was going to be launching this collection with you. I really hoped, I knew there would be a poppy in here. The most beautiful flower. It is obviously more than a flower. It is a symbol of, 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 of remembrance for Armistice Day. It is, uh, I always think of the, um, the poppy fields, um, in France uh, that, that, that bloomed after the First World War. And my word, it's when the earth mm. is disturbed. Is that That's right? right? Yeah, because poppies, poppy seeds can lay undisturbed for hundreds of years. And in the right, really? in the right conditions. So obviously when all the, when all the war happened, you know, all the explosions, all the soil exploded and all the, all the seeds came to the surface and my gosh. That's how it came about. Yeah. And you Fields quite often see them on, um, on, uh, in hedgerows, don't you, or by the side of the road, or yeah. if there's been building work yeah, happening. I, 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 I've, never, I've never been able to bring myself to touch a poppy because I'm always worried it's just going to break because it's got those tissue paper like what I, what I, 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 I It doesn't do them any harm, but what I like doing is when they're closed, about to open, you can just see they're about to open. And just you give them I, give them, I give them a little squeeze and just oh. give them a, same with fuchsias as well. I always give them a little helping hand. Yes. But they are very delicate. They're, they're beautiful. And you see fields of poppies in just the, you know, sort of in the middle of September, well, probably late August, isn't it? When you're driving and you see fields, it's absolutely full. And it's quite an Instagram thing this year. Very much. Having your photograph taken in fields of poppies. <laughs> yeah, I saw the confetti fields yes. in uh, you know, yeah. Worcestershire. Must yeah. have been really important for you to get a poppy in your collection because it is, it yeah, is such the, a significant so it, flower, it, isn't it? Um, the only, it wasn't an issue, but the only thing that I had to think about was you, if poppies aren't out in November. Yes. But I had such a strong feeling that I wanted a poppy in the collection. Of and course. November was the only month that, that I could actually have it. So 
It is in Chestnut Close, but not in November, but it is. It does feature in the garden quite heavily. And I think that, you know, because Armistice Day is obviously the 11th of yeah. November, this is yeah. this is something which is, um, you know, I, 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 I just know mm. people will be getting this as a mark of remembrance for somebody or something or, you know, wh whoever or whatever it might be for. The enamel on this mark, yeah, it yeah. works and I've, um, so beautifully. And I've spoken to Caroline and she's agreed that with, with every sale that we make of the poppy today, like me personally, I'm going to donate to the poppy appeal a, oh, percentage, a percentage of every piece. And, and that's, that's in honour of dear mum because she, she loves Remembrance Day and, and wow. both, her, both well, her father and father-in-law were both in the forces during the Second World War. So, um, so we've, we've decided that's what I'm going to do. That's really kind show. of you. Thank you, Mark. Um, very, very kind indeed. Wow, what a touching um, uh, yeah. memorial. Um, poppy, in f oh gosh, I'm not sure if I, could, if, if I can read this. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place, and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly. Um, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, it, it's been, it, 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 it's always been something which obviously, you know, here on Jewelry Maker, we've been, we've been very, um, you know, we've, we've wanted to mark the occasion. We've always wanted, you know, we're always mm. wearing our poppies with pride, uh, but being able to bring you something that, I mean, I, I, the enamel work on this is exceptional. The way that the um, beautiful black spinel has been set in the center though, it just adds such a yeah. beautiful, yeah. Uh, feature to this piece, mm, doesn't it? No, absolutely. Well, we, do, we didn't want it to be over the top. We wanted. I, th I think for a piece, for a poppy, it's quite subtle. Yes. It's it's not too vibrant. Mm. It's not garish. It, it's it's in the size of it. It's a perfect size as well. It's just beautiful. Oh, they're an incredibly sturdy plant, able to lie dormant for mm, years yes, and then shoot yeah. up through the soil. Yes, Heather. Isn't that fascinating? I did. I didn't yeah. know about that. It's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, hi, Carol, Mark, um, and Linda. Uh, got the dahlia uh, and the bat. You have to do uh, a cat next. Oh, big congratulations. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> Let's take that price point down, shall we? Enjoy. Well done. Catherine's bought four. I've I can imagine. so much gossip, and I've, I've, been, I've been told not to say anything. Oh, whatever, Mark. <laughs> he literally, he's literally <laughs> bursting at the seams here. <laughs> Let's do this next one really, really quickly and then we can hear all the <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Linkage is coming through. Well done. Absolutely beautiful. And this and this and this makes me think as well, you know, we've had um in the past we've had um um uh, guest designer Kleshner who who who, of course, all, who yes. loved making those beautiful poppies which lots of celebrities mm, wore um, yeah. um as well. And Linda, this is this is for me, this is such a fitting thing to wear yes if you love flowers but what a beautiful little uh thing to wear of course in the month of november to mark Absolutely. armistice day isn't it oh wonderful? definitely i mean i mm. have a great affinity with this piece my granddad was fought uh, he was in the expeditionary forces in the first world war wow he was in the Coldstream guards and um he was badly injured on the second day of the song so i've got a huge oh, affinity wow. for this goodness me yeah. isn't that amazing it really yeah. ha people have that incredible connection yeah just very quickly, my mum mm. collected. Um, uh, my mum has got my grand, all of my grandpa's old medals, but she thought that he he might have been entitled to another medal. So she got in touch with the Ministry of Defence. He was he was he was entitled to the Arctic Star. He'd actually oh, wow. travelled to the Arctic, and I had no idea. None of us ever knew. Uh, so he's got another little medal to oh, add on to his um, to, to add oh. on to his picture frame of them. Isn't that lovely. Um, well done. Thirty four pounds and ninety nine pence. Absolutely gorgeous. Without, I mean, without the enamel, it would look lovely. With the enamel, it just comes to life, doesn't it? It's that bright poppy red, isn't it? Mm. It's just gorgeous. No, lovely. Beautiful collection, Mark. Poppies are the symbol of rebirth. Oh, my word. How gorgeous. Wow. How gorgeous. Thank you very much, Jacqueline, for that Thank in you. Midlothian. Wonderful. Well done. Um, very, 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 very popular piece. Absolutely beautiful. Whatever your reasons are for coming through to get this. This is absolutely stunning. Well done. Um, this would be perfect for my friend who loves poppies so much that she has a stained glass internal oh. door with them in. Oh, oh, and anyone whose name is Poppy, of course. Of course, yeah. Um, yeah, just wonderful. Oh, imagine having that a stained glass window in your house um, with a poppy. Beautiful, well done. Lots and lots and lots in baskets. Please check out. Right, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be getting two of these if there are any available. 
um, the, the squirrel is the mascot of my daughter's school. Oh, yes, right. um, because squirrels are resourceful. They squirrel things away. They're clever. They, um, they bury things in the garden. Uh, they take <laughs> walnuts and bury them in my lawn. Uh, no, but, but they are wonderful animals. They, I could watch squirrels forever. Um, other than the noise they make, <laughs> oh, yes, I, yes. Could, I could watch squirrels forever. They are so cool. We've had, everyone's had the bird feeders, haven't they? Which the squirrel goes up and it's meant to be squirrel proof. And it's there just literally cheeks full of, of, um, of peanuts and goodness knows what. But they are, they are the most awesome animals, aren't they? No, they're amazing. Um, amazing. I've got a friend who lives in, um, up in the Kengorns and he's got, he quite regularly posts photographs in, um, on Facebook of the red squirrels up there. And they're beautiful little things, aren't they? Um, this is a, I, I can't even, this is, this is, I think this is the best one you've done yet. Really? Yeah. I, I, it's such a finished piece. We've seen lots of lovely pieces and representations today. Looking this morning on the internet at some of the, the quality of some of these pieces, I don't want to start, you know, you know, not being nice about anybody else who's, you know, selling squirrel pieces. But um, this is so detailed. Mm. This has got such lovely, lovely features. And you'd be forgiven for thinking, much like, you know, some of the other pieces that we've done, that it's going to be a flat squirrel no just look at this it literally oh, i've got the gold leaf on my fingers yeah. look at he is huge look at that <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful now this is a weighty piece how many of these do we have neary okay not enough right no way near enough because we've got a limited quantity, we've got a clock to graphics. There is so much silver in this. We've had to hallmark it. Yeah, so this will have been hallmarked. I don't know which assay office, uh, office this would have been hallmarked in. I assume it's the Birmingham assay office. I assume. Um, so you've got uh, the hallmark on the bottom. I'll show you kind of roughly where, the, I, I think this is where the hallmark is. My eyesight is abs, oh, I've got a loop. I got a loopy loopy. So these are your assay office. Um, uh, oh, look at them all, aren't they gorgeous? Uh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is just, oh wow. Okay, so we've got a 925 stamp, we've got a Gemporia stamp. I literally, I can't actually see. Ah, oh, is it on his legs? Oh my gosh, Mark, the detail on this is absolutely yeah, astonishing. I assume it's been laser engraved. It is absolutely beautiful. It might even be the inside. Yeah. Oh, wow. Could be on the inside. Let me just have two more seconds just looking at it. Ah. I think it's on the inside. He is absolutely beautiful. Madeira yeah. citrine on the inside. Sorry, <laughs> on the on the acorn. Look at his beautiful little eyes as well. He has got such character. This is captured. This is captured the personality of a squirrel so beautifully. It is, do they? It? Do, do you like them? Yeah. Are they slightly annoying for you? I don't mind do squirrels. Do I, think, I, think they're they're quite, okay? I think they're quite funny. What do yeah, the cats think of funny. them? They're not bothered. They're too big to... Are they? To no, them. my um, yeah. my dog just woofs at them. And then yeah. the minute he goes outside, obviously they're gone. And then he kind of saunters off. No, I didn't want to get it anyway. Yes, you did, Watson. Uh, but they are they are beautiful characters, aren't they? So much nicer than the, what, the, the naughty squirrels so much oh, sorry so love the thought what am i trying to say love the thought of a scurry of squirrels fab collection uh mark yeah, absolutely yeah. isn't it gorgeous they really he is so beautiful he's got such a wonderful character look at this when i still lived in wisconsin oh. once we had a black one in the yard they're more common in uh northern wisconsin and um, uh we even had an albino one. Oh, how gorgeous they are beautiful, aren't they? Um, we've got a walnut tree hanging over our garden, and they um, and they and they love uh, taking the 
walnuts and burying them in our lawn, uh, but they also, you know, acorns, all sorts. They are beautiful. Lovely is holding the acorn, actually, which is a symbol of, you know, growth, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah, with yeah, the oak course. tree. Well, we thought about having a gemstone acorn, and then, and then we thought, well, no, let, let, we, we, because Caroline and I both like pieces that are two-tone. Yes. And we had to make a, make a, a feature of the, of the acorn, and then we thought, well, let's, let's pop a couple let's, of gemstones yeah. in as well. But for me, my favourite part of it, there's two favourite bits. He's got his little nose, yeah. and he's got a downturned bottom lip, which I think is just beautiful. Oh, let's see. You can just see oh, his, down, yes, his you downturned can see little that mouth, bit. but the tail, I think that tail is one of the most exquisite pieces oh. of silverwork I've ever seen. Yeah. I love the tail. He's absolutely gorgeous. The squirrel is so cute. I know, isn't he? He's mm. just beautiful. You can sense the, the gram weight here, hopefully. It is absolutely amazing. What is the gram weight again? Do you say it's over 10? grams mm. 11 grams of silver i mean it's absolutely incredible this is like i mean i haven't seen um any designer come even close to this level of quality um oh gosh yeah 10.09 grams uh of of sterling silver it is absolutely stunning there are so many people here now believe it or not this is not your price. $99.99. Okay, there are chains which go around your neck with less than a gram of sterling silver in, which are designed course, to yes. keep a pendant on your neck. Mm. And this has got kind of nine times the amount. Let's bring a clock on. It's not your price today. We, are ab we have saved, I think, the best until last. It is, it is the thought, the design, the craftsmanship, the gemstone setting, the detail. It is all so beautiful. And it's going to be yours today for the most magnificent price point. I think um, one of the best pieces, if not the best piece I've ever seen uh, in the Chestnut Close collection. I can't wait for winter. This is going to be amazing. I think what I really love about the, the whole collection, especially the animals, is the three-dimensional quality. Of yes, we haven't absolutely. Gone, we haven't gone for a flat. It's not flat, exactly. Completely so this is, I mean, this is lovely. A stunning silver squirrel with enamel. Oh, is that enamel? Oh, I thought it was amber. With enamel, £125. Gosh. He's lovely. He's got lovely ears. Um, yeah, lovely. This has got Madeira citrine and... Um, <laughs> Sorry, I beg your pardon. Yeah, mandarin citrine and smoky quartz in. Absolutely amazing. There's your smoky quartz in his eyes and the mandarin garnet. Um, oh, gosh, you get your garnet on either side. Sorry, yes, a mandarin yes. citrine in either side. That's amazing. Absolutely superb. There he is. Your deal today, Forty-nine <laughs> ninety-nine. Oh my word, there are so droves of people coming through. There is a queue on the phone lines, but the quicker you can get through, the better. 0800 644 He's absolutely beautiful, isn't he? Honestly. Yeah, that's, yeah, per gram of silver, that's 50 pence per gram of silver with no design, no gemstone, no polishing, no manufacturing, no shipping. That's unbelievable, that deal, isn't it? So the squirrel, um, uh, coming home to join your hedgehog. Oh, yes, I love that. I, do you know what? I absolutely love squirrels. I don't like what they do to my lawn, but I do absolutely um, uh, love them. They are, they are absolutely gorgeous. It's the kind of thing, isn't it? Don't, don't you think, Linda? The kind of thing, you can be sitting in your, in your kitchen, having a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, looking out the window, just watching squirrels and just gently... Well, it's the, just it's so the acrobatics as well, isn't yeah, it? Yes, I mean, I've seen them walk a washing line with no trouble whatsoever. It, it just, is quite you incredible, know, In order it? to get to something hanging from a tree. Yes. Yeah. To get to the nuts. The Victorians introduced the grey squirrel. To this country. Was it to get rid of the red squirrel? No, no, it, because the red squirrel was native all around the country and they, they, the red squirrels are quite elusive, they're quite shy and um, so when the, the Victorians, after they had a really posh lunches, they wanted to walk through Hyde Park or Green no. Park Did they... and they, so they imported these grey squirrels in because they were, they were tamer and they would feed from their hand and they could watch them scurrying around and it was purely so the Victorians would have for entertainment. There yeah, you and go! And then they've taken over the country and they, they carry a disease that they don't, they don't get ill with, but it gets passed on to red squirrels, which is why the red squirrels ah. are on the way out. 
That is how fascinating. Uh, the, the card here says, coming from the Greek translation, shadow tail. The squirrel is a playful animal, always on the go, never resting. The animal knows, uh, known to climb the highest branches, talking to the sun. Uh, and retrieving messages from the gods. Oh my word, how lovely. He's lovely, isn't he? I do have to say, yeah, this is a lovely mix between the grey and the red squirrel, I have to say yes, as well. Yes. <laughs> um, my favourite mark, but all the designs are amazing. Congratulations. Look at these baskets. Oh, thank you. Helen, Barbara, Anne, Hazel. Oh, well, Hazel, with a name like Hazelnut. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, Beth, June, Julia. Irene, Erica, Janice, Denise, Eloise, Kim, Corrine, please check your baskets out. Uh, these are absolutely uh, flying out the door. They are gorgeous. And yeah, it is a beautiful, beautiful um, uh, piece, isn't it? Congratulations, Mark, on another gorgeous collection. Can't wait for the winter one. Uh, love, Liz and Tyne and Weir. Go on, give us a, uh, give us a clue. <laughs> no, you're not leaving the studio without giving us... So we're oh, a robin. Yeah? Like, there's a robin. There has to be a robin. There's a blue tit. Yeah, Batman and yeah. Robin. Sorry. Oh, yes, yes. Just <laughs> if you've got the bat, you've got to get the robin. There's a blue tit. Oh, my... F oh! There's a house mouse, which is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Oh, my gosh. And then we've got Snowdrop. Oh! We've got the Narcissi, the little dwarf daffodil, which is February. Oh, yes! And we've got Mistletoe. Mistletoe? with something rather special. But that's all I'm going to, I've told you, Caroline is going to be so cross. How wonderful. <laughs> I love mistletoe. It's a parasitic plant it is. though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, um, absolutely. But they are, I love seeing the big balls of them at the that's top of amazing. trees. They're gorgeous, yeah. aren't they? Oh, how yeah. wonderful. So we've, we've got, hence the name, we've got chestnut trees in our close, which is mm. why it's called chestnut close. And a couple of the trees have got mistletoe. So I haven't got them growing in the garden because we, we don't have big trees in the garden, but they're in, they're in the close. Oh, how gorgeous. We've got six chances left. Well done. Huge congratulations. What an amazing, amazing, amazing wow. um, uh, collection. Thank you so much, Mark. Pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for getting behind it. It's just, Not it's at been amazing. all. It's um, been very, yeah. very exciting to have you with us today, Mark. Thank you so, so much. Um, and uh, yes, don't forget, every single one of you gets a signed photo of <laughs> Mark. Lucky you. <laughs> I love that. These will be available to the end of the show. So um, if there are any quantities left, they will be available to the end of the show. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, yeah, keep coming through for them because we realise there's a lot of cues on the phone lines. Coming up next, wow. we have got the most gorgeous masterclass with Linda. Not only have we got the most amazing shell pearls, to go with the shell pearls, we've got this brand new... Um, Diamante ad ad adhesive strip to go on your shell pearls. They are gorgeous pieces. We'll see you in a second. Thank you so much, Thank Mark. You. Awesome. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. As you can see, autumn is well and truly on its way. And to celebrate this, on Thursday the 29th of September at 11am I'm going to be launching the next instalment of my Chestnut Close range, Autumn, featuring six brand new pieces including a squirrel, a bat, a frog and flowers including the poppy, the dahlia and the anemone. It's a beautiful collection. I'm absolutely thrilled with it, and I hope you will be too. So that's this Thursday, the 29th of September at 11 a.m. Join myself and presenter Carol for the launch of Autumn at Chestnut Close. Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. 
When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Well, that was awesome, wasn't it? That was absolutely awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed every wasn't minute of that. Lovely? Yeah, I really did. Uh, and it's all the extra information as well. Yes. Um, brilliant. It, yeah, it's been, it's been great fun. Um, I am so excited about these. Yeah, it's a bit different, this one. Yeah, I really, really love what you have done with these. I know this has been a, a, a request, uh, something that you requested ages ago, wasn't it? Yes, it was a while ago now. It's taken a while. To, what, for it to... what did you find you were inspired by? Well, um, you know, when um, I and Claire MacDonald uh, did pearl drilling, Yeah. you know, I appreciate the fact that you need certain tools for that. Yes. You need the pearl drills, you need the actual drill, you need the vice and this, that and the other. And um, I just thought, well, oh. um, I wonder whether we can get around that for people that are a little bit scared about the drilling. Yeah. And um, this basically is the way around it. And it's such a, it can be such a quick fix, can't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, what we've got for you today, as you can see here, um, in the in the earrings that we've got on the end lower down is the most beautiful strip of basically what looks like you know diamonds it's diamante strip which go all the way around these beautiful shell pearls they are absolutely stunning aren't they I think what we're going to do Neri you there lovely no, no, no. Um, I think we should get straight into these kits. I think they're, they are, they are going to be extraordinarily popular. Yeah, which kit should we start with? Yeah, I think, let, yeah, let's start off with this gorgeous white kit. Now, all three of these brand new kits are roughly the same, but they've got different, uh, they've got different kind of, they've got a different color theme going through them. First kit, oh, I love this. Love this, love this, love this. Look, 
Two strands of white shell pearl. Yep. Look. <laughs> Double check that, Neary. <laughs> Double check that. I know, because I'm looking at this now thinking, how on earth is this the price? Uh, right. Um, star connector with Cabixaconia in. Silver plated base metal. That's a proper kind of, I would describe that as a North Star. Kind of not like yeah, a, that's not the like brightest a cutie, star, cutie star. Brightest star in the sky, isn't it? Absolutely. That is definitely a North Star you've got there. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your adhesive diamante strip. Um, how long is the strip? Is it a metre? Might be even longer no, actually. Think, we'll, have a, sure. we'll have a little look, shall we? I think it's got to be a meter. It's got to be. Oh yeah, it's definitely at least a meter. Mm -hmm. um, these are. Uh, this is beautiful. As you can see, it's very very sticky, uh, but it is absolutely incredible. So you've got these beautiful shell pearls. You've got your connector, and you've got your adhesive diamante strip. Can we see this in situ? So. Um, in the necklace we've got there, you can... Oh, oh, thank you, lovely. Look. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. There you go. Oh, my gosh. It reminds me of the Vivian Westwood kind of... The orb. Um, the orb. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous, mm -hmm. Linda. That is stunning, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, it's very much up to you um what you do with it and how you use it obviously um, oh, I love so this. again you know you can use your creativity yeah to um so you've got okay so you've got this so how well i can't wait to see this in okay. a, kind of in a in a demonstration because of course with the strip that you get here you get loads and loads and loads of rows of it so it's a it, it, it's a case of cutting it down presumably That's right yeah Price point on these kits. Okay, Neary says he's double checked and he's triple checked. And actually, we can do it for the price point that we thought we were going to do it for. Um, so you've got your shell pearl, two lots of your shell pearl. You've got your Cabixaconia connector and you've got a meter of your of your, um, of your your adhesive Diamante strip. Take your hands off it, Carol, because it will stick to you. Um, I thought about this price here 29.99 i then thought do you know what maybe maybe you know 24.99 that would be absolutely brilliant absolutely I, I could not have been more wrong the deal you are actually going to be getting today just put this in your basket it is absolutely incredible you are going to be able to use this in so many different ways with so many different designs absolutely beautiful quality the deal is amazing already at 29.99 are you ready to see how low we can go come on neary what do you reckon ah 30 second clock and we're gonna go absolutely nuts okay you've got to trust us here i'm gonna give this a very quick measure because i reckon this is a meter if not longer yeah it's definitely a meter that is definitely a meter so you're going to be getting all of this ha huh. diamante Adhesive strip. I Don't forget, love you've, that. You've got a meter times four. Yes, exactly. So four meters. Four meter strip. <sighs> four one meter strips. Do you know what? You're absolutely right. Four one meter strips. Because as you can see here, you've got four rows. So of course, what Linda's done is she's cut them down into individual, into individual rows. Twenty nine ninety nine. Not your price point today. All the way. Here we go, everyone. Enjoy. Have a go. Twelve ninety nine. Wow. Boom. Gosh. Oh my gosh. I would expect to pay that at I... all for the Diamante strip. I'm not being funny. I'm now looking at mm. now looking at my phone and thinking, oh, yeah. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, hello. Yes, please. I'm looking at my phone and going, oh, I can literally booze my phone up at the top of your uh, you know if you've got a pen pot or if you've got a cup or a glass or something that you don't necessarily left, use all the time um, absolutely no, to your left at my walking stick hanging uh, just by the <laughs> oh my gosh i've got a sh sorry i've literally this is i didn't even know, look at this i was on holiday when i did these kits and i um <laughs> I'm so fed A couple up of Aperol I'm spritzes so for the wind. fed up with this stick, which I'm still having to use. I know. It's a proper NHS jobby, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So I've... And that's been on now for three weeks. I love that. And it's all the... It's down the base. Oh, is it? Oh, guess, look. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Do you know what? 
what? Anyone who's got a walking stick. I, I love how many that. Comments I've had particularly I bet into lifts. You've had loads of comments. That is so lovely. I went, I into, love I went that. to the hospital yesterday afternoon on a on a different thing. You're not having this one back. But, um, the um, the senior registrar there said to me, "Oh my goodness, that's not NHS now." Yes, <laughs> absolutely not. No, but it could be. Oh, Linda, that is just that makes me so happy. How gorgeous is that? Well done. If you want to judge up anything of yours. This is just incredible. Well done, you get you two. Look, look, look at the reflection you've got from that um, on the shell pearls as well. It's quite amazing, isn't it? It's, 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 it really is a nice idea. As I say, it came to me really from the pearl drilling thing. But yes. you know, there's people that do have um, you know, problems with their hands and that you can manage this beautifully because I promise you it is really <laughs> adhesive. Linda, you should put some lights and go faster yeah. stripes on it. Okay, I'll do Deb, that I love that idea. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. Defo, <laughs> absolutely. And I think maybe you should, um, I mean, I'm going to take it one step further. I think you should have like, have like darts or something coming out the front of the thing, like pew, pew, like that. Poison darts. <laughs> like Not James, necessarily poison darts, like James, James Bond. Bond. Yeah. Or what's her name? Who was the, who was the uh, James Bond baddie? She had the shoes with the knife and the, the, with the dagger in the front. Is that? El, uh, Elma. Oh, Kleb. Yeah, Ir Irma Kleb. Oh, I can't remember. I, it was in uh, From Russia with Love. <laughs> it's my specter against your specter, Dr. Bond. Uh, Linda, I'm going to do that with my walking sticks. Love that idea. Alison, honestly, I think every single person coming through is going to be doing that. <laughs> my mum had sparkles and bells on her stick too. <laughs> oh, how adorable. That's just gorgeous. Uh, I'd put Go Faster Stripes on, on my Zimmer. Fab show. Do you know what? I think, Margaret, that is a great idea. It's, Put them on your Zimmer frame. It's just the best Zhuzh thing to do Zimmer. with a piece of equipment like that is just be light-hearted about it, isn't it? Well, because it's grey and it's very mm, kind of... Uh, Demoralising, uh, yes, in a way. Yes, absolutely, yeah, so just, Linda. Uh, just see the funny side of it. I love it, definitely. Um, uh, the Diamantes yes, are great are. for nail art. I love that Linda has used it on her walking <laughs> stick. I know, Kim, isn't it gorgeous? Oh, you've definitely, you've definitely unleashed something here. I love this. <laughs> um, absolutely fantastic. Was it Emma Pill? No, no, it was, a, it was like a German name. I'll, 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 it'll come to me in a minute. Right, well, that was popular. Okay, next kit. Elmer Kleb? Club, club. It doesn't sound very James Bondy, does it? That she was not very James Bondy. Okay. She was a she was a nasty, nasty baddie, and she had this pair of black shoes with a rosa. Oh, can you imagine those yeah, stuck down the back of your stilettos, down the heel? What an back. idea! There you go. Or on your wedges. On your wedges, yeah, absolutely. When was the last time you wore a pair of you wore a pair of stilettos? Well, uh, that is that actually, to be honest, that no, really the breaks, wore a pair of breaks my heart because I've got a pair of DK in my shoes like that that are bought like that. Oh. Now I think I could buy the cheaper version and do it myself. Yeah, are you going to be wearing those again? Hopefully. My, yeah, it's an ambition. And if not, then put um. Oh no, wrong one, wrong one. Sorry, gang. And if not. Um, I had a pair of shoes made into a pair of bookends because I just thought I'm never going to wear, I can't wear those again. I'm just never going to be able to. That's a good to. idea. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of that. Bookends. Um, adhesive diamante strip, a metre of that. It's exactly the same, beautiful quality. Champagne shell pearl in six and eight mils. They're gorgeous. Love, love, love. Doesn't that look lovely together? Gold-plated base metal, CZ star connector as well. Absolutely gorgeous pieces here. Um, Love that champagne cut. Look at that. Champagne colour. It's just gorgeous. The back of your what? Your stockings. Well, you do see tights, don't you, with kind of these kind of things on. But then, of course, you wouldn't be able to wash them necessarily. Mm -mm -mm. Um, or if you've got a lovely kind of champagne. If you've got, I tell you what, if you've got like a, um, um, an empty, it would need to be empty, like an empty bottle of champagne or something like that that maybe you had at your wedding or for a particular a particular um uh you know party or you know for a landmark thing if you want to you know make it look really snazzy then you know put some of these on there why not well, gorgeous I, i've actually got that bottle of champagne i bought it some years ago but it was a limited edition birth clique oh. and uh, i bought it from selfridges in birmingham and um it's covered in Swarovski crystals and uh, oh. it will be undrinkable now because I couldn't bring myself to open and drink. No, no, I could never do that. Mm -hmm. See, how lovely is that? 
Beautiful. Here we go, my lovelies, all the way down. Great for card craft as well, yeah, if you're into making cards. And with Christmas coming up, you know, that's the season of sparkle. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, my word, you could decorate your baubles. Get some plain, cheapy, cheapy baubles Definitely. and put these around them, much like you've done with the gorgeous um, shell pearls. Yep. And you've got your own gorgeous Christmas baubles. But don't forget, it's not just one metre. It's four rows of one metre. So really, it's four metres. You could put it around a pillar candle. Yeah, nice idea, Teresa. Mm -hmm. um, really, really lovely ideas. There's so many ways. I mean, you know, earlier when we had the cup chain in yes, the shell kit. Yes, of course. Well, and I said, well, you can glue that on, which can do perfectly fine. Yes. But if you don't want to and you buy this kit, you're going to have loads that you can put onto those shelves. So is this a backing that it's yes, got it's here? Yes, it's an adhesive backing. So if you yeah. did want to put it on a pillar candle, what I would say is keep it on its backing and maybe pin it onto the pillar candle and then when the pillar candle is finished then of course you could take it off because this backing here that is so I mean, it's so fluid isn't it you can mm -hmm. just see how you could literally use one diamante at a time and you're getting countless amounts mm -hmm. here aren't you just gorgeous well done everybody good my um, my daughter's on holiday they spent their holiday money on um on led um uh, strip lights you know the um yeah. They come to you on a big kind of court, much like, not unlike these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they've got them stuck on their bed and things like that. And you turn them on with the remote control. These are the kind of things, you know, you want to put around a mirror, a picture frame, yeah, I mean, zhuzh anything up. It's, I mean, if you, if you do resin, um, I mean, I'm excited to use these. Now I've used them, we use them with my resin. Yes. In a decorative way. Um, we're at 12.99, guess what? Linda's not going to be very happy about this. Okay, uh, right, we're going to take the price point down. Oh, gosh. Uh, how many of this kit do we have, Neary? A hundred opportunities. Um, right, 50. Oh, gosh, right, okay. Here we go. 12 99 not your price. This should be the price. Just for the shell pearl on its own. That is amazing, isn't it? And this is such great quality shell pearl. This is so beautifully... Um, so beautifully produced. And then you've got this gorgeous um, uh, uh, Kibik Ciconia encrusted uh, North Star connector. I'm picturing cat collars. Yes, absolutely, Deb. What a lovely idea. Great yeah. idea. And Deb's full of ideas today, aren't you, Deb? Isn't she? Uh, morning, girlies. I first thought, uh, what I first thought was heels. Maybe a collar for my little, my little T. Uh, but definitely for my walking sticks. Yes, Suzanne. <laughs> 9 99 I think Linda's inspired all of us there with you walking sticks. Imagine I the Wall that. of Fame now, just encrusted in. Oh, please! Yeah, walking sticks. I want to see. We want to see your embellished walking sticks and the like. That would be. That would make. That would make our day. How wonderful would that be? Jeanette, Marie, Marion, well into you as well. Judith, Joan, Karen, Amanda, Sheila, uh, Pauline, Julie, Agnes, well into you. Penny, Jacqueline, Anne, Gillian, Maker, well done. That is absolutely brilliant. Well done to you. Um, just for the shell pearl, that's absolutely unbelievable. But then, of course, you've got the gorgeous connector and you've got the, what is the equivalent of four metres of your Diamante strip as well, which is just unbelievable. Well done. About 12 opportunities remaining. Go, 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 go. Well done. Can't believe that. Okay, final kit. Let's bring on. Pink, 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 pink. With um, beautiful pink shell pearls, with your Diamante strip and your rose gold uh, plated base metal, um, Cabixiconia encrusted <gasps> connector. Gosh, that's so good. That Cabixiconia pops, doesn't it? Really pops against that rose gold plating. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of people already through for this. Great for weddings. Yeah, come on, let's go, go, go. Loads of shell pearl deals on the website um, uh, for when, uh, yeah, when we go into the demonstration, we're going to put loads and loads of shell pearl deals on the website, just to let you know. We are at 9.99. Irene, Vivian, Sue, Lynn, uh, Janice, Cloudy, well into you, Maker, Patricia, Penn. Yeah, there's a, a person called Cloudy in Kent. Why not? Might not be Cloudy. No, it might be Cloudy in Kent. So. Oh, Cloudy as in Kent. it is Cloudy in Kent. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know. Gorgeous. Well done. 9 99 absolutely flying out the door. Right, lovely Linda. Go on then, my lovely. Right, well, I think, I think the thing to do, really, is to demonstrate the use of the uh, Diamante Strip, isn't it, really? And as mm. Carol says, you've got a backing, which is um, an adhesive backing. It's a very, very strong adhesive. Yeah. 
um, which obviously is just peeled off. Now, for the are these six so or eight small. mils, these pearls, I think that let's go an eight mil. Is this? Do you think? Uh, yeah. that, you've got eight mils and six mils, so it's probably yeah. a six mil. I would have. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Oh no, that's an eight mil. It's an eight mil. So I'm going to decorate my phone, um, everyone. Good idea. Yeah. So basically, if you take your strip of um, diamante, right? Yeah. And then, uh, obviously, to go round a pearl, I only need one row. Now I worked out that round um, between a six and an eight mil, you need between twelve individual stones, twelve to thirteen individual stones. If you cut the strip at 12, you can actually, if there's a little gap, it stretches beautifully <laughs> on that backing. So I uh, initially just, could I borrow the scissors a minute, please? Oh, Sorry. Man. Sorry. Come on then. Sorry. I initially cut, my phone. <gasps> cut uh, off a counted uh, 12 of the uh, diamantes and then cut that strip off of the main strip. Yes. It's just so much easier to do it that way. And then getting your scissors, you can quite easily go with, this is keeping the adhesive backing on at, the, at mm. this point, is just cut along and that's really easy to achieve. You can see how sticky it is, but it's easy to achieve with a nice pointed pair of scissors. There you go, I'll return that to you. <gasps> thanks! And then it's just a matter of taking oh, that first diamante there, or diamante, however you say it, potato, potato, and peeling it off. Then when you're going to put it on your pearl, obviously be aware of the fact of where the drill hole is because you don't want to cover that. So if you get the pearl in between your index finger and your thumb, covering the hole, and then place that, just literally place it on the pearl and then just push it round. If it's a smidge bit short, then you get your thumbnail on the, the last two of the diamantes and stretch together. And then again, just push that down. Now, I've had this jewelry packaged up since I got back from holiday last weekend. And I've had this jewelry packaged up in plastic bags and into uh -huh. a box. And uh, um, it's, it's come to, with that one I can just notice there, it's just come a little bit unstuck. Um, but it will, um, it will wear. I can promise you it will wear. And the thing is, you've got so much of this diamante that should it, you can, you'll always have some left to uh, re-beautify whatever it is that you want to do. That particular piece there is just a, a little piece of backing fabric. It's gorgeous. That I've glued two uh, widths. I haven't quite trimmed the top off enough. Uh -huh. um, and um, just gluing two full strips yes onto the backing foundation and then you could just see that join through the center so i've just popped another strip on the top of that just to sort of give it a little bit of perhaps interest but a little bit more design but initially to hide that little gap that runs across if you want to you can just cut off one full strip of single diamantes and just put that along as well it's entirely wow. up to you but it really is easy to deal with and, as I say, very, um, very hard wearing. I love this. Um, so what I would do now with this is I'd put it onto a, an eye pin, I should say. And let's just move that up a smidge, a little bit more. And then if you get it either side, you can then... Have it nice and straight. This is just along. awesome. It's addictive, actually. Totally. I'm literally yeah. covering the back of my phone. Yeah, I mean, right you'll now. be going around um, furniture, bathroom oh, tiles, all sorts. Put, I'm going to put this on my yeah. children, maybe, to uh, <laughs> school photos and things like that. Good idea. You're like beautiful, baby. So what I would do with this particular one now is um, I'm going to use the full length of my eye pin. Okay. And yeah. then I'm going to go about a centimetre from the top of the eye pin, go about a centimetre down with my flat nose pliers and just bend through 90 degrees. Uh -huh. And then taking my round nose pliers about a centimetre down that plier and then turn back into a simple loop, which is different from the one I demonstrated, the wrap loop in the first kit. This one, 
you can, as I said earlier, you can open like a jump ring mm. and then just pop on to an earring finding. Oh, lovely. Okay. Um, now, as a variation on that, um, with these earrings here, if I just take one off, what I've done is taken, I'll show you in a second physically, but I've taken um, the head pin and covered it um, in oh. diamante. So basically to do that, you need to get your, um, first of all, pop on your decorative uh, gem or pearl, whatever yeah. it is that you're going to use. This one I decided not to put the diamante around it because I'm going to encrust that. And then taking your full length of uh -huh. um, your diamante is just pop it to, on the pearl and then take it to the, there's the end, but I've got to make um, a simple loop on that. So I'm going to go about a centimetre from that, mm. which will then take me down probably about five, one, two, three, four, five, will give me about a centimetre. Which is could I borrow this? Yeah, go for it, darling. Thank you. <laughs> so if we go one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to put my scissors just on the edge. Love this. There, and then it's as easy as that to Gosh, that's so that easy. Off. I if can't believe is, how easy it is. It's quite revolutionary, actually. It really it? is, you and know. it just elevates the look yeah. of anyone's. And what I'm going to do now uh, is lay that piece of diamante with the adhesive side up on the surface yeah. and then pop the head pin on as centred as I possibly can mm. and then if you just literally double it okay now if you want to um, if this sort of join here does offend you then just cut another strip of the same amount and lay it on the top and then we've got our little bit of excess on the top in order to do our simple loop. <laughs> I can just see the wall of fame being emblazoned in these diamonds. Of course it will be. So I've just made a simple loop on that. So now awesome. I can, I'm just going to jigger that around a little bit more to enclose that. Jigger, jigger. This is what you can do when you've actually got it adhered to the, the head pin or whatever. You can just push together then. Just if you get your thumbnail in between the in, in between the rows. Yeah. And just sort of push it up slightly. There's a lot of give in that backing tape. Yeah, there really is. And just push it together. And then what we could do is we could make that into an earring by oh, that's so clever. opening that simple loop and popping that one on we could have a pair of mismatched earrings that do match in some respects because they've got the um, the common denominator of the the diamante either on the mm -hmm. pearl itself or on the um on the eye pin so yeah, obviously there's, there's just a, a wealth of ways that you can i mean instinctively Going around the pearl like an orb is mm. probably the first thought, yes. to be honest. And that's the first thing to get the hang of, I think. But the thing is, I took my uh, diamante strip off many of the pearls because I wasn't quite happy with the way they look. Yes. So, and it, it didn't lose any of his... It, it doesn't, yeah, taking it off and then uh, reapplying it yeah, is, just, is just absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. I, I'm, I mean, this is, this is amazing. And, and, you can, and, and I can imagine people getting these and doing things like, um, I don't know, for maybe craft fairs, getting pens and literally wrapping it around pens and just kind of bejeweling pens and selling them for, you know, you know even I mean, if it's just a few pounds. It looks pounds particularly each. pretty on, on, if I hand that to yes. you. Yes. Particularly pretty on that with that connector, which it I've does used as nice. a charm drop. Yeah, look at that. And then put that sort of Viv Westwood orb yeah. um, on the other side of the connector. Oh, yeah, that looks really nice, Linda. I like that a lot. That's so lovely, so high end. It's but it just will be gorgeous. really interesting to see how many different ways you guys out there my phone. find of using it. <laughs> Literally yeah. just stuck it on my phone. I, I, that has been so, that is so lovely. For so many people out there, this is going to be a, a fantastic 
opportunity. I mean, certainly with the shells in the earlier kits. Yes. Um, it will be a game changer for those. Yeah. Definitely. Most definitely. And, and, and as you quite rightly said, um, if, you know, um, with making your own cards, you know. Um, yes. Any of the hobby. Uh, Brilliant. Maker, sort of. I think because as well, it's got that, because um, it's, um, it's a sticky strip, but it's not like it's paper backed. It's got that fluidity. Yes. So you can put it round corners. You can put it, you know, you can bend it 90 degrees. You can do all sorts yes. of different things to it. Whereas some of the ones I've seen before for card making have been quite rigid and paper backed. And yeah. you're quite, you, you don't have that, that give, capability, that, that give. Stretchability. Um, not particularly nice on the top of um, a um, hair slide for the kids wouldn't it that's a nice or idea. on a hair band or on a hair band yeah. yes you that know, would you've got a black thing. velvet hair band or whatever color Ooh, on wow. the edges uh, yes. i know my granddaughters would love that so. yeah definitely thank you so much that's a pleasure thank you gorgeous and they've been so popular so well done and please do send in your wall of fame entries yeah, i want to see i want to see bejeweled walking sticks and zimmer yeah. frames but please. if you're fit and like me, then perhaps you could jazz up your bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I have purposely haven't shown this to Linda. We're going to make this into a star buy. This is one of the most gorgeous strands I think we have ever done on Jewelry Maker. Here we go. So I think we've all established that we love shell pearl. Yeah, we love shell pearl. White and grey shell pearl. Absolutely gorgeous. OK, uh, and they're going to be six mil. Brilliant. OK, fantastic. There you go. Wow. This is the best strand I think we've ever done. I've never seen it before. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Can you see that? I can see that. Nine. Oh, that's beautiful. Colour. Aren't they just incredible? Nine of the most beautiful base metal spacer beads going through this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this stunning recording. That has to be a one off. I'm sure we haven't had anything quite like that before. Have well, I haven't we? seen anything like that. No um, way. And I mean, to be honest, if. Uh, the you know the freshwater culture pearls were running alongside that, mm. albeit with the with the spaces or not. I think I'd go with the, the shell. Absolutely, it's just so elegant. It really oh, Chanel. It yeah, you're absolutely right. And it was um, from looking at the Kunzite today, um, and kind of reading about Jackie Kennedy and her amazing jewellery collection, kind of on a par with um, you know Liz Taylor's. And uh, it wasn't just Kunzites that she loved. She absolutely loved her emeralds. She loved her, her, her pearls. She absolutely loved all of it. And, and that kind of Coco Chanel theme of ropes ev every ropes. woman deserves ropes and ropes of pearls. Mm -hmm. I, 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 um, I, I don't do fashion. I am fashion. Or whatever. You know, th these kind of themes, these kind of this confidence, this beautiful confidence, this unashamedly... Ex um, a just indulgent way of wearing shell pearls and wearing yards and yards of them. I mean, particularly with this strand here, you know, um, four or five strands of that just literally draped in, in a rope would yeah. be so elegant. So, so, you, so elegant. You've made, you know, necklaces before, Linda, which, you know, will literally I just have a look. beautiful little yeah. thing here. And it's just very simple. It's dead you know, dead simple, a beautiful lariat style piece with a sliding clasp that you can either make yourself or we've done them before, actually. Um, and it's just, it's so simple. Um, have confidence in these, in the, in the simple elegance that these shell pearls have, because they really do have that incredible elegance. Um, I mean, can I just interrupt one second, Carol? Mm. I mean, this is just giving you a little bit of upfront inside information which i know mark mark did and i know i shouldn't be making it now but oh here we go um i'm back on air next thursday again uh, i've got some more beautiful freshwater pearl kits mm. but in one of them there is the most 
exquisite. It's like a clip, right? Ooh, so if you yes, use strands okay. and strands and strands of you pearls, can clip them. you can clip them together. Oh my gosh, perfect. So, you know, this, this would be ideal. Yeah, absolutely. So just a bit of upfront see, knowledge. Oh, see, that's lovely. I like that. $29.99 is your price point today. Well done to everybody coming through. Maureen Nicolette, Debbie Kim Maker, Audrey Maker in London. Um, no, it's not. Have a look at this. £19.99. No, it's not. Give us a 60-second clock. I don't know how we can do this. You've got nine of your beautiful spacer beads. You've got white and silver shell pearl. This is incredible. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't believe that we are under 20 pounds and we are still not. I love these spaces. They are just so effortlessly beautiful. They offer you that beautiful sparkle, beautiful bit of design. Um, how many of these do we have, Neary? Oh, wow. That's not enough, though. No way near enough. We've got n near on 100 of these available. It's going to be no way near enough. People are already, already multi-buying twos and threes of this. This is absolutely brilliant. I mean, they're going to be so elegant over the winter season, aren't they? Yes, you know, over coming a chunky up to, knit. Yeah, over a chunky knit, and that, um, coming up for Christmas, or, you know, just, just underneath the collar uh, of a shirt. Of a shirt. With a jacket. Oh, gosh, that looks yeah, so It's going to be such a wearable... It? You will get money's worth in you know tenfold twentyfold yeah. thirtyfold yeah um in in a, an elegant look for such a small amount of financial input 12.99 is the financial input incredible incredible they are I, beautiful i literally can't get a main course from my local curry house for that and at 12.99 it is incredible and this will last you this will last and last and last and last and last it's absolutely amazing well done at just 12 pounds 99 pence well done alison's got two mary's got two cheryl uh well done to you june's got two lynn's got two zena's got two julie's got two june's got two alison's got two renee's got two anne's got three carolyn's got two uh janet's got three everyone's multi-buying well done audrey you've got two lynn's got two uh oh my word kim you've got two janet's now got three jennifer's got two uh jillian patricia helen's got two. Oh wow it's it, it you get the idea well done what an incredible deal. I love the idea, Linda, of that clip. We had some, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we had some stunning. last week. And Absolutely stunning. It's, and from the front, it's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous design. From the back, it's got almost this kind of design. That's right, yeah. They are they sit in beautiful. It. You can clip it together so you can have it asymmetrically, you can have it centre, you can have it at the back, it's entirely up to you. But you can also drop from oh. it as well. So these, these, if you've bought any of the, the, the kits that have just come to air, particularly the white kit, then these dropped as a tassel. Yes, absolutely. Would be gorgeous. Yeah. Thanks, Jane. Got my beautiful, um, should buy more for Christmas, is that what it said? Yeah. Absolutely. Well done, everybody. Um, everybody. Uh, oh, these prices today, we can all wear lots of pearls and be like Coco. Do you know what? And that's the thing, isn't it? I don't care. You know, I, you know it, it's, it, it's having that kind of idea in your head, i.e. you look at that design, you look at Coco Chanel wearing those rows and ro ropes and ropes of pearls and you think, oh, do you know what? One day I'm going to be able to, one day I'd love to do that. And you see genuine freshwater culture pearls and you think, oh, I'm going to have to buy at least five strands of that. It's just going to be too... I can't afford that. Right, OK. Which is why um, all the big designers are using shell pearl now. Precisely. So you can make those designs. You can make those indulgent swags, ropes of pearls. I can't afford to use genuine freshwater culture pearls. And even with Linda, with the amount of pearls that she's got in her sash, Linda can't, you know, can't afford to make them, you know, just with pearls. But you can with shell pearl. And if you want to wear those kind of pieces for your, you know, on your wedding day. <gasps> this is a lovely wedding dress colour, actually. This lovely soft silver, don't you think? Like a sterling silver colour. Mm. No, I mean, this, this strand will carry you through all types of jewellery uh, for any season. But particularly, obviously, for the glitz and glam of the Christmas 
festivities. And it's very Art Deco, that silver, I think, isn't it? It's Absolutely. beautiful. It reminds yeah. me of the silver shadow, you know, the, the um, is it Rolls Royces or is yeah. it Bentley? Yeah, beautiful. Right. Star by Olmec Blue Pauline. <laughs> Auntie Pauline. <laughs> Okay, old Mac Blue Jade Leaf, love you. <laughs> what you've got here is <laughs> you speak to anybody here at Jewelry Maker, uh, whether they are a guest designer, whether they're a presenter, producer, you know, what a tech op, whoever, anyone. And you ask them, what is the most popular type of <laughs> jade amongst staff members? They will all have the same answer. And if you ask them, what is their favourite variety of jade? Um, a lot of people... We'll say this particular type. It is, of course, the Olmec Blue Jadeite from Guatemala. Um, I, 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 you know, there's lots of gemstone stories, and it's quite, it's quite, it's quite interesting to find out how gemstones have been discovered. And quite often, it's a very interesting story, like the discovery of Pereira tourmaline. And you could make it into a movie, and it would be brilliant. And people, even if people aren't interested in gemstones, they'd be very interested in the movie. And and with and with uh, Guatemalan jade, with the Olmec jade, uh, uh, I feel exactly the same. This is a, a variety of jade which was high, so highly prized by the Olmecs. The Olmecs were a, uh, an ancient American uh, 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 people who, uh, you know, along with the Aztecs and the Mayans, dominated Southern America. And I believe, I might be wrong, but I believe that the Olmecs predated um, the Aztecs even. And the they, their, their most prized possession, more than anything else, more than any gold or any other gemstone, was this incredible gemstone. Uh, this incredible gemstone. Here, I was just looking for the book, actually. I can't see it anywhere. Uh, the most prized possession is, uh, was, and, and, and still remains to this day, um, the Olmec Blue Guatemalan Jade. Now, I've got photos of this incredible uh, variety of jade that's in museums now. And you can see, uh, you can see how similar our material is to their material. And you can see the beautiful piercer. And you can see that gorgeous god who's one of his legs has fallen off. You know, who can blame him? He's like hundreds of years old. But you've got here pieces which were carved 500 to 900 BC for the god. And then uh, 12th to 16th century AD for the Guatemalan blue jade piercer. And the interesting thing is, is that when the conquistadors came over from Spain to, um, uh, to kind of um, uh, to, uh, to take over um, South America, they were they wanted to take something back for their for their king, for the Spanish king. So the uh, Olmecs gave the uh, the Spanish um, conquistadors um, Olmec jade. And they looked at it, the Spanish um, conquistadors looked at this Olmec jade and said, well, we don't want this. What is this? You know, this is, this is useless. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is worthless. They wanted gold. They wanted emeralds. Had, had they wanted the Olmec jade, had they taken the Olmec jade, we'd be in a very different position now. Because I wouldn't be able to bring it to you. And, and history would have been very, very different. As it was... The conquistadors took gold and emeralds and diamonds back with them. And the location of the mines, the mines were um, uh, um, um, uh, guarded. And the mines were, um, uh, the location of the mines, once the guards had died eventually, the location of the mines were lost. They were lost for hundreds of years to the point where there was no real record of any jade at all from Guatemala other than these carvings. Now, George Frederick Kunz writes about this uh, Mexican jade, actually, he writes about um, in his book, uh, which is The Curious Law of Precious Stones. I'm going to see whether we can get this and bring this to you because it's such a phenomenal book written by, you know, one of the most eminent uh, gemologists of, 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 of his time and of our time, actually. And he talks about this gorgeous Mexican jade. Here it is. It's all carved. It's beautiful. 
I'll say it's beautiful. It's basically a gargoyle, isn't it? You can see it's kind of there to warn off spirits. It's not too dissimilar to the old Gog that we've got there. Uh, but he talks about this incredible variety of jade and says, because jade carvings have been found in places like Mexico and South America and also Europe as well, that the Europeans and the Americans must have had a proven trade route with Asia. Because when George Frederick Holmes was writing this book, no one knew about the Guatemalan jade. And he's saying, you know, we must have had a, a proven trade um, uh, relationship with Asia because that's the only place where you can get jade from. It just shows you, doesn't it? It was only 1990 that the Guatemalan jade mines were rediscovered. And at the time of writing this book, there was no Guatemalan jade. It was jade. And it was all assumed um, that it had come from Asia. I think that is fascinating. Mm -hmm. And it shows you how history has changed. And if the conquistadors had taken the Guatemalan jade, mm -hmm. we, then he wouldn't have written about it. He, wouldn't, he, he would have said, oh, yes, it's Guatemalan jade. But, of course, he didn't know about it. And it wasn't until the 1990s that the mines were rediscovered. And here we are today. So, As basically, this, this brilliant gemologist literally invented an equation, an equation, put all the formulas together and then came to the final conclusion that uh, possibly via silk routes and things like that. Precisely, precisely. Incredible, isn't it? It makes complete sense. And he was completely right when he said, you've got to assume that this is how we got there. It's not going to literally just been, you know, dropped out the sky. Guess what? This is for Olmec type eight, Olmec blue jade in a leaf pendant. We're under a hundred and that's just where we're starting. This is highly collectible, isn't it? I, for me, Linda, this particular variety, it's got the glossiness, it's got the gemminess, it's got that gem jelly quality, and it's got that teal colour, which is, it just looks precious, doesn't it? It does, it, it really, really does, but it's also got that wonderful story, um, which puts you in touch with sort of ancestors in a way, um, and the history behind it is, as you've just said, fascinating and i think that's what gemstones do best to be honest um they not only teach you about the minerals but teaches you geography history also physics chemistry all sorts of things um but that is spectacular we are not done to get this today for under 100 pounds is amazing we're going to give you a 60 second clock and in 60 seconds time, I'm not too sure how many we've got of these. I assume we've got over 100 of them. Oh, 50. Oh, great. Okay. Well, 50 chances. That's it. Um, I know this is going to cause real issues on the phone lines. Um, the deal you're going to be getting today is absolutely superb. We are already below. We are already below 100 pounds to get the variety of jade that nobody really knew existed in the modern, in, in modern day times. The location of the mines of this ancient uh, gemstone disappeared for centuries. The locations were forgotten, lost in the midst of time, literally lost in the jungles of Guatemala, only rediscovered in, 90, in the 1990s, 2000s, and written about by George Frederick Kunz in his Law of Precious Stones, and he didn't even know about Guatemalan jade. That, I, 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 it, it's incredible. And it's 49.99. It's 49.99 for your carved, your carved Olmec blue jade leaf pendant, 12 by 22 millimeters in diameter. You own a piece of world history here okay. ancient world history people peoples who were who were on this earth for thousands of years before 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 we were we're talking about ancient civilizations who were light years ahead of their time these are the people that mine this original material these are the people who worship this original material and also when you look at our material compared to these ancient pieces from, you know, BC, however many, you know, 500 BC or whatever, whatever the dates were, I, I, I forget, I'm sorry. Um, you've got, um, you've got the almost exact same quality. It's absolutely superb. Your deals today, 
have been absolutely amazing. But deals like this, this is a piece of 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 natural history, isn't it? Definitely it definitely is, and I mean, it's a museum piece in particular. Yes, with its carving. It is. It? So it's definitely a museum. Yeah, a history museum piece. You're talking an interval of over four hundred years. Um, which where the source of um, uh, Mesoamerican jade was completely um, undocumented. Nobody knew about it. They could find the carvings, but they just assumed it had come from, it had come from Asia. Isn't that fascinating? George Frederick Kunz writes about it in his book, and knowing what we know now, we know where those mines are. We know that it's still available just, and we know that you can have it on Jewelry Maker today for 50 pounds. I think that's absolutely superb. Well done, Janet's got two. Well done to you. charlene has got three. cheryl has got two. Suzanne's got two. And also from a design point of view, I mean, this is going to make lovely earrings and lovely pendants, lovely, lovely kind of tree of life inspired pieces, don't you think? Well, for me as a jewellery maker, it's, it's, if I was selling um, or giving, it's this particular material, this particular carving mm. is a talking point absolutely you will get asked, it's an arrow head <clears throat> you will get asked what's that you know where's mm. it from so that means to me if you've got that on your um craft store it's people are going to notice it of course and then when they notice one thing it's amazing whatever else they notice alongside as well. Absolutely. So. And that's it, to talk literally from the heart over this. And we're seeing, uh, you know, we're seeing history in action here from looking through that book. Um, I love the back of this carving as well as the front. The front has got that really beautiful raised quality. Um, and you can see the vein in the middle of the leaf, you know, the beautiful um, uh, uh, parts of the leaf. And then on the back, I'll just show you that. And there we go. And on the back, you can see that beautiful relief there. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I love this bicolored quality you've got going all the way through here as well. Jack Jackie Maker in London, Susan in Norfolk, well done to you, Linda in Hampshire. Fantastic. Can you believe it? 49 99 There, by the way, is your drill hole at the top of the gem as well. If you, you know, should you want to use it. So, so, so special. What does it feel like? Can I? Oh, yeah, it? of course. Yeah, it feels jemmy, jelly-like, yeah. I think. It's, actually, it's quite electric, to be honest. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it is. It's quite electric. You know that you're touching something that really is precious is the only word i can think of yes it's got a glossy it's, it's just feeling beautiful linda it's been amazing having you with us today thank, thank you Carol. so much thank you. um thank you so much for joining us as well you i'll tell you something you've got an amazing weekend lined up i think tomorrow it's create where scare on jewelry maker which is going to be brilliant um we've got an amazing monday coming up we've got fold forming coming back on monday with alison tarry that's going to be absolutely fantastic um it, it's just going to be brilliant when are you next with us lovely Do next you... thursday with my clip oh yes of course with... oh now that's going to be amazing yes it will be Yes, it will be. It'll be very special. I bet you've been crying out for something like that. Linda. I have, yeah, I yeah. have, because I like to make statement jewellery, and this is just a component that really enhances statement jewellery and oh. brings it all together. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Thank lovely you, Linda. Carl. We'll see the other side of this for Hobby Maker, but have a fantastic weekend on Jewellery Maker. You are in for an amazing afternoon. Join Dave and Pauline after this.